Hey everyone, this is Russell Brunson. I want to welcome you to today's training class, and uh, and I am super excited for this um, for a lot of different reasons. I think one of the the reasons why I'm most excited for this is um, is uh, this uh, this process that you guys are going to learn today um, is something that I've been really really passionate about. It's something that I've shared in part over the last ten years or so, um, different pieces and different. Um, different areas and stuff like that, and this is the first time I've ever put it together in kind of one presentation um, that doesn't um, so much give you every option that's possible to make money online. Right? right? There's a there's a ton of different things you can do, and a lot of different um, a lot of different just just ways you can kind of grow a, a business and a company online. But instead, we're gonna be focusing on on what's really kind of the shortest path from I'm getting started to me making as much money as possible. And that's kind of the goal for today. And uh, and I'm excited. I think you guys are going to love it. Um, I'm going to be sharing you guys the, the exact same path I went from. Uh, and the first time I went through this process, it took me about 18 months um, or so to go from complete beginner up to the point where, where my little company, my little thing that I had created, my little uh, expertise where I was selling my advice had done over a million dollars. But what's kind of fun about it is um, uh, a few years later, uh, my company had grown really big. We had uh, at one time um, almost 100 employees and uh, and we had some issues come up as businesses often do where we had kind of some ups and downs and and uh, and we had a really big hit that kind of hit us and um, I had, I had a, the opportunity, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, where I had to lay, lay go let go um, 40 or 50 people in a day and eventually cut our staff down to a really, really small size. And, and it was hard and it was scary. We didn't have cash flow coming in. We needed some way to, to make money quick. And, uh, and I look at what I did in, in our business. I went back to what's going to make me the most money the fastest. What's the shortest line from beginning to cash coming in and to a lot of cash coming in. And, uh, and it's funny now looking back because we, you know, we could have tried a whole bunch of different things. There's so many different business models and, and, uh, and ideas and ways that we could, have, we could have done it. But when my back was against the wall, I look at what did I actually do, and it was this process I'm taking you guys through. Uh, I followed this process to a T where I'm going to show you guys, and, um, and after it was said and done, uh, we were able to launch this new project. And in about two and a half to three months, we made over a million dollars with it the second time around. And so uh, it's a process that works. And I have some people I'm going to bring on uh, here today during this webinar to kind of show you um, them doing this process. And both of the, the people I'm bringing on, what's exciting is that both of these guys have done this process over the last two or three months, uh, which is really, really cool. One of them is a, is a guy named Brandon, and he went and he actually took this process I'm sharing with you guys last weekend, uh, went to a, to a, a little seminar uh, about 50 people did his presentation, and um, and he doesn't have all the stats yet and what exactly you guys will kind of see. But um, but from that from this process, um, he's already made uh, forty thousand dollars in sales, and if he screws it up badly, he'll do over one hundred twenty thousand by the end of this week. And I think he's going to do a lot more than that, which is kind of cool. And the next person, I'm super excited for you to meet her. Uh, she's amazing. She she came into our um, our inner circle coaching program about four or five months ago. And uh, and she told me she said Russell I want to make money quick what's the shortest path from here to here, and I I kind of thought for a little bit and I said you know this is what I think what's going to be best for you and for your personality, and she went and ran with it and uh, and she'll kind of share some of your numbers but super proud of her last month did uh, over thirty thousand dollars I think this month they're on track to do over a hundred and it's just growing really really rapidly for her as well so I'm excited you guys. I think you'll you'll really enjoy some of these people and uh, and you're gonna love their stories and so I'm excited to show them uh, to bring them on with you and then also uh, for you guys just to kind of see this process for your for yourselves and so it's gonna be a lot of fun now this is not a typical webinar where it's gonna be 60 to 90 minutes um, this is a, a training class it's gonna be going on for who knows how long sometimes these things go for hours um, but my guess is anywhere from three to four to five hours will be going tonight and I'm gonna go until we're done. Um, I want to make sure you guys get this information and you get all the pieces of it because when you have them all together, um, that's where the the magic happens. And so I'm not a big fan of traditional education. Um, any of you guys who know me for a long time know that I struggled in high school. I struggled in college. And I think what what was hard for me is that I'd go to a class right for for 45 minutes and I learn a little piece of a topic. And then I go to the next class and I learn a completely different topic. And throughout the day, I learn like eight or nine different things, little fraction pieces of each thing. And it took me the entire you know semester to get like the whole picture of what what that thing was. 
And it was really hard for me. I think it's hard for a lot of people that way. And I'm a big fan of learning through immersion. And so instead of dragging this on for the next six or eight weeks, you know, giving you piece by piece, um, I want to give you guys an immersion experience where you spend three or four or five hours with me. You get the entire picture. You see, oh, this is how it works. And now you can come back and you, you can, because you have a full picture of, of what what the entire business model looks like, now you can come back and you can kind of go back and uh, and start building it and, ha- and be really successful from there. So that's kind of the game plan. That's why we're going so long. Uh, but I promise you guys it'll be worth it. I think you're going to have a ton of fun along the way, which should be, should be really, really cool. Cool. All right, so I'm going to jump in the presentation. Again, I got a lot of stuff I'm going to be showing you guys. I got some slides. I got some websites I'm going to show you. I got, we're going to, it, this is not so much just like, uh, here's some information how to do it. Um, we're actually going to be building out this entire process live. So you guys will see me going through each of the steps so that when you get to the part where you're doing it, you're not going to get stuck on any technical things. You're like, oh, I remember seeing Russell do it. And you can go back through and, and, uh, and watch the webinar over and over and over again uh, if you need to to make sure you, you kind of master it. Now, a couple other things. Let me show you this real quick. This is kind of the outline that I'm going to be going through today. A lot of cool stuff. Um, I will get you guys a copy of this after the webinar is over so you can go back through and have all of my notes. I think that will help you guys as well when you're going through and actually implementing it. Okay, so I'm going to jump right into this, you guys. All right, so the title of this presentation is Expert Secrets, How to Make a Full-Time Income Working Part-Time Selling Your Advice. And uh, what's kind of... What's kind of funny, some of you guys probably saw the pre-sale video for this, and in there I talked about how last year I made over a million dollars by selling my advice, and how interesting it was because I don't have any any certifications, I don't have any higher education, I don't have any of those things that typically someone needs to feel like they're an expert. The one thing I do have is I've got some specialized knowledge, things that I've learned along the way from my study and from trying things and applying things that have worked for me. And as I've shared them with other people, they've worked for them as well. And that's really the only credentials that, that you need. And I think a lot of times that um, people that want to get into this expert space and want to share their knowledge and their information to make a ton of money with that, um, they, they struggle because they don't feel like they're an expert. And I'm, I really want to kind of help today kind of break that, that paradigm with you guys. And I'll, I'll go over that here in a little bit. But um, I promise you guys that the information, the advice, the, the, the knowledge you have right now inside of your head, the life experiences you have, um, there are people out there who, you, if you give those things to them and you help them through it, you could literally change their lives, and people will pay you incredibly well for for doing that. And um, and it's important to understand that. I don't I don't think I got that at first when I got into here. You know, I I was like a 21 year old kid. Um, I I was failing out of school almost. I, luckily, I had wrestling, which kept me in school and kept me um, making sure that I got my 2.0 GPA. But I really struggled with it, and and uh, and I always thought I was the dumb kid. And it wasn't until after that when I started, you know, learning the stuff that I was passionate about. And you know, all of us we spend time on the internet and we read books of things that we like, right? And I started reading personal development. I started reading uh, marketing stuff. And I started learning all these things. And I learned really quick that if I'm learning what I like, then it becomes really fun to learn and to study and to, and to grow. And then when I go and I take these things and I can apply it to other people's businesses, man, people think you're a genius, even though all you're doing is just sharing what you're passionate about, what you've been studying and you've been learning and you've been testing and trying on, your, on yourself. And, uh, and it's, it's really cool. So with that said, I just want to kind of get that out, out of the way. That that's the goal of this presentation is to show you guys how to make a full-time income by working part-time selling your advice. And I promise you, your advice uh, is going to be worth a lot more. And by the end of this, you should be convinced of that. That's my, one of my goals. Okay, now before we get started, we need to cover the ground rules because this training is different than most trainings you've probably been on in the past. As you know, it is a premium webinar. Um, the price for this uh, event was not free. It's $297, but you had a chance to come on here for free, and you have a chance to kind of put me to the test and see if all this information, if all this stuff is gonna is actually good, if it's worth it to you, and if it's worth the, the ticket price. Now, to put this into perspective, a lot of people think, wow, 297 bucks is a lot of money, Russell, for, for some training. But if you look at it, um, right now, uh, we charge about $3,000 an hour for private one-on-one consulting with me. And so what you guys are getting is over over the next, I think we're probably going to go for five, five and a half hours or so uh, of my time, and you're only going to be paying $297. So when you look at it that way, it's really not a, a, that expensive. But the coolest thing is you don't have to decide right now. You get to go through the entire process first, see if it's worth it to you, see if I blow your mind, see if it gives you a paradigm shift and gets you prepared to, uh, to kind of enter a new chapter of your life. And if it does, 
then and only then will you have to pay. Okay, so that's kind of how it works. So at the end of this webinar, I'm gonna ask you guys if it was worth it. And like I said, you have a chance to kind of judge me. So that's kind of what's happening. And then what we're gonna do is throughout this presentation, I'm gonna be, um, you know, obviously I can only give you as much as I can in five and a half hours. I'm gonna try to give you everything I've got, obviously, but there's gonna be resources and tools and other things outside of this training that I'm not able to give you. And so what happens is after anywhere from 24 to 48 hours after this webinar is over and you get billed the $297, then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna send you a private message that'll give you access to a members area and the members area will have a bunch of cool stuff. One thing is gonna have a replay of this entire webinar because I promise you guys, you are gonna get a little bit overwhelmed. That's just kind of the way it happens when we're talking about so much stuff in, in kind of a compressed time period. And so uh, there's gonna be a members area with the, the recordings. So you can go back and you watch this over and over again as well, as well as a whole bunch of other resources and tools and and just things I think you're gonna to need to help you along your expert journey. Okay, so again, we'll send you access to that after your, after your billing goes through when the webinar is over. And then the last thing I wanna mention is that we are trying to create a community of experts where you guys can come together and share ideas and, and you know, ask questions about this, uh, about this training and ask questions as you're moving forward uh, in your business. And so if you wanna join that group, again, it's a private group, so it's only for people who've been through this expert secrets training. All you gotta do is go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash expert secrets. And uh, that's kind of where you can uh, join our private group and hang out with me and with a bunch of the other experts here who have been going through the exact same training as you are today. So it should be a lot of fun and uh, you guys will enjoy that group as well. So that's about it, you guys. Are you ready to get started? Okay, so this little image right here, this is, uh, this is the expert secrets process, okay? Um, there's five little bubbles here and by the end of this, this will make complete sense to you. You'll see this and be like, wow, that's, that's what it is, I get it. And so I wanted to make this for you guys so that when you're, um, I like having drawings because it gives you um, a visual of what we're gonna be covering because we're gonna cover a lot of stuff. Um, as I know and as you guys know, I talk way too fast and so this will hopefully give you um, the ability to recall what we taught, what I talked about and, and how it fit together and all the different pieces. And so what we're gonna do is gonna start right here in the middle with, with, uh, with information and kind of going through, uh, and through, going through you and how, how uh, you're an expert and how all the information and, and things you have, how that can uh, be leveraged to make a lot of money. Then we're gonna talk about your Dream 100, and this is the process where we're uh, gonna be focusing on finding out kind of what other people are doing in the market you wanna be in and how we can leverage that. Next, we're talking about creating your system. Third is creating the perfect webinar that's actually gonna sell your system. And then last is the promotion and how we get this out there to the world and how we get people finding out about it, coming to your website, giving you money, um, and all that, that fun stuff that that entails. And that's the best part, you guys. Um, but it does take a little bit of, a little bit of time, and um, I'm gonna give Liz a hard time. I know she's gonna be on here in a second. Um, but w with her, she was like, I wanna make you know 50 grand in the next, uh, I can't remember, like it was like the next 30 days. And I'm like, well, that's possible, but like you got a lot of work to do. You. And, and, uh, and, um, and we kind of went back and forth with that, and luckily she's amazing, and she took her a little bit longer than like the 30 days, but not much longer. But a little big part of it is, creating this entire system, right? That's That takes a little bit of work. Doing the Dream 100, the research takes a little while. Building out this webinar takes a little while. But after those three, three, those three things are done, like literally you don't have to keep going and creating new stuff over and over and over again. Like this could be your entire business. And after you've done the, the legwork, and for some of you guys, you'll be able to create this in a week. Some of you guys might take a month. But the reality is after it's done, it's done. Then you come back here and you just focus on this promotional stuff, which is fun and it's exciting. You keep driving people into the perfect webinar, which closes people and sells them your system. And boom, it just keeps kind of going through that process over and over and over again. Cool. All right. Okay. Now, to get to, to be successful in this expert business, um, there are basically two essential tools that you have to have, and there's one that's kind of optional, okay? And so people always ask me, well, how much money is it gonna cost me to, to do this? And um, it's, it's not a fortune. Um, if you just kind of, if you just want the bare bones stuff of what you have to have to actually make money, um, these are the things. First off, you have to have click funnels. Okay, that's gonna be building out your pages, your websites, your, your sales funnels, all those kind of things. I'm gonna be showing you guys tons of stuff with click funnels today. You've gotta have an autoresponder. I think the best one is probably Aweber. So if you go to iloveaweber.com, you can get an Aweber account. So ClickFunnels doesn't cost you about 100 bucks a month. Aweber is going to cost you about 20 bucks a month. And as your list grows, that'll go up. But for to begin with, it's it's pretty cheap. In fact, I think you can start with uh, for a dollar for like 30 days. Um, but that's the tool. These two tools you have to have. Like you cannot make money online without these two tools. Um, and then the third one is GoToWebinar, which is optional. But you're probably going to. I'm pretty sure most of you guys are going to use it. 
um, after you kind of see this whole system and how all the pieces go together. So two essential tools and one optional tool that I highly recommend. Um, and so if you have those three things, um, that's what you need to be successful with this. Everything else is just kind of nice to have on, on top of it. All right. So I got two stories I want to share with you. Um, the first one here is uh, Brandon Fisher on the left-hand side, and that's him at uh, the local theater here in Boise. He just won an award for uh, for some films he made. And then the next is Liz over here on the right-hand side. And um, I just totally stole both these pictures off their Facebook page, and I hope they don't mind, but I think they look great. So um, so first I'm going to have you, I want to introduce you guys to Brandon. So Brandon is an expert, right? He's someone who has been doing film and videos and all sorts of stuff for a long time and having a ton of success with it. Um, but for whatever reason, um, he was always behind the camera and he's got his expertise and he wanted to make money with it, but, but never really could, could do that outside of just kind of doing his service. And, um, and he'll kind of tell you the story here in, in a second, but he was able to go from a year ago, he went and he did a presentation and it bombed to, um, he came back here, uh, about a week ago, he was, told me he was going to give a presentation. Um, I showed him the system I'm walking you guys through right now and he went in afterwards and just crushed it. And so, um, Brandon actually is not able to be on the webinar live, so I recorded a quick five-minute video with him earlier today that I'm going to show you guys, and it'll kind of tell you his story. So let me grab this video real quick. All right, let me push play, and this is Brandon's story. Hey, everyone. Uh, so first off, I want to welcome Brandon. Brandon, how are you doing today? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. So. Uh, I want to bring Brandon on for a couple reasons. First off, um, he is an expert, and uh, and I've had a chance. In fact, if you guys have seen any of the videos we've been putting out lately, uh, it's his uh, talent and skills that's been kind of doing all the stuff behind the camera. So he's an expert with with uh, with video stuff. And what's cool is that he was able to use kind of the structure of the presentation I'm going to be giving you guys today. And he wasn't selling like uh, a training course or anything. He was selling his services. And uh, and so I want to kind of just just kind of walk through your experience with with what you did, so they can see kind of the power of what we're talking about. So let's let's start with a, a year ago, the first time you kind of presented at this uh, at this conference, and let's talk about kind of what happened there. Okay, sure. So um, I paid to become like a vendor for this for this group. They said, hey, you got two minutes, come up on stage, and you can sell your product. So I was like, okay, I can do this. Even though I have never done uh, group presentations before, super nervous, uh, just didn't work out very well. <laughs> I get up there and super, super shaky in my voice, which anytime I hear that I try to correct it, it doesn't work. Anyway, <laughs> afterwards, this guy pulled me aside on the golf course later and was like, hey, I just want to let you know that uh, that presentation you gave, it wasn't very good. <laughs> and it, but. but preface that he did say like hey can I pull you aside and actually tell you something and he basically told me that if you do not have passion for what you're doing you will not make any sales in life if you want people to write you that check you gotta have passion and I was like well geez I love video I love doing this stuff like where how am I how can I become passionate like I feel like I'm passionate but how can I sh like outwardly show that because I believe that you can still be passionate and nervous at the same time <laughs> because anyway so a year later they invited me back to this to this group um, I've met Russell uh, since then and talk about building me up and giving me confidence uh, Russell helped me with my presentation helped me uh, basically figure out how to get me on track so that I don't talk about things that that will distract and and I go in a different different direction or path because if I was to give that presentation again I had to speak for 30 minutes in front of a group of 50 and I was I would have been absolutely <laughs> so nervous I was like no way but because I had such a bad experience like a year ago if you will like uh, I've already done it bad once before. You, I feel like you have to kind of have a failure so that you can see where you're at, so you can see where you want to go. Yeah. And thank you, Russell. I mean, you you helped me out a ton by building me up, giving the giving me the confidence that I need. Uh, out of the group of fifty, after um, after the presentation, I said, you know, how many of these people or how many of you here want to want to sign up? Uh, anyway, I ended up getting twenty five applicants to sign up for my video services, which I was like super excited about. And what's cool about it is like, is, is th this whole this whole concept, you know, most most people who are on this training are gonna be creating like 
a five hundred, a thousand dollar product they're selling, but you're selling like super high expensive. Do you mind like throwing out a ballpark of kind of what the price point you're selling you were selling at? Sure, a uh, forty thousand uh, dollar system that I'm that I do. So that's awesome. So forty forty thousand dollar system from the presentation, you got twenty five applications. I know that this was like just like a couple days ago, so you just started kind of calling the applications and stuff. Um, but I know you've already closed the first one and I think this is going to be like dominoes. They're all going to fall down from here. So who, right. it'll be fun. It'll be fun to, to kind of look back at this in, in two weeks from now and see how much money actually came from that. But let's say like worst case scenario, how much money do you think that that presentation will, will make you? Uh, <laughs> that's hard case, to say. I guess 120,000. That's what I'm, that's my goal. That's what I'm shooting for. I'm hoping to get three of these signed up. Um, but like you said, I think as soon as you get one guy signed up, which I already did, I did that last night, I was able to close this guy. And if I can do that, you know, two more times and use the first guy to help leverage the other guys. Anyway, I think just like you said, it should be a domino effect. So it's awesome. And another cool part about it is that now you've got that presentation done and this is going to be the next step I want to work with you on is now taking this and kind of going through this process. I'm going with everybody who's on this webinar right now and let's take it online. Let's make it automated. And then you can start driving people through that all the time. And uh, it's pretty exciting. So anyway, I just wanted to bring you on because I thought your story was unique and um, and you're selling a super high expensive ticket product. You got in front of 50 people, half of them raised their hand and from there if you just get if you get three people, like you said, it's 120 grand and if you get more, um, it's awesome. And now you've got this tool, the sales tool that you can use forever in your in your business and your life. So it's, uh, it's pretty awesome, man. Very totally. cool. Well, cool. Well, thanks again for jumping on real quick. And so I hope, I hope you guys, because again, all you guys who are on this are selling different things. Some are products, some are services, some are um, cheap, some are super expensive. And the, this process, the script that we're kind of going through, uh, it literally worked for anyone. So anyway, thanks, Brandon, so much for, for jumping on. I appreciate it. No problem. See you guys later. Yeah. All right. Does that get any of you guys excited a little bit? I hope, I hope. <laughs> Very cool. So, um, so Brandon stuff's exciting. What's most exciting for me is um, what Brandon will have made if if he only gets his three people to sign up from this will be more than double what he makes in a typical year with his his full time job. And that's really the power of this stuff, you guys. Like, um, you know, right when I first kind of started learning about this whole this whole expert world, I remember I was I was thinking someone explained it to me like this. They said, "Look, you look at a, a high school teacher, right?" And they may go and they they uh, they've got expertise and they're teaching and they they go and they teach these classes and and um, or you think you're a college professor, right? And maybe they're making thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars a year, and uh, and that's what they're what they're paid. And they said, look, but if you learn how to like how to take this knowledge and take this expertise and package it the right way, and then put it out there, you can literally sell it and make fifty thousand dollars a month or fifty thousand dollars a day. Which um, when I first got started, I didn't think that was possible. We've had multiple days that we've sold over a hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff that uh, I wasn't there fulfilling on. I'd created the stuff years earlier, and people were just coming, logging in, and watching the stuff that that they had uh, that um, we'd created earlier. And so that's really the power of this: is it gives you leverage where you're not just tied to, you know, again like right now he he get paid he gets paid really really well at his normal job. But he's trading time for hours, right? And now he's created this system and gone and, and sold it. Now he can get paid uh, really, really well. So Brandon was the first one I want to share with you guys. And uh, and the next one is Liz. And Liz, you guys are going to love. Um, I'm actually going to call her live here on Skype here in uh, in a second and uh, and and bring her on and uh, and have her tell her story. Um, and actually, I'm going to call her right now because I, I, I'm going to preface it with her on here. So let me open up Skype real quick and give her a call. All right, I'm bringing her on, and hopefully this will all work. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Liz, how's it going? Awesome. Well, welcome to the webinar. You're live with everyone. Thank you. <laughs> hey, how's everyone doing? I'm guessing good. Oh, I hope they're doing awesome. So cool. So I'm excited to have you here for a whole bunch of reasons. Uh, one is you're one of my favorite people to talk to, and number two is because um, I think your story is really unique. And uh, and um, but I think it's I think it's something that's very ach uh, achievable for people, and that's why I'm excited to to be able to share it. So let's um, let's step back to um, our very first call. Do you remember when that was? Um, that was around when was it? Like April, I think. April. Okay. So it's April. April. April, no, May. April, May. April, late May. Sorry. Towards the end of May. 
All right, cool. So we got on the call and basically um, you're like, I need to make money and I want to make it fast. And what's the fastest way, right? Uh-huh. And, um, and so talk about kind of – I'd love for you to share kind of like um, – I guess first off kind of what I told you, but then like where, where, where did you go? Where did that journey kind of take you? Oh, wow. Well, up and down and up and down. So <laughs> I'm going to be honest, right? Should I just be honest with Please everyone? Please do. I'd love to. Cool. So here's how it happened. Um, I, I, I watched like Russell's like entry videos and he was talking about, you know, fastest path to, to this and like, it's a webinar, it's a webinar. And he talked to me about this whole webinar process and I was like, cool, well, if Russell can do it, I can do it. I was, and that's exactly what I was thinking, right? And, um, and I had it up on my board, $50,000 by da, 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 of July. And I was like, sweet, I want that. And I, I remember saying to Russell, I will do whatever it takes to get there. Just tell me exactly what to do. And I remember thinking in my mind that, in my mind, I, I was like, okay, well, sweet. A month from now, you know, the wee, like the, the money is just going to be floating from the skies. It's going to be beautiful. Um, it didn't pan out exactly like that. I had a lot of family things go on. Um, my partner's mum, the, the, there's, there's, there's lots of health stuff. There was a lack of a house. There was lack of internet. There was lack of a lot of things. So... Um, to, to like, anyone, like the perfect situation was not there when this was all happening. <laughs> there was there was no perfect situation. Um, and for everyone listening, I think Russell has probably heard me blubber more than any guy <laughs> in the world over Voxer. Um, just because there were lots of different things that could have held me up along the way. And Russell's been absolutely amazing at going, right, Liz, this is what's next. Um, and this is what's next. And this is what's next. So I remember getting off the first webinar going, sweet, I'm going to make 50K and I'm going to do what it takes. Now it hasn't, like there's been life, life has gotten in the way, but um, you know, they're, they're, it's been a step-by-step -step process and I remember getting off and Russell sent me through his, what was it, like the perfect webinar template? Yep. yep. Yeah. So he did a webinar and I followed that piece by piece by piece. I even, I even like zoomed in. He, he uses this Starbucks as an example and I was like, right. I even um, zoomed in and I got his exact picture. I was like, if it works for Russell, it's going to work for me. And I put that in my presentation. And yeah, so it's it's been it's been a like it, it's been a, a bit of an emotional ride. Uh, if I if I'm really really honest, but that's because in my mind, like I just wanted it at at, at any cost. And um, and then like what's happened in the in the last oh my goodness, the last like five weeks. It's like all of those pieces that Russell's helped me like work towards, all of those different pieces have just gone thunk, together. And it's, it's, it's flying now. And it, seriously, I wake up every day at the moment and um, my phone goes ding, there's another sale. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. It's the best feeling in the world, right? Every time. <laughs> yeah, it's really quite fun to be honest. <laughs> That's cool. So five weeks ago, it's, it kind of all the pieces came together, and I want to I want to say something because I think it's important. And you, I think you probably heard me sh share this story before. But my senior year in uh, in college, I had a, a creativity class, and at the end of the year, we had to like cr show something creative we had done, and so everyone's kind of showing like their creative whatever. And so for me, I launched a business that year, so I kind of showed like the process I went through launching this website and how it was making like I don't know twenty grand a month or whatever it was, and I kind of showed that whole process. And afterwards, my, my professor is this little tiny Indian guy named Dr. Murley. He starts jumping around all excited. He's like, do you guys see what he just did? Like, this is crazy. And, yeah. uh, and he, asked the, he asked the class, like, does anyone have any questions for Russell? And I remember all the kids are like sitting back in their chairs. And one kid just raises his hand. And I'm like, yeah? And he's like, that sounds awesome. But man, that seems like a lot of work. And I was like, okay, first off, yes, it's a lot of work initially, right? You're pushing a, bear, like, a, a rock up a mountain. But as soon as you get yeah. over the, the tipping point, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then it's not like it's not. Is it that much work right now? Oh my goodness, that is that is exactly like that's my my exact experience. Like getting the modules done and working out like you know what's what's next and like you know that that piece of like putting all the pieces together. But now that it's like together, it's just getting on a webinar and making sales and following up with people and like the as we've worked out, the money's certainly in the follow up too. So. <laughs> You know, it's it's really it's so streamlined now. It was a lot of work, and I I will say that with my hand on my heart, saying it was work, and but it, but oh my goodness, it's worth it. So in the last um, in the last month, we've turned over thirty five thousand US. Cool. So 
I'm playing with the US New Zealand extra exchange rate, so that's kind of cool right now. So that's like that's like forty three thousand New Zealand dollars. So that's cool. Um, but then on the flip side, um, like we're looking to really ramp it up now. So we've actually chosen to use the first uh, the first like month to really tweak and change and tweak and change and really see exactly if the course that I've created, like if there are any holes, and I've found two holes and I've plugged them with another video in each of those holes. Yeah. That's awesome. So what do you think over the next, like what's your goal for the next 30 days? Uh, next 30 days is to add a um, hundred new full paid members into the course. Um, I, know you so hate, I know you hate talking dollar figures, but it's fun for everyone here. Like how much is, is a full paid member cost? What are they paying? A full paid member is 997 US dollars. Very cool. So that'd be a pretty good month when it's all said and done, right? <laughs> um, yeah, that'd be a pretty good month. The cool thing, the cool thing too here is like, yeah, like the money, the money is cool. The money changes, it changes stuff. But you know, seeing people like in my Facebook group, like we've got a, fi a private Facebook group too, which I've added you into as well. And the, the feedback there, it's, it's mind blowing. Like I'm running around the house like a kid at the moment. Every time somebody gets their new logo, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so cool. <laughs> So awesome, very yeah. cool. Um, yeah, I remember um, with, with my story that that kid. I remember thinking this. I remember thinking that like the the amount of work that went in initially, it was so much. But like how, but over the next like forty years of my life, how how much freedom that gave me, where he was still going to be having to go to the same job every day for forty or fifty years, and so yeah. I, I just love it. And I think that's what makes entrepreneurs different is the fact that we're willing to put in a bunch of effort up front. And then stop, and then and have this huge payoff, uh, payoff yeah, later. Definitely. And and the other thing too is that like once you've done the process once, and you know this, like once you've done the process once, I'm like it's easy now. It really is easy now. And my mind is going, this is this. There is so because I'm passionate about so many things, right? So and as long as you're passionate, you can sell. And like there's so many options just with this one like webinar, like this, the, just running webinars. And with the system that, you, that you're talking about, it's just so easy now. And the very cool thing for me too was that um, my my business prior to, to doing this webinar route was, as you know, it was very, like I was the bottleneck in the business. So I could make sales to the cows come home, but they all required a, like copious amounts of my time. So the webinar side of things, it's beautiful because it teaches people to do what it what like it, it's just beautiful, right? So I have this business, but then I'm teaching people how to do this business, which is perfect. Yeah, it's so awesome. I love it. It gets me excited um, every time I just anyway. It, it's super fun. So um, I guess to kind of to kind of end with for those guys who are going through this this process, like what would you tell them? Because you, you've, in the last few months, you've gone through the beginning, the middle, the end. You've seen the highs, the lows. Like, what would be your your uh, your advice or your feedback for them? Um, stick it out. Like, seriously, seriously, stick it out. I promise to you that it'll take you not just on a technical ride. Like, you'll need to learn a couple of skills. You'll just need to change your mindset a little bit and go. Like, if you're a person, a bit of a technophobe, just change your attitude and go. This is easy, right? And and like that, you know, if if Russell can do it, we all saw. Like, we were looking at Russell's wrong screen for goodness sake. The guy's a multi-millionaire. If Russell can do it, you can too. <laughs> so. So, so the thing is, really stick at it, and like the moment, the moment that things get too hard, believe me, I wanted to give up. I, I swear. I remember, I remember arriving at one webinar, and literally zero person, zero people turned up, and I thought it was going to be like this big webinar, and not one person signed up. And I looked at that, and I actually shot a video that day on my iPhone, and <laughs> of myself because I wanted to remember that moment, and it was like. No one showed up, and I had these big blowing tears oh. streaming down my face. <laughs> and, and basically, it's like you've got to get through those, and you've got to like you you'll find certain parts of yourself that you'll never know. Like you'll find this courage, and it'll just come out, and boom, there you go. That's awesome. Well, I'm proud of you. I think it's been amazing what you've done in such a short period of time, and you're the perfect model for what everyone else should be should be aspiring to and, and trying out. And um, it's it's awesome. Yeah, well, look, seriously, I couldn't have done it without you, and I really do thank you so very much because the impact that you've had on my life and now the, the, the impact that I'm now having on on other people's lives is that beautiful ripple effect. So thank you so very, very, very much. Yeah, no worries. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you. I'm going to jump back into the, to the presentation now, but I hope that gives everybody excitement. You guys all should try to become like Liz. She's amazing. So awesome. <laughs> See you guys. All right, thanks. All right. So did that get you guys fired up, I hope?
if that didn't get you fired up, you probably shouldn't be on this webinar. You can just hang up now and, and be done. So here is fired up. If you're fired up, go to the question box and let me know for sure. All right, cool. You guys are fired up. That, that is a good sign. All right. So that's the that's that's the the game plan, you guys. That's uh that's what I want to the process I want to take you guys is that. And honestly, with Liz, she came she ran into so many hurdles that 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 most of you guys will not deal with. She because uh, she's in New Zealand, she couldn't use <coughs> any of the merchant accounts we typically use. She had to go offshore and find merchant accounts. Like, she had so many issues. <coughs> she had, like she said, life, uh, family tragedies, and and life things. All these things. Yet in in a month and a half, two months, she had the whole thing live. And I think with you guys, if you follow the system, the kind of the way I'm going to show you guys, um, I think for most of you guys, you can get done a lot faster. And and hopefully, we'll you know after doing this with her and with a bunch of people, we've hopefully kind of shaved off a lot of the learning curve and gotten it easier and easier. Um, but let me come back to this picture because I think it's important. Um, this one right here, like she said, that what took her longest, longest was like creating her system, creating the webinar, and that's what took her a month, month and a half or so to get it all done amongst all this stuff. And then now it's done. She focuses on here on the promotion stuff. And what's cool is that she basically, if you look at her life right now, every Thursday she does a webinar. So from Monday, or excuse me, from you know from Friday till the next Thursday. She's got um, some people who are driving traffic on Facebook, getting people to register for the webinar. And she wakes up that morning, comes on the webinar, delivers the webinar that she's mastered, and boom, sales start coming in. Boom, 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 boom. She sends follow-up emails to those people who didn't buy yet, convert some of those, and then she's done. And then she sits back and she waits till the entire next week comes through. They start, they're driving traffic, getting people to register for the webinar. She shows up, delivers her presentation, and boom, sales keep coming in. And that's really kind of the, the end goal with this, you guys. In fact, it could even go a step further. Because um, for me, uh, and one thing I'm going to show you guys through this whole, this whole process is um, I don't typically like doing the same webinar over and over and over again. It's hard for me. I get, I get tired giving the same presentation. Some of you guys, that won't be a problem. I've got friends who who sell timeshares who give the same presentation three times a day for 10, 15 years of their life and they just crush it and they're, they're fine with that. But for me, I get bored. And so what I'm gonna show you guys how to do as well is how to take that presentation and after you've mastered it and you've gotten the pitch perfect, then you can record that, you can automate it, and then moving forward, that webinar um, can basically go and just sell people uh, for you whether, and you don't have to even be there. And that's where we're gonna be going with Liz next. After she keeps mastering it and getting the pitch and everything just perfect, we'll record a version, we'll automate it, and then she doesn't even have to show up on Thursdays to give the webinar, which is the best part. She just has to do her, she just has to keep driving traffic and have people do that for her and, and everything else good will come. So it's uh it's it's pretty awesome. So that is the the game plan. All right. Someone said how fast can we get this up and running? Uh if we're good at most of this stuff, uh but just have big mental barriers. So like honestly guys, um I, I've I've had ideas where um where I had an idea and then within twelve hours we would do a webinar and we would sell the thing. And so a lot of the stuff I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna, like we're gonna talk right now a little bit about like creating your system and things like that. Um, if you really want to speed it up, you can create your system after you've sold it. Um, but for a lot of you guys, you want to create it ahead of time because you'll feel more comfortable doing that. So there you go. All right, let's jump back in to here. All right, so first thing I want to start off with why the expert business because I want to make sure you guys are, are, are sold on this because I honestly think that it is, of all the businesses out there, it's the best. Um, and it obviously, it stands as a, as a business just in and of itself, all by itself. Um, Excuse me, but the other cool thing is that it doesn't just have to be by itself. If you are selling anything else by adding this expert component to it, and you wrap you wrap um, your your other existing business with this expertise, you can start making a lot of money. For example, Brandon uh, Fisher that I showed you guys earlier, he's a video guy who does video editing. He was able to wrap that video that his his uh, what he does in information, and boom, go from charging people whatever an hour he was charging to forty thousand dollars to do the same thing. So this information and, and positioning yourself as an expert will change how much you can charge for things. I mean, literally right now, you guys, um, we sell right now like one hour consults with me for anywhere from twenty five hundred dollars to five thousand dollars. Okay, and it's crazy. Like doctors don't make that much money, but when you position yourself correctly through this expert process, I'm going to be teaching you guys. Um, you you can literally just change, like double, triple, quadruple your prices for anything you want to do if you're doing consulting and things like that. Okay, if you have a software company, I'm sure you guys some example. This is a guy named uh, Neil Patel. He's got a software, com a couple software companies, but he uses his expertise, the expert stuff I'm going to be showing you, to be fuel to sell to drive people into um, into his software companies. 
Okay, good example. We just launched our, um, our first software company called ClickFunnels. And, uh, and we use dot-com secrets in, in my expert business to drive fuel and drive people into that software company. So if you've got a software company, you add this expert piece, boom, you can sell more. If you, wanna, if you have a supplement company, which we also have a supplement company, you take your supplement company and wrap it in an expert and instantly you'll see sales just dramatically drive up. This is a picture here of Dave Asprey and uh, he's got a huge supplement line and him being an expert and doing the expert stuff I'm gonna be sharing with you guys has taken this company where he literally doesn't, I don't think he drives any traffic in and of himself. He just uses his expertise and uses his personality and his story and it drives millions and millions of dollars of sales in through his, uh, through his entire supplements, okay? Um, all right. So a couple things I want to talk about here. Um, yeah, so the first thing I want to talk about is is I honestly believe that every single person in this entire world is born with some kind of super uh, some kind of superpower, and uh, and most people aren't ever taught that or they don't believe that, um, and it's it's unfortunate. I think that everyone's got one, and most times when we do consults with people who are beginners, that's what we try to do is try to dig that like what is that thing that's that comes second nature to you. Um, you know, you look at, you look at, um, in fact, it's funny, I, I can't tell you how many, how many initial consults we've had of people who come in and, and they want to be part of some network marketing program or some, something else, right? Something that they, that they, that they signed up for and they want to go sell. And we'll say, well, what do you know about network marketing? Like nothing. What do you know about the product? Well, nothing. What do you know about generating leads for a network marketing company? They're like, nothing. We're like, all right, well, um, what are you, what are you actually good at? And they're like, well, you know, I'm, I'm a nurse. Like, okay, you're a nurse. Like, well, well, do you specialize in anything? Yeah, I specialize in this. How about, and we start digging deeper and pretty soon we find out they're like the world's number one expert on curing kids from whatever, right? And, and, but for them, it comes so second nature. They don't even know the value of what they have. And so one of the biggest things you guys are going to struggle with is figuring out like, what is your superpower? What's that thing that comes second nature to you that, that, um, that you probably don't, you probably take for granted right now. Like you don't even think it's that important. But if you really step back at it and you look at it like people in the world, it's it's a superpower for them, right? Okay, uh, for excuse me for for you. And if they could have that information, have that the the assets and the tools you have, it could change their life. Can you think about like for those of you guys who aren't techie and you've got that techie friend and he comes over and you've been spending you know six months trying to get your computer to work, he comes in and three seconds later it works. For him it's second nature, but for you you're willing to spend any amount of money to get that problem to to disappear for you, right? And so you got to figure that out. That's the first thing is what is that that comes second nature to you that's your superpower? Um, I told my kids that a little while ago. I said, I said, all of you guys have a superpower. I said, and I said, what do you guys think it is? And they're thinking and, and down one of my twins, he said, you know, I think my superpower is eating. I'm like, all right, that works. And then I said, well, what else? And then, well, I think uh, Ellie's superpower is this. And, and I remember that he said, uh, he said, Aiden, who's the little four-year-old, he's like, I think Aiden's superpower is hurting people, uh, which uh, made me kind of laugh. Uh, but everyone's got a superpower, you guys. You got to figure out what that is for you because that's where your expertise is going to be in. And one way I kind of think about it, and I, I try to find it in people, is like if you're just on a computer all day long and you got nothing else to do and you're bored, like where are you spending your time? What, uh, where on Facebook, what groups are you part of? Where are you chatting? What, what things do you debate when you are just doing it for fun? Okay, and typically that's where your superpower is gonna lie, all right? Okay, second step here is you've gotta certify yourself, okay? Uh, I can't tell you how many people are so scared of, or they're, they're waiting for permission, right? Waiting for permission to, to go and sell something. Uh, I remember when we were working with Tony Robbins a while ago, and, um, and we were talking about this concept about certification, and he, uh, he was telling me about how like when he first started learning NLP, he signed up for like this six month long certification program, right? And so he started going to, to this thing, and after like two or three days, he learned all this really good stuff that could help people. And he's like, well, let's go, let's go help people, let's go, let's go fix them. And they're like, well, you can't, you're not certified. He's like, I don't care if I'm certified. I know how to do it. Like, let's go, let's go, let's go help people. And they're like, no, you can't. And so he got frustrated and he, I can't remember exactly the story, but he walked out the door wherever the, the classes were at. He walked across the street to like 7-Eleven and he started grabbing people and started like fixing them and using the stuff that he learned and having a huge profound impact on these people's lives and changing them because he had a tool and he went and used it. And uh, he didn't wait for the certification. In fact, he ended up, I think, I believe he ended up getting kicked out of the, uh, the program because he was using the tools without being certified. And um, our world is so screwed up. We want to wait for people to get certification. You know, we, we rely so heavily on certifications where the only thing that really matters in this world is results. Okay, and if I can get you a result, that's all that really matters. And so don't, don't say, well, I can't teach this because I'm not certified or I can't 
whatever, th that that's not a good excuse. You just gotta go and do it, okay? That's really the, the key here. And so uh, certify yourself. Okay, and if you're scared about that, then email me and I'll just certify you. Congratulations, you're certified by Russell as a master cool guy. Whatever you wanna be, let me know. I will certify you and boom, now you're certified. That's what you need, that permission. <laughs> let me know and I will give it to you. All right, next is like, is what, what's your message, okay? Like what, what is it that, that really inspires you? What, what is it that fires you up? What is it you wanna share with people that's like, I, 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 this, is, this is what I wanna share with the world. If I can just show everybody this, I know it's gonna, I know it's gonna change their lives, okay? And we're going to dig deeper into this here in the next section. We kind of start breaking out your system. But you got to think about, like, what's your message to the world, okay? My message through Expert Secrets is that you can take your advice and you can turn that into a full-time income, okay? That's my message with Expert Secrets. With, uh, with Dotcom Secrets, my other company, I've got different messages. With my supplement, we've got different messages. But we always have some kind of message we're trying to share with the world, okay? What is it your message, Okay, and then for those of you guys who are saying, but, 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 I, I, and we always get this on the, on the live call, so I know that that's kind of what some of you guys are thinking about. Um, I want to share with you guys a story about Frank Abagnale, or Ab Abagnale, I can't even say it right. Who here knows who he is? I bet some of you guys are probably Googling him right now. If you know who he is, uh, uh, if you know who he is, go, go in the question box and, 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 uh, and let me know who it is. And while I look, I just looked at the question box. Liz just uh, messaged me. She said, another 997 cell just came in. I'm laughing my A off over here. <laughs> she probably didn't want me to say the whole thing, but congratulations, Liz. She's made a thousand bucks while she was hanging out here on the webinar. Um, who here would like to do that as well? Okay. All right, so who is Frank Abagnale? Who knows? Yes. Catch me if you can. I got four or five of you guys saying catch me if you can. Yes, he's the guy from the movie Catch Me If You Can. Leonardo DiCaprio played his character. And uh, Catch Me If You Can was actually a book before it was a movie. And in the movie, it doesn't share this story, but in the book, it does, and it's really fascinating. So um, when he was going on, he was doing all this con stuff, um, he actually attended a semester at BYU, Brigham Young University in Provo, Utah. And while he was there, he went to class one day, I think it was a sociology class or something, and he got there, and the teacher, no teacher showed up. So he grabbed the textbook, walked to the front of class, and started teaching sociology to this entire college-level group, and, uh, and he taught the entire semester as his teacher. Okay, and they asked him later, they said, how in the world did you teach an upper level sociology class at Brigham Young University, a very top level uh, university? How were you able to, to teach that? How do you know what to, to say to these guys? And what Frank said was really, really interesting. And it's, it's the key to this whole thing, you guys. Frank said, all I had to do was we read one chapter ahead. If he stayed one chapter ahead of his students, he was able to, to teach them and to answer the questions they wanted. Okay, so we've got one of our guys who joined our, our 25K group, and, and I, I, he's an amazing person. He's got some amazing skills, okay? Tons of stuff comes second nature to him, and he struggles because every time I talk to him, I'm like, let's just put it, let's sell it. Let's get your information out there, and let's change the world right now. Let's don't wait. And he's like, no, I, I'm working on a certification program first, and then I'm, uh, I've gotta, I gotta do this first, and, and I don't know enough yet, so I gotta figure, and he wants to just keep acquiring information, and the problem is by acquiring information, you don't, you're, you're, you're not serving people. You're not changing their lives. You're not changing your own life. Okay. The only way you do that is by exercising and giving and sharing what you've got. And so while it's in a dream perfect world, we should wait till we know everything before we start teaching it. Um, you cannot do that. You just got to be one chapter ahead of your students. Okay. Um, when I started teaching internet marketing 10 years ago, okay, at the time, just to put it in perspective, I wasn't making a lot of money. I was making, I think I made about 50 or $60,000 that first year. Um, selling some software and things like that. And people started asking me what I was doing. And I'm like, well, this is what I'm doing. And I started sharing it. And they had success just copying what I was doing. And then more people did. And then I started growing. And, and if I would have waited until I knew everything about internet marketing, guess when I would have started? I, I probably still wouldn't have started. <laughs> I'm still learning stuff, you guys. It changes every single day. It's this fun, exciting thing. But if I would have waited until I knew everything, it never would have happened, okay? Take a lesson from Frank. You've got to just stay one chapter ahead, okay? And you, maybe you're not the smartest guy in the world at your topic, okay? Maybe there's a ton of people who know more about whatever your topic is. It doesn't matter. You're not selling to other experts. Who are you selling to? You're selling to somebody who's one chapter behind you, someone who wants the result that you've already achieved, that you've already, already figured out a way, you've already blazed a trail to get, and they're just looking for the, for the next answer, okay? And that's where you come in. And that's really um, how you become an expert. Okay. All right. Okay. Actually, before we go there, so 
so before we go there, I, I want to I just want to share some some examples. I pull a bunch of websites ahead of time because a lot of times when we think about experts, who do we think about? We think about someone like Tony Robbins, who, by the way, is probably the coolest person I've ever met in my entire life, outside of my wife and a couple other cool people I like. But Tony is is amazing. Um, and so a lot of times we think about experts who look at Tony and we're like, man, that guy's awesome. I'm never going to be Tony Robbins. And guess what, you guys? You will never be Tony Robbins. I promise you that. You just got to be all right with that, though, okay? There are a lot of experts that aren't Tony Robbins. You don't have to be at his level to be able to be an expert. You just got to be at your level. So I want to share with you guys some, some more stories. And I was trying to get all these guys to show up on the webinar. I wasn't able to, uh, unfortunately. But they're really close friends and they have some amazing stories. So this is a guy. His name is Jacob Hiller. And Jacob is, uh, he's one of the, again, one of the coolest people I've ever met. And, uh, and this is his story. So he, um, I, I can't remember the, the entire thing, but, but like one time I was hanging out with him and we measured our arms and my arm's wingspan is actually as uh, longer than his, but he can dunk. And he said when he was younger, he just wasn't able to dunk. And so he wanted to learn how to jump higher. And so he started, he spent like years just practicing jumping. Okay, figure out different exercises and things he could do to increase his vertical. And he did it over and over and over again until he got to the point where he could start dunking. And um, the guy has got hops now. I don't know if you see that video on the right-hand side here. I don't know if that's him or not, but he can jump like crazy. Oh, yeah, check it out. He's hitting his head on a basketball hoop here in this picture. So this guy can jump like nobody else's business, right? And he's just so passionate about this topic, they started making YouTube videos and just posting them on YouTube showing people exercises and things he was doing and showing pictures of him jumping all over the place. And guess what happened? The same thing that will always happen when you start sharing your expertise and you start putting it out there in the world. People will start seeing what you're doing and they're going to start following you. Okay? Um, I think it was Jay Abraham who said that people are silently begging to be led. And it's true. And so if you will become that expert and become that person and just put out your information, at first it's going to be kind of slow. It takes a little while to get some traction. That's why Liz took her a little while to get some traction. Uh, with Jacob is the same thing. He started posting these videos and soon he had 10 videos on YouTube and then 20 and then 30 of him just sharing this stuff. But because he was putting this passion out there, people started finding it and they would share it with their friends and, and just because of, of him being who he was and sharing his personality, it start, his following started to grow. And soon he had 1,000 people on, on, on YouTube following him and then 10,000 it started growing from there. And somewhere along the line, he said, man, I got an audience. I got some people who are listening to what I'm saying. I wonder if I should sell these guys something. And, uh, and so that's when the jump manual was born. And he went and he created uh, an entire book called the jump manual teaching people how to jump higher. Okay. And you may think like, how big is the jumping market? I, I have no idea. I, I'm not in that market. But for 67 bucks, he sells an ebook teaching people how to jump higher. Now, people always ask me like, well, is he doing good? There's like probably five people in the world that want to learn how to jump. Like it can't be that big of a market, right? So I want to tell you the, the other cool story about Jacob. So his wife and him, when they got married, they always wanted to, to travel, and they were trying to figure out different ways to, to do that. And so when they launched this business, uh, again, at first it started kind of slow, but it started growing. And the uh, last numbers I saw of his, which were probably two years ago, they were averaging over $1,000 a day um, just selling this, this ebook. And what was cool is he had to do the hard work to get it going, like we talked about with Liz. But now that it's done, like he doesn't have to work on it. And so they decided, I think it was like three, almost four years ago now, that they didn't want to live anywhere. They did not want to have a house. They just wanted to travel the world. So what they did is they got some big, huge suitcases and they opened up a map and they picked a country. Like, let's go to China. And they go to China and for three months at a time, they'll live in a weird country and just make money online. He'll make videos of him in China jumping and showing some tricks. And they'll live there for three months. And then they say, where should we go next? Ah, uh, let's go to Kenya. And they'll pack up their suitcases. They go to Kenya. They land in Kenya. They spend three months there and they make videos of him jumping with the Masimara warriors and him doing stuff like that. And then three months later, like, where should we go now? Anyway, he's one of the most fascinating people in the world because every time I message him, I'm like, what country are you in? And he tells me these countries I've never even heard of. And this book, this, this thing he created once, literally is paid for this lifestyle where they don't have to do anything if they don't want to. Traffic comes in, people buy the product, and he's just being an expert teaching people how to jump higher. Okay? Jump higher, you guys. Do you think that you've got a skill that's at least as valuable as learning how to jump higher? Okay. A lot of times we, we get caught up because we think about, you know, how many people are going to buy my jumping book? Well, maybe in, in your hometown, maybe only two or three. But if two or three people bought it in every city around the country and around the world, that can be a million dollar business very, very quickly. Okay. It's pretty exciting, don't you guys think? All right. 
So there's the jump manual. Uh, here's my other buddies. This guy's named Jermaine Griggs, and Jermaine actually uh, had a chance to meet the president today. He got pictures with him and everything. That's why he was going to be on here as well. He's like, man, any other day I'd do it. He's like, I'm meeting the president today. I'm like, you know what? That's the only excuse that I'll accept. If it was anybody else besides the president, I'd make you be here. But uh, so, so Jermaine's story is amazing. Um, when he was a young kid, he, uh, he started learning how to play piano by ear. And, um, and, uh, and he found out that it was way easier than learning sheet music and stuff like that. And so he put together some DVDs teaching people how to play piano by ear. And he put it out there. And right now he makes millions and millions and millions of dollars every single year teaching people how to play piano by ear. Isn't that exciting, you guys? And that's what he's passionate about. That's what he's an expert in. In fact, one time it was cool. I went to Jermaine's house. This is one of the coolest experiences of my life, actually. It was neat. Went to his house, and, uh, and I was kind of teasing him. I'm like, so can you play anything by ear? He's like, yeah, man, anything. I'm like, all right, I want to I wanna prove this. So he's like, yeah, man. He's like, he's like, you can prove it. So he's like, go to the radio and pick any song you want. So I went to the radio, and I was flipping through this, the different stations, and finally I found like one song. It's kind of a popular song, so I, so I would remember it. And he listened to it, and he kind of sat there, and he listened for maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And he said, okay, turn the radio off. And he got his big, huge keyboard. And he walked over, and he started, like, just, just hunting and pecking, right, pushing different buttons, and he was doing stuff. And, and I didn't know what he was doing at the time, but what I found out afterwards is he was recording, excuse me, recording each of the tracks that he just heard. So he recorded the drum track on his keyboard, and then he recorded the, the bass guitar, and then the guitar, and then everything. And he recorded all his, you know, pecked out all these different uh all the different lines till it was perfect and then he said okay ready go and he pushed play on his keyboard and started playing all those four or five um bass lines and then boom he started playing the song uh on the piano and it was the most amazing thing i had ever seen in the world and uh and that was that's jermaine's expertise that's what he's amazing at and he's made insane amounts of money i uh i don't know what he makes a year the last time i saw his numbers were probably four or five years ago uh, and he was doing over $3 million a year back then. I'm sure it's, it's ex exponentially more than that right now. And he's teaching people how to play piano by ear, you guys. Again, what is your expertise? Okay. All right, a couple other guys. Um, I talked about, about wrapping a business. Okay, Neil Patel is a software guy, right? He built a bunch of software products. Now he goes, and, and I'll show you some of his processes as well, but he blogs and does stuff and shares his expertise that brings people into his world and then gets them to buy his software. Okay, Dave Asprey. He uh, is out there teach people how to be how to live a bulletproof life and and what's cool is he, his whole story if you come out here um, he talks about uh, can you lose 100 pounds without exercise upgrade your IQ by more than 12 points and stay healthy by sleeping less than five hours it took more than 15 years and 300 thousand dollars to learn how to reach that bulletproof state of high performance it's all here on this blog for you okay so he's teaching people how to live lifestyle at this, this huge higher level he talks about how he was severely overweight and all these issues and how he changed everything and because of that he's become this amazing health guru and then what he does is he recommends different products and he goes and creates some and if you come over here to his site some of you guys may have heard bulletproof coffee this is one of his products a bunch of other stuff but he makes millions and millions of dollars selling his entire supplement line he's got i don't know probably 30 or 40 different supplements now that he sells and he does it 100% by being an expert. That's how he drives his traffic, how he makes his sales, how he's able to charge as much is because of his expertise. Okay, you guys getting this so far? Is this getting you fired up? I wanted, uh, I wanted to, to, to spend this first part of the presentation really selling you guys on this concept because I can go and teach you guys all the stuff, but if you're not sold on the concept, you're not gonna do it, okay? Because like Liz said, there's some work that's gotta go into it. So I gotta sell you guys on the concept of why you need to be an expert, why you need to share your message with the world. And hopefully I've gotten that through to you, I hope. Because now we're gonna start diving a little bit deeper and actually start doing it. And, uh, but you gotta be sold first, otherwise you're not gonna go in. So let me know, you guys, are you sold? Are you sold on becoming an expert? On stepping out of your, out of your comfort zone and actually sharing your message with the world, changing some people's lives and getting paid insanely well for doing it? If you are, come over to the chat and say, yes, Russell, I'm ready to be an expert. All right, you guys are getting this. Awesome, awesome. All right, Candace says, I already am an expert. Yes, you are. Good, good. All right. Okay, so let's, let's dive deeper, guys. So the first thing that, um, the first question I like to ask is who is it that I want to serve, okay? Um, the funny thing about, the, about these whole businesses that we, that we do online, and well, any kind of business for that matter, is that too often we think about like the money part of it, and we're like, you know, how am I going to make money, and how am I going to monetize, and all these kind of things. And uh, while those things are important, it's the sec that's the secondary question. The first question is, who are you going to serve? you got to figure that, that out first. Okay, for a couple of reasons. First off, if you, if you get this part wrong, you'll end up getting a bunch of customers that you cannot stand. 
Um, I did this for about three or four years. I had the wrong customers. And I was I woke up one day in a state where I just was miserable. I didn't like the people I was working with. I didn't like who who you know who we were serving. And uh, it's because I hadn't thought about it ahead of time. And you got to think about that first. Who is it you want to serve? Who are you passionate about say, about helping and changing their lives? That's the first step. Okay, so who is it you guys want to serve? Who is it your message is going to resonate with the most and be able to impact and, and change? Okay, that's the first thing you got to ask yourself. And, uh, and uh, I always ask myself that first. Let me see. Sorry, it's popping off the PowerPoint sometimes. <laughs> All right. Okay, now after I kind of figure that out, like I know that I'm, I'm going to serve... Um, you know, my, my goal is to serve, uh, is to serve, um, you know, people who are, who are overweight or people who, um, who play tennis or people who, you know, whatever, whatever it is that the people you want to serve. And I, I would spend some time thinking about that a lot. I like, don't just answer it really quickly, but who is it that you really care about that you really think that you can impact that your message can, can help change. That's the first thing. Next, what I like to do for me personally, this is the process I go through. Everyone's got a different process. For me, I, I start with an idea. I say, Hey, I want to do this really cool thing. And then for me, I have to get a domain name before I'm able to move forward on that idea for whatever reason. I know it's kind of this weird, quirky thing, but I've got to get a domain name, okay? And so um, I'm going to show you guys that process. Um, and then I'm going to show you a couple techie, nerdy things. Don't get overwhelmed by this. I promise you it will not make sense the first time. But I'm recording it to show you guys so that when you uh, are doing this step of the process, you're able to go back to this video and just watch it and then copy what I'm doing, okay? So that's kind of game plan. So this will overwhelm you. It won't make much sense yet. But just watch this video again when you're ready to do this part, and this is how it works. Okay, so you need to get a domain name. Um, so there's a lot of ways to get a domain name. This is a really cool uh, site that uh, Daryl, who's on the training right now, showed me the other day. It's called Instant Domain Search, and it's really cool. So this is how you can kind of start. It's like, what's, like, what's your, what are you going to be? So you can type in, like, uh, let's say it's tennis. And it's going to go try to find a bunch of tennis sites that are available. So you got 10, 10 agencies, 10 office. Sometimes it doesn't get it doesn't get it perfect. So tennis, tennis, G tennis, N tennis, M tennis. Let's say it's a uh, personal development, personaluse.co, physicalprocess.com, personal uses. Anyway, it gives you different ideas of domains you can get. Okay, and you could also go to GoDaddy and do this. This one I like because it just pulls things up really really quick. Let me go to GoDaddy because then a lot of you guys are probably going to use GoDaddy because they've got the best Super Bowl commercials. So that's why people go there, I guess, apparently. So let's say it's GoDaddy you go to. Um, you just got to go. I haven't been to GoDaddy. I don't, I don't actually use GoDaddy myself, so it's been a while. So domains, find a domain, domain search. I'm trying to find one. And I'm just going to type in ideas. So, so for me, if you guys look, a couple of things. You always want to have the .com. If you can't get the .com, pick a new name. Okay. If you can't get a name, you can add something ahead of it. So let's say if... Um, Let's say I wanted lifehacking.com, okay? So let's say I want to do a personal development course on life hacking. I might type that in there, and oh, dang, lifehacking.com is not available. Lifehacking.club is available. That's actually kind of cool. Um, lifehacking.guru is available. Lifehacking.today. But for me, again, I like having the .com, so I can't get lifehacking.com. What else could I do? Maybe I could do uh, um, instant, instantlifehacking.com. I'll try that and see if it's available. A lot of times I'll put instant in front of it or the in front of it. Oh, check it out. Instantlifehacking.com is available. So I could get that if I wanted to. Now, I'm not going to because those of you guys who know me and know any of my domains, I always put secrets on the end of everything, like .com secrets and expert secrets, and I would love that. So I want to get lifehackingsecrets.com. Now, unfortunately, it's not available because I already bought it. So that's the domain I'm going to use for this experiment I'm going to show you guys through right now. Okay, like I said, I'm not just going to teach you guys conceptually. I'm going to try to build as much of this as I can while I'm live with you guys. So when you watch the replay, you can go back and just watch it and fast forward and rewind and watch me do it. Okay, so let's say this was available right now. I would go and I would purchase it here in GoDaddy. Okay, so that's the first step here, you guys. You got to buy the domain name. Okay, next, you got to point the domain name to this thing called Cloudflare. And you'd be like, Russell, what's Cloudflare? And the answer is, it doesn't matter. You just need to get it. Okay, so go to cloudflare.com. If you click on um, sign up, ooh, actually, if you click, come back here and click on compl compare plans, you click on that, there's a free plan. All you need is a free plan. You don't got to pay for, the, for any of them. Just get the free plan, sign up right now, boom, and it's free. Okay, you've got to have it because what we're going to be doing here, for you to be able to accept money uh, through ClickFunnels, which I'll show you here in a minute, um, you got to have your websites on a secure server, which secure means 
you guys know what HTTPS. Um, you need to have an S in your page when you have an order form, and this will allow you to do that. Okay, so it's free to sign up, but you just got to do it. So you create your Cloudflare account. I'm just going to log into mine really quick. And what's cool about this, the, the Cloudflare will help you with hackers and a bunch of other things that it does for free. So just trust me, you need it, even though uh, it doesn't make any sense right now. Okay, so you need a Cloudflare account. Now what you got to do, if you look back here, I get my domain name, I'm going to point it to Cloudflare, and then I'm going to point Cloudflare to ClickFunnels. Okay, so you bought your domain inside of GoDaddy. Now when you log inside of GoDaddy, what you're going to do is you have to point your DNS. Okay, again, it does not make any sense right now, you guys. Um, but if you log in, in fact, I'm not if I have a GoDaddy account anymore. Let me see if I do. Yeah, I don't know my GoDaddy account, but wherever you buy your domain name from, the process is going to be the same. The company I use for mine is called Enom, but it's exactly the same for all of them. So all you need to do is you got to find your domains. <coughs> so I'm going to show you, I'm going to, here's my account. Okay, here's all my domains. So I've got like hundreds of domains here, right? 551 domains. So I'm going to find, so I bought Life Hacking Secrets <laughs> inside of Enom. So I found it here. Now if you notice, um, when, you set, when you set up your account in GoDaddy or anyone you look for, all you need to know is you got to look for this thing called DNS and name servers, okay? So in GoDaddy, if I was in my GoDaddy account and I bought Life hacking secrets. I'd be looking for a button somewhere that said DNS and name servers. And if you can't find that, just contact their support. Be like, hey, I'm trying to change my DNS. And they'll be like, oh, click right here and right here. Okay. Again, every system will be a little bit different, but if you know you're looking for DNS, you're going to edit your DNS servers and you're going to point them to some name servers. Okay. So the name servers you're going to point them to are Cloudflare's. So if you come here to Cloudflare, uh, you're going to add your domain right here. So let's say I put in my stupid coolTrick.com. Let's say that was the domain I bought. And I'm going to add that website. It's going to try to set it up in here. It's not a, it's not a real domain, okay? If anyone wants that, it's available. My stupid cool trick.com. I did this like a half an hour ago to make sure it worked here. So I did it for Life Hacking Secrets. After I add the domain in here, I click right here on this little gear. And it's going to say DNS settings. I click on that. And it's going to give me this thing right here. Right here see, it says my name servers. Okay, these are my name servers, jim.nfs.cloudflare, root.nfs.cloudflare. Yours will be different. So you, you're going to go right there. You're going to get those things, copy them. You come back here, and for your name servers, you're going to post those in there, Jim and Ruth, and then save it. Boom. And as soon as you do that, now you've got step number one done. Okay, again, guys, this makes no sense to me or to you or to anyone. It does not matter. All you got to do is when you're setting this up for yourself, watch this video again and rewind and then go through that process. And all you need to know is, is you're going to, after you buy your domain, you got to edit the name servers. You go to Cloudflare. It's going to give you the name servers. You then paste them back here and save it. And now step number one is done. Okay, step number one, GoDaddy is done. Now Cloudflare, that's step number two. So now I got to go back to Cloudflare, do step number two. And what I've got to do is I've got to edit something. Let me come back. I promise you guys, we're almost done with the techie nerdy stuff. This is as nerdy as we're going to get today. All right, so after I've got my thing set up right here, then I click right, let's see, I click on setup. No, wait, click on, yeah, there, setup. And then right here, it's going to say DNS records for listhackingsecrets.com. So where you're going to get this from now is ClickFunnels. So that's the third step in this process, right? ClickFunnels.com. Um, that's the third step in the process. So I showed you guys earlier how to, uh, the, the, the tools we need were ClickFunnels. So I just bought a ClickFunnels account, let's say. You can come here to My Account, click on Settings, and it's going to pull up this right here. I go down to Custom Domains, and there's going to be this thing right here in red. I'm going to copy that right here. Copy. Then come back here to Cloudflare. And I'm just going to post it. So I already did it right here, but I would just type in my website. So if it was uh, li or, uh, lifehackingsecrets.com, and right here it said points to, and that's where I'm going to paste that thing I got from ClickFunnels. And I would add that. Okay. Now I did it earlier, so I'm not going to do it right now, but that would be, be the last step. Now as soon as I've done that, you guys, and now we're done with all techie stuff, we're done. I promise. 
Now what happens when somebody types in lifehackingsecrets.com, it's gonna go directly into the website we're gonna build in ClickFunnels, okay? So that's the techie part, guys. It's over, I apologize, I know that was horrible, um, but now you've got that documented, so when you're ready to go and do it, um, you can go and, and watch the video again, just follow those three steps. And that's all the techie stuff we gotta do. Now we're done, now let's move on to some fun stuff, okay? All right, okay, so now the fun stuff. Um, the next thing for me, so again, for me, this is the process, right? I start, oops, I, I start with who am I gonna serve? Okay, I know I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do a personal development product, I wanna help people who are struggling, uh, who wanna lose weight, they wanna make more money, they wanna move faster, so I know that's what I want. So what's the domain name that, encap that encapsulates that idea? For me, I go get a domain name, GoDaddy. So for me, I got lifehackingsecrets.com, that's the name that encompasses the brand I wanna build. Then I pointed it to Cloudflare, I got set up in ClickFunnels, now that's done. Now for me, the next step is I need a logo. I physically cannot create content or anything unless I have a logo. I don't know why, it's a mental barrier I have, but next thing I need is a logo. And there's a ton of places you can get a logo, but I recommend guys doing is do what I do and go to 99designs.com to get a logo. 99designs is awesome because I post a logo contest and I'll get thousands of designers from around the world to design my logo for free and I only pick the one that I actually like and I pay for that. So I posted this um, like three hours ago just so that it would have some, some, uh, some logos for you guys to see. Um, I just went to 99designs.com, I created a contest and then check it out. In the last like two or three hours, I've got 15 logos designed. And so I can come down here, I can look at them all. I don't like that one. I don't like that one. And typically at first, at least for me, I usually don't like most of them at first. But I'm gonna come through and see if I like any of them. Okay. So none of them yet, but that's all right. What normally happens is first you get a bunch of okay ones. And then what you do is you come back through and you'll, you'll rate them and say, ah, I give this one one star or two stars and you rate them all and you can leave feedback individually for designers like, I like this, but I don't like this. And what'll happen is that for the next three days and 18 hours, I get to work back and forth with all these, with all these designers and, and soon there'll be 15, then there'll be 50, then there'll be 100, then there'll be 500 and soon I'll have five or 600 logos for me to choose from and I just pick the one I actually want. Okay, and I only pay for that one. And so it's nice because you get a whole bunch of people designing logos. So um, over the next three or four days, I will be hopefully finding a really, really cool logo through here. But most of my really good logos I've gotten from here. In fact, I think you can see some of my old contests. Not all of them are in here because I've used a lot of other things, but if you check out some of these ones. So Success Etc., which is our, our parent company. Boom, there is the logo, the logo that won. You can see that, but I think it's pretty awesome. That's the one that we picked. Yeah, that's on my door right now outside my office. Okay, and so what happened, I don't, I wonder if I can still see them. So I had 96 designers submitted 213 different logo designs. I just paid for that one. So you can see like all these different logos. Some are cool, some are lame. But eventually you get the perfect one. Who is something really lame? That one's kind of cool right there. And anyway, there's a bunch of cool ones. But it's kind of a fun process. When you guys think you go through it to find the perfect one. Now this one actually came in like the very last day. It just popped up and I was like, I just knew it. I was like, boom, that's it. That's that's the logo. That encompasses everything I wanted to do. And so for you guys, again, go and get a logo done. Logos are fun and you'll enjoy this process. 99 Designs is super fun. It's gonna cost you a couple hundred bucks to get a logo done. But again, you've got, 90, I had 96 designers design logos for me. Typically, I went and got a logo. I might be able to get a logo done for 100 bucks, but if I do that, I got one dude trying it out, and if it sucks, then I'm like, oh, well, there's your 100 bucks, and I got this logo that's ugly. Where here, I got 96 people to try it out, and I just paid the one dude who did awesome. Okay, and so it's, it's, a, it's a really cool process. All right. All right, all right, let's go back to here. Okay, so now you got your logo designed. And now, now we've got all the assets and the things you need, you guys, to really get started and, uh, and to start making money with this, all right? Okay, so now I'm gonna jump in to more of the, the marketing behind it, okay? So the first thing, when, uh, when I'm launching a new business, I'm kind of going through this process and trying to figure out um, how, to, how to take this idea, and I, and I really wanna blow it up, and I wanna make a lot of money, right? We talk about like the shortest path, like how do we get from here to here the fastest? Uh, I believe it all begins right here with your dream 100. Like that's the first thing you've got to have to really be able to uh, to uh, to leverage and, and scale this business quickly. Okay, 
And so uh, I learned this process initially from a guy named Chet Holmes. And Chet passed away a couple years ago, but uh, an amazing marketing, just marketing genius and, uh, and sales guy. And uh, I had a chance to learn from him and work with him a lot over the years. And he wrote a book called The Ultimate Sales Machine, which is still one of the best sales and marketing books I think I've ever read. Uh, you can get it on Amazon for like 15 bucks and it's worth it. It's an amazing book. It's called The Ultimate Sales Machine by Chet Holmes. And in that book, he has a chapter he calls uh, The Dream 100. And he talks about how um, he, uh, he had a bunch of really cool experiences. One of them, he was trying to, for his, uh, he was working for a guy named Charlie Munger, who's a billionaire, and he was running one of Charlie's companes, and he like doubled or tripled sales three years in a row for Charlie. And Charlie was like so shocked. I think he pulled him aside and was like, now, are you doing something illegal or unethical? Because this has never happened in the history of any of my companies. And Chet's like, no, this is how I did it. And he shared with him the Dream 100. He said, basically, if you look at all of the, the, client, the potential clients out there that you could possibly want, um, if you could find like who are your dream 100 clients is so make a list of those people. And then for him, for, for, uh, for Charlie Munger, he was running, um, um, a magazine. So he said, who are the hundred most, like the hundred best advertisers that we wish we had in our magazine? Like who are those people? And they made that list. Here's the hundred best people we could possibly have. He says, now take that and we need to market, we need to market aggressively to those hundred people. And he said, when we did that, he was able to take Charlie's company and double or triple it in sales every single year for years and years in, in a row. Now, when Chet launched his own company, he wanted to do sales and marketing consulting for, uh, for all the Fortune 500 companies. So he built his Dream 100 list of the top 100 companies he wanted to work with. He started doing this process I'm going to share with you guys. And within like a year, he closed like 40 or 50 of the top, uh, top 100 Fortune, Fortune 500 companies in the world by doing this process. Uh, a little while later, he, wanted to, uh, he wrote a screenplay. And he's like, you know what? I don't know anyone in Hollywood, but I'm pretty sure this Dream 100 idea will help me sell my screenplay. So he went and found the top actors and actresses and screenplay writers and, and producers and, and people and he built his Dream 100 list and he did this process and within like three or four months he sold his screenplay uh, and made a ton of money and, uh, and the movie actually ended up going live and he had a chance. I think he wrote the musical score for it or something crazy and he did it all through this Dream 100. All right? And so for me, whenever I launch a company and I launch a new business or I'm trying to figure out like how to scale something, this is what I come back to, my Dream 100. And typically for what I'm doing and kind of what you guys are going to be doing as well, we're not looking for our Dream 100 customers, okay? Because I want you guys to have a lot more than 100 customers. I want Liz to have 100 customers this month, okay? So I'm not looking for my Dream 100 customers. I'm looking for my Dream 100 partners, okay? That's the key here. Who are my Dream 100 partners? Okay, I have people email me. I don't know, we probably get 30 to 40 emails a day from people coming to me and saying, Russell, I've got this idea. I've got this product. If you'll just promote it, we'll make a ton of money. Okay, and the answer is yes, if I were to promote it, we'd both make a ton of money, but I get 30 of those requests a day and I can't do them all, right? And so, and so uh, but I would be someone's dream 100 because they can land a deal with me, they're not going to get one customer, they might get 100 or 1,000 customers or more, okay? And so that's what you're looking for, is who are your potential partners that could bring you 100 or 1,000 or 10,000 customers? Who are your dream 100, okay? That's the first step here. Now, um, I'm going to make a list of that. And so I did this with Liz. I've done this with a whole bunch of people right now uh, recently where we sat down and said, okay, who are your Dream 100 partners? Who are, what, are the, what are their names? And so you sit out and you get out an Excel sheet. And, um, and in the handouts I'm going to give you guys, this is what – these are the things that you're going to be looking for. Let me see if I can pull this, this, uh, this handout in front here. These are things I'm looking for. And this is what I would put in the, in the Excel sheet. So first off is what is their website? So I might, first I'm going to say like, let's say my first Dream 100 person is Tony Robbins. What's his website? TonyRobbins.com. Okay. Then did I join his list? Yes or no? Because you need to be on his email list. Okay. We're going to talk a lot about that right now, but email lists are like the holy grail. So I need to make sure that I am on the list of all 100 people in my Dream 100. Because I need to see what emails they're sending out, what they're saying, what they're selling, what they're talking about. Because when I get on the phone with that person in the future, I need to make sure that I've done my homework and I know who they are. Okay, I had, I've had multiple people who had me on their Dream 100 list and they call me up and they'll try to pitch me on something and I can tell really, really quickly they have not done their homework. They don't know what I'm doing. I had a guy the other day that's just like, hey man, you're one of my favorite markers. I really want you on my team. Just curious, I'm like, what are you working on right now? And I said, uh, well, uh, a lot of things, like have you seen anything that's coming out recently that you liked? He's like, no, I haven't, I haven't looked for a while, but just curious, like what, what, are you been, what have you been focusing on? I'm like, Okay, I know right now out of the gate this guy has no idea what I'm doing because I've spent the last four or five months of my business doing nothing but promoting our new software company, ClickFunnels. We, just, we were in the middle of a huge launch with hundreds of affiliates promoting. He's asking me what I'm doing right now. He had no idea. 
Okay, if he would have done his homework and been on my list before he made that call, he'd say, man, I saw what you're doing with ClickFunnels. This is awesome. This is why I love it. This is why I'm going to promote it. This is how I'm going to help you. That would have changed the whole conversation. But he didn't do his homework, and because of that, he didn't get the deal. Okay, it's important. Okay, if you guys watch Shark Tank, the entrepreneurs who do their homework ahead of time are the ones who are successful. Same thing here, you guys. When you have your dream 100, you got to do your homework ahead of time. Okay, and the best way is to get on their list, follow them on Facebook, um, anywhere that they're communicating with the audience, you need to see those things. Uh, one of my friends, his name's Stu McLaren, and, uh, and Stu's a, a really cool marketer. Uh, and uh, when I first met Stu, he was brilliant because he was on my list, but then he bought my product, and it was a live training course that I was doing. And every single, um, every single training course I did, he was on there asking questions and, and answering questions and, and being helpful, and I knew his name and over and over and over again, I saw his name, and he was one of my customers. He bought something. So when he called me up on the, on the phone to do a deal, guess what? I knew who he was already, okay? I knew exactly who he was, and we were able to, to set up a deal really quickly, and we ended up becoming business partners, and we've done a lot of stuff over the years because of that. Stu also, uh, one time he was calling uh, this guy named David Fryup. David is uh, actually married my second aunt, and David's one of my favorite people in the world. He, uh, he called up. Stu called him up and said, hey, I want you to speak at my event and I want you to promote it to your list. And David said, hey, I'd love to speak at your event, but I, I can't promote it to my list. I never do that for people. I just, I can't, but I'd love to come speak at your event. And Stu said, no worries. That's awesome. By the way, I hope Ingrid's doing awesome and, and blah, 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 and kind of mentioned something about his personal life that Dave had written about about two weeks earlier in an email. And Dave ended up hanging up the phone and he sat there and said, you know what? Stu did his homework. Like he knew my wife's name. He knew the story that I emailed my list two weeks ago, and he was prepared and he showed up ready. And so Dave called him back a few minutes later and said, "You know what, man? I really like you. I'm not only going to speak at your event. I'm also going to promote it to my list." And boom, that that deal was done. Okay, you guys. So it's important for you to be on their list. Now, one thing I want to be <laughs> be careful of is if you join a hundred people's lists and you're already getting a lot of email right now, you're going to start getting a lot of email. So I recommend setting up a new Gmail account. Set up like Russell's potential or Russell's Dream 100 at gmail.com, something like that, and join everybody's email list through that. That way, it's not all going to your main inbox; it's going somewhere else. And then, before you make a call, someone you can log into that email at, e- email, um, go and search all of their messages, read through them all really quick, and then boom, you got some more information on them. Okay, but definitely join their list. You need to know what's happening; otherwise, you're going to look so foolish when you get on the phone and try to do a deal with them. Okay. Next is what is their fan page URLs on Facebook. Okay, this is important because in, in the last step in this process, we're going to be driving traffic to their fans. So you'll find out what are their fan page URLs. Put that in your Excel sheet. How many fans do they have? What's their flagship product? What, what's the core thing they're selling? Okay, what's their phone number? What's their address? You want to gather as much information as you can during this, this discovery process of your Dream 100. Okay? All right. So you can see right here, you guys, the first step here on the left hand is you got to follow, you got to friend, you got to subscribe, you got to buy their products if you can afford them because you need to start just really understanding these people. Okay. Now the next thing is 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 uh what what do you have that you can do to kind of provide value to the to these people? Okay. The worst thing you can do is call somebody up the very first time out of the blue and they have no idea who you are and you're like, hey, I've got this webinar and it's awesome and I think if you promote it, we're both gonna make a ton of money. Okay. I like I said, I get thirty of those a day right now and guess how many of them we do deals with? None of them. Okay. The reason why is because they have not done their homework. They have not. If you look down here, it says dig your well. Um, there's a book that I saw a little while ago on, on Amazon. It was called Dig Your Well Before You're Thirsty. And I never read the book, but I bought the book just because I felt like the author deserved my 19 bucks because he gave me an idea. He may understand that most of us are going out there and we put all this time and effort into building this entire thing. And then we go and we're like, hey, um, we promote this. And, no, and people don't know who you are, right? If you want someone to promote something for you in the future, you got to start digging your well today. You got to build that relationship today. Okay, dig your well before you're thirsty. You're not gonna go dig it like, hey, I'm thirsty. Let me go dig. Let me, let me go go get this started. Like this Dream 100 needs to start today, you guys. You need to start building relationships today with these people. Do not wait until your product and your webinar is ready, because if you do, it's gonna be too late. Okay, dig your well before you're thirsty. All right. So how do you do that? What what? How do you do that right now and get get it started? So a couple of things. Like I said, follow these people. Subscribe to them. Post when they blog comment on every blog post they make. When they post something on Facebook, go and comment, share their stuff, whatever you can do so they start seeing you and they start building a relationship with you, okay? Next idea, one that works really, really good is a podcast. Okay, this is one of my buddies. His name is Brad Costanzo and he launched a marketing podcast called Bacon Wrap Business. And uh, and Brad has nothing to sell to his audience. He has nothing right now. And I said, why did you do this? And he said, 
Two reasons. First off, I wanted to be able to interview tons of cool people and get free consulting from them. I said, all right. And he said, number two is he's like, right now, I, like, for example, he did my interview with me and said, I interviewed you. I let my audience listen to it. I promoted you on Facebook. And he's like, you and I have a relationship now. We're friends. Like, in the future, someday, if I do want something, he's like, you're probably going to answer my call now because I put you up on a pedestal. I, I interviewed you and put you out to my, to my world, to my platform. And, uh, and it was true. Like, I built a really good relationship with Brad because of this, because of this podcast. Um, and so for you guys, like one idea is starting a podcast, okay? It's one of the easiest ways to get somebody to return your call. Um, it was interesting. I was watching, um, if you guys have ever seen Celebrity Apprentice, it hasn't been on for, for a while. I think they might have canceled it. Um, uh, I'm not sure if they did cancel or not, but I think they might have. But the last season that I saw, um, Arsenio Hall was on it. And if you guys remember Arsenio Hall, like the Arsenio Hall show, right? And uh, I remember being a kid and seeing that show and him coming out and like, who, 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 you know, his whole, his whole spiel, right? And, uh, and I remember that during the, during, uh, obviously his show was canceled like 10 years ago and he's kind of, was kind of a nobody. And he came on Celebrity Apprentice. They always bring on like these B-level celebrities, right? So they bring him on and, and everyone's like, oh yeah, I remember Arsenio Hall. And they had this um, challenge where they're trying to raise money for, uh, for a charity, right? And, uh, and so Arsenio goes and he's like, yeah, I can raise a bunch of money. He starts calling all of his friends, all his contacts. And guess how much money he raised, Big fat zero. Everyone he called, nobody returned his call. Nobody returned his call. And he was like so frustrated. And I remember he sat, I remember he said this line that just like, when he said it, it just, I was like, that's it right there. He said, man, when I had a show, everybody returned my call. He said, now that I have a show, nobody will call me back. Okay. Because there was a platform and, and people wanted to be on a show. So they would do anything to get on a show. And he was the man. As soon as his platform disappeared, nobody returned his call. Okay, so for you guys, like starting a podcast, this is your platform. This is your show where you can interview the most amazing experts in the world and bring people on. And guess how many, guess how many subscribers Brad has to Bacon Wrap Business? Okay, I, I don't know. I have no idea. But he called me and said, hey, can I interview you for my podcast? It's called Bacon Wrap Business. I said, yeah, that'd be awesome, man. I'm on his show. Now, I, I have no idea how many people were on his show, but he was able to get my attention enough that I, I put down an hour of my time consulted him for free for an hour on what we're doing and all sorts of stuff because he was putting me on his platform. So for you guys, if you're thinking like, how am I going to get through my, to my dream 100? One of the best ways to start a podcast and bring them on your show and boom, now you'll start building a relationship with them. You're providing value to them. You're, you're, uh, you're, um, doing a whole bunch of really cool stuff. Okay. So there, there's idea number one. Next idea, this one I thought was brilliant. This is a guy named Jesse Elder. And, uh, and I just met Jesse recently. In fact, um, I saw him on my Facebook thing and I saw, him, I saw him speak at some like, some event, I don't even know what it was. So when I followed him, or I, I friended him on Facebook and he friended me back and he's like, hey man, heard a lot about you. I said, yeah, I heard about you. And we kind of connected through there. And then um, about two weeks later, he posted this thing on his Facebook wall and he said, hey guys, I'm doing this really cool uh, training program called Ethical Cult Building 101 and uh, teach people how to, how to start create mass movements and how to use that to sell products and things like that. And I'm going to be selling this in the future for a couple thousand bucks, but I want to know if any of you guys want to come in for free right now uh, so I can take some people through the process, get some testimonials and, and check it out. And I was like, yeah, do that. So I posted, I want in and a bunch of people said they wanted in and check this out. I'm going to pull up um, our little secret group. Hopefully you won't get mad at me for this. But this is the Facebook group right here. It's called Ethical Cult Building 101. And right now he's got 661 members, 661 people who are his friends, his family, and also, guess what? His Dream 100, people who he was following on Facebook, people who he was connecting with on Facebook, getting to know them. He invited them all to this training for free. Now he's got this huge group of people, right? He comes out and he does his very first version of his system. He sells session one, session two. He gets hundreds of testimonials, of people loving it, and people experiencing it, and he's creating this great community and great success stories, all this stuff coming from his training. He's giving away for free. He, what's he doing right now, you guys? He's digging his well before he's thirsty. He knows that, hey, maybe Russell would have bought this in the future, but if I give it to him for free, what could happen? Maybe Russell will go and uh, in the future, he'll, he'll, he'll like my training. When I do launch this as a product, maybe Russell will promote it. Instead of bringing in just that him as that one person, you're bringing in 100 customers or 200 or 500 or more, okay? He's very strategically building, um, he, he's strategically digging his well before he's thirsty, providing value to us, proving he knows what he talks about, and someday in the future, he may or may not, 
but I'm pretty sure, if he was me at least, in the future he's going to come out and sell us as a course. Okay, so as you're building relationships with, with these Dream 100, and you're following him, and you're friending him, and you're sending him messages, and you're thanking him for their email, and you're doing whatever you can to build connections with all these different people. After you've kind of got that happening, go and invite them to your training for free. Give them an experience. Let them experience you at, 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 a, at a for free if you want. I don't care, but give them that experience. Where they say, "Man, this guy is awesome. I receive more value from him because I promise you, these are all things you got to be doing right now, you guys, to dig your well." Okay, so that's your Dream 100. And that's the first. The first real real key here, you guys, is finding out who those people are. Now, there's a bunch of reasons why. I think I share on the next slide. Nope, I don't. So a bunch of reasons why. One of them is you see this little ecosystem. When you build your Dream 100, this is kind of going to probably end up being all the people who are in your market. Okay. Now, when I first got started online, I was really scared about competition. I remember getting into some markets and I said, there's a lot of people selling stuff like this. This is going to be hard. We're going to be competing against each other. And uh, what I found, though, is that when I go through this Dream 100 process, I find out that, hey, this guy right here, this is what he sells. And it's not the same as mine, but it's it's in the same market, right? It's in the same ecosystem. And this guy is selling this thing over here. And this person's selling this. And this, this lady's selling this. And, and I start seeing, like, what are all the different things people are teaching? Now, if I come in there with an exact same product and I say, hey, Jesse's teaching ethical cult building. I'm going to teach ethical cult building. What happens? Suddenly, we're competing, right? And if we're competing, we can't be partners. Okay, but if I look at it differently, instead of coming in and trying to be directly competing with him, but I say, hey, Jesse's got ethical cult building. This guy's got um, persuasion secrets. This guy's got stage platform selling. This guy's got this. How do I fit in this ecosystem? What do I have that's a little bit different? What's the spin I can take on my content? Where now, when I when I when I talk to Jesse my first time, right? Let's say he's my dream 100. Instead of me going and trying to trying to go and um and uh, and compete with him, say, hey. I'm selling this thing as well and we're competing. If I make a product that complements his instead of competes, what happens? Suddenly all these competitors right here all can become my partners. Okay? So it's important to understand that, you guys. How can you tweak what it is you're selling so instead of competing, you're complementing? Because if you can figure that out, it becomes very easy to grow and to scale one of these businesses. Okay? Now sometimes you're going to have to compete. Of the 100 people, maybe one person is going to be a direct competitor and that's fine. But the, the, the more you can complement your, your Dream 100 and less you compete with them, the better off you're going to be. Okay? All right, so that's, that's going to be important because that's going to help you kind of figure out now that you know the ecosystem, the people of your dream partners, you're going to be able to figure out like from that, who am I, who am I going to be targeting, how am I going to sell to them? Okay, so there is your, your Dream 100. Any questions about that right now, you guys? I think it's pretty simple. It's not, it's not, that, uh, not that hard. All right, speaking of, James just invited me to be a, a guest on his show. <laughs> Good for you, man. You're, you're getting it. Okay, having your own platform, you guys, is huge. Even if you have no following right now, okay? It doesn't matter. Right now, it's just about creating a platform, creating a podcast, creating a, um, a YouTube show, whatever it is, creating something where uh, you have a platform to start sharing with people, okay? All right, so there's your Dream 100, you guys, and that's the first step. So tonight, after you've gotten your domain name, you bought in your logo, I'd open up Excel and start building out a Dream 100 list as quick as you can. Because the faster you find your 100 potential partners, the faster you're going to find out where in that ecosystem you fit. You're going to be able to start building relationships with people and you're going to start digging your well now so that in a month from now when your training is done and your webinar is perfect, you're not just calling someone out of the blue. You're not one of the 30 emails I get every single day. You're calling me on, you're messaging me on Facebook or you're texting me because we become friends. Okay, you guys, and that's, that, that's, that's the key here. Okay, we're going to talk about paid advertising. There's ways to do that, but if you want to go you want to go as fast line and fast track your success. Um, it's it's by finding partners, and that's the the fastest way to be successful with this. And then, again, we'll get into the paid advertising, all the things you can do on that side. But the fastest way is building good relationships with those Dream One Hundred. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. All right. So after I got my Dream One Hundred, the next step here is I got to figure out like what's what's my system. Okay. Everyone's got a system. I look at I look at Jesse back here. He's got his ethical cult building system where he's taking someone through his system, right? I look at Tony Robbins. He has a system for teaching people how to do whatever what he's selling, right? I look at uh, Laura Langemeyer. I look at um, I look at um, I mean, think about any any of the the people. Look at Jillian Michaels. Look at um, any of the people you study. Any people that any of the gurus, the experts that you follow. Okay, I'm guessing right now you probably got 10, 15, 20 um, experts that you follow on Facebook, right? What's their system? What's the process they take somebody through? to get the result that they want. Okay, that's what I talk about when you're thinking, like, what's your system? 
okay? Now, the first time I ever did this, because I said, when I first got started online, I was selling software. And I was having some success with it. And then one person came up to me and was like, hey, um, we're doing this event. We'd love for you to come and speak at the event and teach what you're doing. And I was like, all right, that'd be fun. I've never spoken before. And I honestly was scared to death. I, I was like, it's funny because now, like, I've, for the last 10 years, I've been speaking a lot. So I, I've, I still speak way too fast and I slur my words and I say um and stuff way too much. But I'm pretty comfortable. I've been doing this for long enough that that I, I feel comfortable in my skin and I feel like I, I can speak all right, okay? But prior to, to this, I, I had no experience. I was scared to death of people. And so he asked me to come speak at an event and, uh, and I said yes. And I decided I was gonna put on a little tiny workshop the day before for some of, the, some of my customers who were gonna come to the event, okay? And so I messaged out and had about eight or nine people who were supposed to come to this little workshop. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna just share some of my ideas and share kind of what I've done to build my business and then I'll speak the next day. And so that was kind of the, the thought process, and, uh, and I put it out there. And uh, what was cool is, is from that, uh, that event, uh, I showed up, and I had this little room reserved, and, and I had this guy who had a video camera who showed up, and he set a video camera up in the back. And then uh, I went upstairs to get dressed, and back then, you know, I, I always wear, like, my suit and tie because I thought that was, like, how professional business people are supposed to be. And so I put on my suit and tie, and I come down, and I'm expecting there to be seven or eight people in this room. So I come down and uh, when I do, I, I walk in and there's not seven or eight people. Those seven or eight people who were supposed to be there were at the bar before waiting for the event to happen. They saw a bunch of other people who were going to be attending the event the next day. And they're like, hey, guys, um, we uh, are going to this thing that Russell's doing tonight. You should come and just check it out. And so they told their friends, they told their friends. And I show up and there's 50 people in this room, 50 people. And I am like literally scared to death. I walk in. I was like, ugh. And I had nothing planned, nothing prepared. All I knew is that I was going to go and... And potentially I was just going to go and uh, and just kind of just ask do Q&A with, with this little tiny group. But because there were so many people and I said, I, I probably should have a presentation. So I walk in, I see all these people and I say, hey, you guys, I'm going to be getting started in about five minutes. I left my presentation upstairs. I'll be right back. And I run into the elevator. The elevator shuts and I start just sweating bullets. I'm like, I've got 50 people I got to present to and I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. And I was I was scared. I was nervous. All these emotions were going through my through my mind, right? I'm like, I got to figure out a way to, to create something that, so when I'm down there speaking, there's some coherence to that whole concept, right? And I said, you know what, uh, let me go. So I went back to my room, grabbed a pad of paper, and I said, okay, now if I was going to start with someone, like a brand new client, let's say, and I'm going to take them through, like what would be the process I would take them through? I said, well, step one, I would do this. Step two, I would do this. Step three, I would do this. And I kind of walked them through the system, like the system that I, that I would take somebody through. After I wrote down probably the, the 10 or so little bullet points in my system, I was like, well, the event's starting. I'm kind of out of time. Let's go. So I walked downstairs. I come down with my one, pad of, my one sheet of paper. I stand in front of the audience. And I said, thanks, everyone, for coming to the workshop. Excited to have you guys here. I'm going to take you through this system that's going to teach you this. All right, step number one is this. I took my first bullet point. I shared what that was. I talked my way through it. And then, boom, I taught that first bullet point. Then I taught bullet point number two and then number three. And I did that for about two hours. And at the end of two hours, I taught my system, okay? And that was the first time I ever created a system. Um, and so for you guys, I want you kind of thinking like, what, what's your system? And, uh, and so a couple of things I want to show you real quick. Um, the first thing is that I like calling these your system outline. Like what's the outline of your system? What's it look like? And the easiest way for me to think about it is picture that you're going to write a book on on your system. Now, I don't want any of you guys writing a book because it's a horrible, horrible, horrible process. Um, I literally spent eight years trying to write a book. I finally started writing one and I had a ghostwriter helping me through the whole process and, um, and it still was like the most painful thing I've ever created and it was, it was hard. So you're not gonna actually write a book. I promise you it'll be way easier than that. But think about it as if you were writing a book, okay? And the first thing you do to write a book is what? If, you, if it's a how-to book, you're writing a table of contents, right? So that's the way to start is act like you're writing a table of contents of whatever it is you're going to teach. Now, if you have no idea kind of what you want to teach even, then go to Barnes & Noble or Borders or I, I guess I don't know if those companies are still in, in – if they're still around. Um, we still got one of them here in Boise. Um, or you can go to Amazon, whatever it is, and go buy three or four or five books on your topic. And when they come, when you get them, look at the table of contents of all of them. And you're going to find out really, really quickly what are other people teaching on this, this topic. Okay, I love going and buying uh, the dummies books, like dummies guide for whatever, because all those dummy guides have like the most amazing comprehensive table of contents in the world. Okay, and so you're going to go and from that, look at all this stuff and then figure out like what, 
what's your system going to be? What are the steps you're going to take somebody through? What's the first thing and then the second and then the third? Okay, for example, when I started creating uh, this training for you guys, guess what I did? You're never going to guess. I created a system outline. Here's my system outline for this training. Okay, here's what's required. Boom. Step number one, what's your superpower? Okay, step number two, who are you guys going to serve? Okay, does this look familiar? This would have been going through you guys for the last, what, two hours now or so. And this was the system outline I created for Expert Secrets. Okay, and from there I can do a whole bunch of stuff. I can go and create PowerPoints and videos and training. But for right now, all you need is a system outline. Okay, what I want to do right now with you guys is I'm going to go with this list hacking or life hacking secrets. Okay, so this is this is a new project I'm putting I'm doing, and it's in a completely diff different market than I've ever been in before. Okay, I've sold a lot of like how to make money stuff, a lot of other things, but I've never done like kind of a personal development thing. So I'm going to do it right now with you guys, so you can see the process I go through. Now this. This process will typically take me longer to do, um, but I'm going to kind of do it in a fast process. But you'll see how like I'm going to do a lot of like blah, blah, blahs and, and fill in the blanks here. But I would go through, I'd probably spend three or four hours really flushing this out before I got started. You guys should as well. Okay. So first thing I do is I put in like what's what's the, the title of what my thing. You Okay. For me, it's usually whatever my domain name is. So lifehackingsecrets.com. Boom. There it is. Now, I usually like trying to teach things in, in uh, like six module six modules that's how i typically do most of my trainings you know so what i'm gonna do is like i'm, I'm picturing if i'm gonna take somebody through this life hacking process like what are the what are the like, like what would be the process so i would say module number one the first thing that i would do is i would have to teach people how to do speed learning okay because the the hardest thing with like with like life hacking and really getting huge results in, in any a aspect of your life fast is you have to like accumulate a lot of knowledge quickly and most people like just are, don't know how to speed learn okay um, they never taught me that in school, which is why I struggled through school. So they learned how to speed learn. Um, I was able to literally, I, I can get a book done in, in an hour. Um, I can go through an entire book. I can pull resources. I can learn stuff really, really quick now because I've learned some really cool speed learning things. So some of the things that, that I've learned inside there, um, double your reading. So that's a, it's a process we take someone through to, 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 to learn how to speed read. Um, the, one of my dream 100 people here is a guy named Howard Berg who's a friend, so I might have him on one of my training calls because he's awesome. So Howard is awesome. Um, you gotta understand memory, memory retention. Um, I've got a guy, I can't remember his name right now. Speaking of memory, I forget his name, but he's the Guinness Book of World Records for, uh, for memory, so I'm gonna be a memory guy. I met this guy at, at a Tony Robbins event. He walked up to me in the middle of the hallway and he stopped me and said, Russell Brunson. I said, yeah, how'd you know that? He's like. He's like, I'm the Guinness Book of World Records for the best memory in the world. He's like, one time I saw one of your web pages. I'm like, serious? How cool is that? And I was like, and we started, we started kind of talking about stuff. I said, how about this, dude? I'm going to give you my phone number right now. And if you can remember it, I want you to call me in 60 days from now. And if you remember it, I'm going to, I'm going to invite you to my next, uh, my next high ticket training program. And he's like, all right. So I told him my phone number. He remembered it. And two months later, sure enough, he called me. And it was awesome. So I can't remember his name right now, but that, that's who that is. Howard Berg is the world's fastest reader. Uh, he's the one that taught me and my team how to do speed reading, memory retention. Um, uh, there's this guy named Jim Muckle. Uh, he does uh, mind mapping, which is really cool for like retention for creating products and stuff. So probably have Jim be a cool person to do. Um, let's see. Yeah, that probably that probably be the core things. Again, I would flesh that out more. But see, I've got like here's my the core of the module. And then what are things inside? I want to teach speed reading. I want to teach memory retention, mind mapping. Here's some people who are probably better experts than me at that individual topic. So I might grab them to do some stuff inside. I'm not sure yet, but just kind of putting those names down, right? Okay, next is like energy hacking. So this is like how, like yesterday, for example, guys, I did a seven and a half hour webinar. And at the end of it, I felt awesome. Like I had so much energy and I wasn't tired. I hadn't eaten anything. And like I still felt good. And I most think most people understand that. So energy hacking, like, um, the process, the parts of that are like a lot of it is um, is is diet related. So understanding fats, understanding fats, and diet. Um, so people like uh, Dave Asprey would be really cool to have on that one. Um, as part of a training. Um, okay, um, supplementation. Supplementation is really cool. Um, also, like uh, hormone optimization or hormone, hormone op optimization. So these are all things that I would I would want to take someone through. And some of you guys, this is probably exciting for you guys. Some of you guys are like, 
life hacking is boring to me. But for me, it's really exciting. And so, so that's why, again, why I want to create a product about it. But these are like all things that I went through on my journey to learn this stuff. Module number two, so energy hacking. Okay. And then, so my homework optimization, there's a guy named Caleb, who is awesome. Um, probably bring him on. Some limitations. Caleb's really good at that too, so I might combine those. So I'll make it do both. Okay. Um, so there's module number two. And again, I'd flesh that out more, but understanding the fats is big. Oh, I think um, uh, understanding juicing is huge. It's been huge for me as well. Juicing, which is uh, Drew. Um, Drew would be my juicing guy. Um, let's see. Okay, so there's module number two, right? Then we go module number three. Number three. Um, so energy hacking. So next I'd probably do is like, so someone, <laughs> to be successful in all these areas I want to focus on, they got to learn how to read fast. And they got to increase their energy. Um, then the next thing is they got to they got to understand like, um, uh, like how to like how to make money. So, um, because most of them right now are, are making money. So I definitely have some kind of system for making money in there. So let's say we call it. Um, I'll just call it expert secrets because I have nothing else to think of right now. <laughs> expert secrets. Now, this is more like something I'm really good at, so I could just do all this one. Russell stuff. Cool. All right, now module number four. Number four would be the next thing, right? And I just keep going through here, you guys. And like, so typically I like doing like six module courses. Module number six. And there's a couple of reasons why. One of them is, oops. In the past, I've done mo I've done trainings that were like 20 modules, because I'm like I need all these things in there. And usually by like module six, I want to kill myself. Um, and so I try to bulk them together, and make them like six things. Um, also, like a lot of people do four four modules. But the problem with four modules is usually if you sell something, you're gonna have like a 30 day guarantee. And um, and so if you unlock a new module each week, I don't want them after four weeks, like, sweet, I got all the goods and then canceling. I want to push them through the rebuild um, or through the, the, the refund period. And so I want them to, to still want those last two modules. And so that's why I usually do six. Um, I think Liz did six for her, um, for her webinar as well, if I, if I remember right. Okay. All right. So anyway, so I would go through this. So I pick six. And again, top of my head, I don't have the other ones right now. But you see I'm going, going. For someone to, to really life hack themselves and get to the point where they, they're feeling great, they look great, um, they're, they're, they're smarter, their energy's up, all these different things, like what, are the, what would be the process I take someone through? And this is what I would do. Step one, I get them to read fast, help them uh, retain more, and help them learn how to mind map. That'd be the first thing to really hack their life. Number two, they gotta have more energy. Most people are so like lethargic, they can't even they stand up, boom, so that'd be the next one. Then they need more money. Then they maybe need more, or more, maybe it's diet or exercise, whatever the next piece is, right? And I would finish out all six. Okay, does that make sense to you guys? That's how I create my system outline. If you guys have not done this yet, this is like one of the most important things. And uh, definitely spend some time tonight or tomorrow, start mapping this thing out, because as soon as you have this, this is the foundation where everything else comes off of, okay? Now, what I like doing after I kind of, um, after I map this whole thing out, is I like giving everything kind of a title. So instead of just module one speed reading, I like being uh, speed learning, I like change it to how to um, double your learning in uh, in a weekend. Uh, in, uh, now I don't know if that that topic is or that title is even any good at all. It, it probably is horrible. I'm just. In fact, I'm sure I would change that, but just for really quick, right? How to, okay? Module number two now, how to. So um, how to, how to, um, how to, uh, I can't even think right now, double your energy, or let's say how to, how to, um, how to, how to never be hungry, lose weight, and, increase energy now I probably I probably tie this one like energy N -E -R, energy hacking boom so now it's number two but see I'm trying like each of these modules I'm trying to turn it into a how-to and I'll explain why here in a second um, but I'm trying to turn each one into a how-to um, and uh, and there's a lot of reasons behind that but one of one of the main reasons is because 
how to stuff just works. People people want to learn how to do stuff. That's what we're selling you, right? You're an expert teaching somebody how to do something. So how to is like the the key to this, right? Um, and so that's that's the first step in this process that I want you guys to understand. Is it's got to be something how to related, all right? And uh, and so that's how that's going to be. And then each of these, I'd even dig deeper, make this how to double your reading, how to increase your memory retention, how to, and I'm going to go through that whole thing and try to make all these things as many as possible into how to's, okay? And uh, and the the main reason why you guys is right now what I'm helping you guys build out is kind of like your your flagship product, right? A product you can sell for anywhere from five hundred to a thousand dollars or more, okay? And so what I'm doing with this is I'm kind of teaching my entire system, right? This entire thing becomes my my system, okay? And that's again what the focus of this this training is going to be. But as you guys kind of progress with us and the stuff that we're doing, you see the the other things I'm going to be teaching you guys is eventually I'm going to want more funnels than just a webinar funnel. Maybe I, I want like a, a funnel to get new customers in. So I might make a funnel that all it is is, is a product that's teaching you how to double your learning in a weekend. That might be one product with a, with a product and an upsell and down. So that might be one funnel that I create. And this one right here might be one funnel I create. Okay, so I want to be able to, to take my, my system and I break it out and, and use it in a lot of different ways. Okay, for example, for those of you guys who are in my $25,000 group, you know that my whole dot-com secret system, it's kind of like, it's this big, huge system, right? We do workshops every every three or four months, kind of walking through the system, the next part and the next part, and and I can I can spend like, you know, days teaching the entire system, but then I break out just specific parts. Like for example, at our last workshop, I did a I did a two hour presentation on expert secrets. Where now I'm coming in, we're doing a four or five or six hour long presentation on expert secrets, where I'm diving in a lot more depth and a lot more detail, and I can sell it separately. Okay, because if you want my entire dot-com secret system, it costs $25,000. That's what we charge for it, right? But if you want expert secrets, I'm going to give you guys a, a, a smaller piece of that because I want to give you guys a result. I want you to go through here, have a result like Liz, make a bunch of money, and then hopefully if I do this right, you're going to want more stuff from me. Okay, if, I, if you guys become, you know, launch your expert business, you start doing webinars, and your first month you do what Liz did and do 35 sales at 1000 bucks a pop, you made thirty five grand, and all of a sudden, hey, Russell, Russell did this for me in the last two months, what if I join his $25,000 program? What could he do? You're probably going to want to give me more money. Okay, so that's kind of this, this process is, is when your system is done, you can go back and, and long term, again, this is not immediately, but long term, I can take each of these pieces and create new products, new services, and things that I can also sell people to get people into my funnels, get people into my business, give them a result, and that'll then help them to ascend up to my other products and my other services. Okay, and we'll go into deeper that here in a little bit as we kind of map it out with, with you guys. But that's why it's important to have these how-to titles because someday I may sell this just as its own thing. And so if it's just like energy hacking, that's hard to sell. If it's energy hacking, how to, be, how, to, how to never be hungry, lower, anyway, whatever, whatever it ends up being, right? Okay, so anyway, that's kind of a rant that's more long-term thinking. Um, but, but for right now, your system just needs to be complete like this. Again, we're creating one product out of your entire system, but in the future, we are going to splinter this off into different funnels and different things. Okay. All right. Mike said that I'm effing awesome. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. Um, all right. Back to the presentation. All right. So table of contents. Um, and from that table of contents is where we're creating your flagship product. Okay. Does that make sense, you guys? That's kind of the goal here. All right. Um, let me see something real quick. All right, cool. So we're about two hours in, you guys. We st we we're doing we're doing good. We're about where I wanted to be at this time, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a couple more things, and then we might take a quick little uh, a quick little break. So what I want to show you guys is I want to show you how, like, because th there's the conceptual of me mapping this thing out, right? And then I'm like, now I've got this thing mapped out, right? I've got the system created. Like, where do I, how do I, how do I turn this into something people are going to buy? So there, there's a lot of ways to do it, right? There's a lot of ways to turn each of these, each of these ideas, this concept of what you're teaching into, into content, right? Just something that people are going to pay for. Um, probably the easiest way is, excuse me, is going and, and, uh, and creating a presentation for each of these, kind of like what I'm doing right now, right? Expert secrets, you guys are, are seeing me kind of do this live on the fly, right? I've got PowerPoints, I've got handouts, I've got videos I'm showing you, teaching teaching this piece, right? Teaching this module. Um, I remember when I first was trying to figure out how to create products, uh, one of my friends, uh, David Fry, he, um, he was telling me that he had a bulldog training product. And he said that he didn't know anything about bulldogs. He just knew that bulldog training was a hot market and he wanted to, to be in that market. So he's like, so I came back and what I did is, um, he's like, I went and I bought five or six books on bulldog training. Okay, kind of like I told you guys before, right? 
And he said, I took these five books and I hired somebody to go and take these five books and read all of them. So they'd read all the books. He said, from all, all the information you learned from all five or six of these books, I want you to create a bulldog training system. And I want you to basically create a, a system outline, create a table of contents like I showed you guys here. Create a table of contents and said, then I want you, and this is the person you outsource this to, then I want you to go take that and turn each of the, those, uh, those things into a PowerPoint slide. And then in the PowerPoint slide, I want you to have speaker notes that kind of explains the core concept of that slide. Okay? And so we just hire somebody to do that. Now, maybe I'll share this with you guys. If you don't know how to do that, there's a couple really good sites where you can literally for for pennies, for, for two or three bucks an hour, you can find somebody who's got a PhD in English, who lives in Romania, who can who can research and create your entire system outline for you and turn into PowerPoint slides, whatever it is you want to do. Or you can take your own system outline and make them go and find graphics and images and create an entire PowerPoint slide. But what Odesk is, it's kind of like 99designs, but instead of me just going and, and posting logos, I can post a project and say, look, I am trying to create a presentation on how to train a dog. Um, I got five, five dog training books. I want you to read all five of these books. I want you to create a, a 200 PowerPoint slide outline with images going through a system and I want, I want um, uh, speaker notes in each one because I don't really know what you're talking about but I'm going to be the one creating this product and I'm willing to pay 200 bucks for it. And you post that and you'll get people from all around the world, from Romania, from India, from Philippines, from America, from Canada, from Mexico, all bidding on this. And one person will say, I'll do it for a thousand bucks. Next person says, I'll do it for 500. I'll do it for 200. I'll do it for a hundred bucks. Okay. This is how I got my very first software product ever created. Um, I went to a site. It actually just got bought by, by Freelancer. Freelancer is another one. I, I use Freelancer and Odesk a lot, both of these two sites. But I posted, I said, here's the, uh, this idea I have for a product. And, uh, and actually earlier what I did, is, uh, so I had the idea for this product. It was a software product. And I thought it was going to be really, really cool. So I went to Google. I typed in like hire a programmer or something. And I found this company and I, and I told them the idea. I said, how much would it cost? And they gave me a quote. They said, it costs $5,000 for us to build that. I was like, 5000 bucks. Like at the time, my wife and I were making about $12,000 a year. So I was like, that's half my salary, half of our entire money for my little idea that I had no idea if it was going to work. I was like, well, I, I can't afford five grand. I was like, well, and then somebody told me about uh, the site, this site, and again, Freelancer bought it, but a site kind of similar to this. So I went to, I went to the site and I posted the project, same project I'd given to this, this US-based programming company. And, uh, and from there, I got a guy that bid a thousand bucks here in America. I was like, oh, one fifth of what this other people said. And then this other guy posted like 850 bucks. And I'm like, oh man, it's even cheaper. And next I posted $500 and then 200. And finally there was this dude in Romania, his name was Cyprian. And he said, Hey, uh, I think I can do this project pretty quick. I'll give you, uh, if you pay me 20 bucks, I'll get it done. I'll have it done by morning. And I was like, you know what? I don't have 5,000 bucks. I don't have a thousand bucks. I already have 500 bucks. I do have 20 bucks. So I, I, I like, worst case, I lose 20 bucks. I accepted this guy named Cyprian, paid him the 20 bucks. And uh, the next morning I woke up and he gave me the software product. It worked perfectly. And I was so excited. I gave him another hundred. So he made 120 bucks off me. That became my very first software product. I started selling and that product did, I don't know, 30 or $40,000 in sales for me. And uh, before we, we kind of closed it down and that came off of a 20, well, $120 investment. Okay, that's what's cool about freelancer.com and odesk.com is you can get people to help you with all these menial tasks that just would drive you crazy and, uh, and get it done for, for insanely cheap. And most of these people, you guys, are so much more talented than we could ever dream of being. Okay, um, I've got programmers in Romania right now who, uh, like, if these guys were American programmers, it would be, I don't know, 150, $200,000 a year. And when I first hired them, I was paying them 100 bucks a week. Okay, there's people who have PhDs in English and, and writing that um, would write better than Ames could ever dream of, you can get for three bucks an hour, okay? It, it's really pretty amazing. So any of these tasks that you guys are like, this is, this is confusing for me, I don't know what to do, there's, you can go to odes.com or freelance.com and get someone to do it. Okay, if you guys remember the step I told you about, the techie step right here, back, uh, back here, Right with GoDaddy Cloud for ClickFunnels. If you're like, I don't get that. Russell's a moron. I don't understand what you just said. You can go to Odesk and say, Hey, for five bucks, can you point my DNS from GoDaddy to Cloudflare to ClickFunnels? And literally for five bucks, somebody would do it for you. Okay. So anytime you get stuck on something, guys, just realize that there's people smarter than you who work for so much cheaper than you to get it done, and it's very, very easy. Okay. So what I was saying is kind of come back to to this. Right. I create my outline, and then 
and then I can go and I can create PowerPoint slides from it. I can go and I can I can hire someone to do whatever it takes, but creating kind of this thing. And then when it's done, I can go and open a PowerPoint. I can uh, there, there's software like um, uh, I use a product called Camtasia. It's a couple hundred bucks for Camtasia, or you can use uh, um, there's ScreenFlow for the Mac, which is really good as well. Where basically you just set up the ca- you just click a button, it'll record your screen. You set up a microphone, and you talk, and you just teach yourself going through your slides. Okay, right now as I'm recording this, I got Camtasia running right now because guess what, guys? I'm not doing this just one time. I'm turning this into an evergreen product that I can sell forever. That's part of why I'm recording. That's why I'm doing this right now because I want this to make me money today, tomorrow, and forever. Okay, the whole goal with this, you guys, anytime you create something and you record it, you never have to record it again. The, the product's done. Okay, Liz talked about it. She created her webinar or created her, 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 uh, her training course and it took her a couple weeks to get it done, but now it's done. She doesn't have to create it again. It's not like an English teacher in high school where you got to teach that same lesson every single day for the rest of your life. You create it once and you're done. Okay, and that's how you do it. You create the presentation, open up Camtasia or ScreenFlow, or whatever it is you're going to use, and then just record it. A couple people asking for those resources. Uh, Camtasia, you can get it techsmith.com. It's Camtasia. I don't know what they charge for it, but it's worth it. I promise you that. Oh, they got a free trial. So you can go get a free trial and just use it, or you can buy it. So that's techsmith.com for that. So 300 bucks to buy it, or you can get a, a trial and just make all your videos while the trial's still. I think you have a 30 day trial. So you can make your entire course before TechSmith even bills you. Um, and then I think it's screenflow.com for the Mac. Camtasia works for the Mac and the PC, actually. And screen, yeah, screenflow.com is, uh, is the, the Mac equivalent. Um, but those are, those are very, very good things to do. Now, if some of you guys don't like doing the video stuff, you don't have to do PowerPoints either. You can just set up a camera and just talk in front of it. Or if you want, you can do it all through audio. Okay, a lot of, a lot of our students don't do any visual. They just set up a microphone and they record themselves doing audio teaching their thing, okay? That, excuse me, that's a, that's a possibility as well. One of the best ways to do it as well, to get this whole process done and over with, kind of like ripping a Band-Aid off, is, um, is, uh, is call up like five or 10 or 15 of your friends who might be interested in this, okay? I think this is how I'm gonna do life hacking secrets. Is I'm just gonna call a bunch of my friends who um, who keep asking me what I'm doing, how I'm, you know, how are you making so much money, Russell? How do you have so much energy? How uh, you know how are you uh, how are you doing these things? And just say, hey guys, I'm gonna do a workshop in my house. It's gonna be like five or six hours long. It's called Life Hacking Secrets. Um, if you want to come to it, come for free. It's gonna be awesome. And then I'm gonna bring set up a video camera at my house, bring my friends and family, and I'm just gonna record myself teaching them my system. And then those videos from me recording it can become the, the, the training that someone gets inside of my system, okay? So there's, again, there's a lot of ways to do this, you guys. It's just kind of sitting down and, and, and just recording yourself, putting that information out there into the world, okay? All right. Um, let's see. Okay. All right, so what I want to do right now, now as you start kind of creating this stuff, you guys, this is where ClickFunnels starts coming in. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what ClickFunnels yet, ClickFunnels is a website builder that allows you to build not just a website, but a sales funnel. Okay, and there's a lot of types of sales funnels. There's opt-in funnels, there's sales funnels, there's, in fact, let me click, if I click on add new funnel, you'll see them all right here, right? An opt-in funnel, which is basically, it's a two-step funnel. Step one, someone gives me their email address. Step two, I thank them. Okay, and there's a sales funnel where somebody gives me their email address, then they give me their credit card to buy something, then there's a thank you page, and that's kind of the, the sales funnel. Then there's a webinar funnel, which a webinar funnel is what I'm going to be helping you guys with here in an hour or so. Or there's an automated webinar funnel where you can take your recorded webinar and plug it into here. Then there's membership sites, there's launch funnels, a bunch of other things as well. Okay, um, but for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a membership site because um, because this is where I'm going to be storing my content. Okay, when Liz created um, her trading system, she created her the, what people are paying her a thousand bucks for is a membership site she created inside of ClickFunnels. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to come here and click on Create Funnel. I'm going to call this Life Hacking Secrets, and then call this Life. Um, call it, you, this is just a tag, so I can remember what it is. I'm call it Success, etc. Click on Create Funnel. So now it's going to create a membership site for me. Okay, now in the future, I'm gonna be, we're going to be adding pages to this later on today, a bunch of other stuff. But right now, if you look at this, there's two pages, right? The first page is the page that somebody creates their account on. And the second page is the actual members area, okay? And we're in the process right now of adding a whole bunch of new memberships, uh, membership sites and stuff like that. So um, 
in the future there'll be a bunch more but right now i'm just gonna pick one and pick this one right here called list hacking style click on use this template and you watch this guys i'm gonna build a membership site with you right now it's really simple and really easy so it's creating this whole thing boom membership site is created okay now i'm gonna show you guys how to edit and how to do everything here in a minute but first i need my system outline okay so here's my system outline right module one module two module three so first thing i need to do is i need to set up my module so right now module number one is how to double your learning in a weekend so i might call that learn let's call it um speed learning learn learn hacking so first thing is the adolescence section this is for a for each module okay so adolescence section all right so i'm gonna call it module number one speed learning yeah, I can change it later, but boom. Now I created my first module. Now I'm going to add my next module. Module number two. Module number two, energy hacking. I spelled energy wrong. Okay. Now module number two is done. Okay, now module number three I'm going to build out. And so let's go through here and I build out um, the modules that you created in your system outline. And you got them there, right? So that's the first thing is building out the modules. Now I need to add the content to each of these different modules, right? So I'm going to click here on Add New Lesson. Pick my thing. So module number one, Speed Learning. And what do I want to name my first lesson? So what I like doing, see if I can find that in my outline again. Okay, right here. So what I like doing is... Typically what I will do when I create a product is I'm going to go through and I'm going to have a lot of like sub, like sub training, right? So I'm going to do, do an interview with Howard Berg. I'm going to do an interview with the memory guy. I'm going to do an interview with Jim Muckle. I'm have different, more content for that module. And so what I typically do is, is after I interview all three or four of these guys, then I go back and I create um, like a master class of me kind of taking a brain dump of all the stuff I learned, like a summary or overview or kind of like a system of this, of this module, right? So what I will do is like usually my first one's gonna be um, gonna be uh, we'll call it um, uh, we'll call it speed learning master class. Okay, page template. Uh, let's do video lesson drip delay. So this is if you want it to unlock after like immediately or whatever. So I'm just gonna put it on on. Uh, Let's see, on zero, that means as soon as they buy, they get immediate access. So I'll create that. Boom, now this is lesson number one they'll get after they, they sign up, Speed Learning Masterclass. Now what I like doing now is trying to figure out how to make this, like I, I wanna always add like more value and just make it better and better and better for people, right? So I'm gonna come back through and like, what else can I create? So uh, double your reading. So I'm gonna do it, I think I'm gonna do an interview with Howard Berg. That'd be really, really cool. So I'm gonna add another lesson inside of module number one. So I'm gonna add another lesson, module number one. I'm going to call this Double Your Reading, Howard, I also call it Double Your Reading, oops, page template, it's a video lesson, drip delay, I'll get to it immediately, so I'll put on zero, create lesson, boom, now I got Double Your Reading here. Okay, what's the next thing I want to teach my, my people, right? Next thing I want to teach them, I'm put my system outline back in here, for some reason, Max giving me headaches. I'm moving things from monitor to monitor. Um, all right. Well, I know what it is. So I'm just gonna so add my next lesson. So my next lesson here will be module one. Um, memory tension page template video lesson and then zero. Boom! I got my third one. Okay. So you see how I'm doing this? I'm kind of adding in all the different the different content I wanted to put in module number one. Okay, then same thing, I'll do same thing with energy hacking, right? So I'll add a new lesson here. It's going to be for module number two. Okay, earlier we talked about having um, understanding fats. Actually, first I'd be, I'd be master class, right? So energy hacking master class. Video lesson, boom. Okay, I got that. So I got... Um, speed learning masterclass, energy hacking masterclass. Now, what are my sub my sub trainings? I'm going to put in here um, module two supplementation. 
Talk about video lessons, boom. Okay, but see, well, all of you guys, I'm creating out my, my system outline now here inside of ClickFunnels. Okay, now this is going to be a, a, a membership site. And, and what's right now uh, looks sim like pretty simple. I'm just going in and creating all of the, uh, the different, the different uh, everything from my system outline over here in ClickFunnels. Now after it's done, let's say, okay, here's lesson number one. Now I'm going to add the content for that. So I come over here and I click on open an editor. And it's going to pop open. And pop open the content. So when somebody clicks on that training inside of my members area, this is what they're going to see. In fact, hold on, it's not working very well for me because it does sometimes when I have my, I have the screen blown up. So let me get back to 100%. It should work. Okay, so I click right here on open editor. All right, there it is. So this is what that, when they click on that inside the members area, this is what they're going to see. Okay, so the first thing is this right here. So I'm going to change this now to uh, um, Speed Learning Master Class. By the way, guys, before ClickFunnels, we all had to do this. Matt, we had to have techie programmer guys do this. Now, like you, anyone can do this. I can do it, um, which, is, which is really cool. So a uh, system overview of how to learn fast. Right there's that. Now I got to put my video in here. Now I haven't created my video yet, but if I had created my video, all I would do is I would go and I would upload it to YouTube. Okay, when you upload to YouTube, you guys, one thing that's kind of cool. I wonder if I can show you real quick. So you, after you create your video in Camtasia or ScreenFlow, you just drag it and boom, drop it right here. In fact, I'll grab a random video. Let me see. Here's a random video. So I'm gonna drag a video off my desktop. I drop it here and it's gonna start uploading it. And then what I can do right here, I click on. Uh, making it unlisted. If it's unlisted, it means people cannot find it. Okay, if they can't find it, then uh, then uh, I can use it inside of a members area. Okay, and I can change my title and description and stuff. And when it's done, this is the page my video is going to be on. Okay, it gives me the page, even though it's still uploading it. Now I'm going to come down here and I click on. Oh, so I can let me share it till it's live. So I'm not going to share it yet. So let me go back here. So I'm going to cancel because I don't want this video to upload. So I'm canceling it. Oh, let's close it. I'm not going to do it live because it'll slow you guys down. But if I was doing that, after it's, after it's live, then it's going to be on YouTube, right? And YouTube will give me the video. So let's just say, let's see, let me find a cool one. Let's just say this was my video, right? I don't even know. Four-hour body. We'll just, okay. Let's say this is my, my master class video. So I just go to YouTube, to my hidden page. I click on share. Click on embed, and I need to make sure I take off. For some reason, my always messes up. So I just go to embed. I'm gonna copy this this link, and I come back here into. Let's see, where's ClickFunnels? That come back, ClickFunnels. I click on the little video player right here, and it's gonna say video embed. I just delete whatever's there now, and I paste this little YouTube code. Boom, and now my YouTube video is right there. I can here. I can say. Uh, here is the hand handouts for lesson number one. If I want, I can add resources in here. I can do all sorts of stuff. If I want, I can add more. I can uh, I can add in more columns. I can add in um, all sorts. I can add in, I can add more images, headlines, social. Anyway, I can I customize this to be whatever I want, right? But there is I like, create this whole thing and then save it. And now I can close that. Now the content's done for lesson number one. Then I go back, I create lesson number two, make the video, come back here to ClickFunnels, click on open an editor, and I'll just edit these little pages here, drop the video in there, boom, and now I've got lesson number two done. Does that make sense, you guys? And I go through until I've created my entire system, okay, my flagship product, the thing I'm going to be selling for anywhere from $500 to $1,000 on my webinar, okay? And that, you guys, is how you create your system. Does that make sense? Okay, now I can do other editing options. I can click right here in my members area. I can open it in editor and I can do a bunch of other editing. Um, I'm not going to go into that right now because I don't think that's important. I think the important part to understand right now is just creating the system outline, building out here inside of ClickFunnels. After it's built inside of ClickFunnels, then taking the content you create, creating these videos, and then posting them in here. And boom, very, very quickly, within a week, within two weeks, you have your entire master class, your entire training system done and finished. Okay, and now you got something you can go and you can sell somebody. All right, 
Is that simple enough, you guys? And again, we'll we'll do uh, when when you guys um, uh, after the 48 hours after this class is over, and we send you access to the members area. Um, I'll have some specific videos that go into a lot more depth at how all the rest of the technical stuff about setting these things up. I just want to show you really quick and easy how easy it really is. Okay, and so uh, that was kind of the the game plan there. All right. Okay, some of you guys said the screen may be frozen, so I apologize for that. Um, I, I did record this. Again, it's always recording, so if, this, if we missed it all, um, you'll be able to see it on the, on the replay. So I apologize. You never know what's going to happen with technology. you got to love it sometimes, right? Okay, let's see. Where are we at? All right. Now, a lot of people get stuck, like, what I put in, like, my video trainings, what should it be? And so I'm going to show you kind of what I do in my videos that uh, I think make it kind of simple and easy. Um, the first thing is I put in the content, like, like what is it? So, hey, guys, I'm going to teach you guys uh, my, how, how I do energy hacking, right? So I kind of talk about that, that concept as a whole. Then typically what I do, I like sharing a parable. Because if I just tell you, like, here's how we do this, it, it gets really, really boring. If you want people to, to engage with you and listen to your, your presentation and be excited, um, I like sharing stories or parables. Okay, you've noticed during this training in the last two and a half hours, I've shared tons of parables, tons of case studies, tons of things to get to make these things seem real with you, right? I share stories like I shared Jacob Hiller's story, I shared um, uh, Jermaine Griggs, I shared Liz's story. These are all parables to make this concept all seem real for you. Okay, so I talk about what it is. I share a parable to get people excited, make it real and tangible. Then I can go teach the concept, and then I like at the end show an example of here's how it all works. Here's the finished version of what I just did. So when I'm creating the content for each of these pieces, for each of the things going in there, um, that's kind of uh, that's that's kind of what what I try to do. Okay, so I'm making an hour long video teaching teaching whatever that thing might be. Maybe it's my double your reading or my memory retention. That's kind of what the outline I use when I'm creating that content. So what is it? Here's a story or a parable I can share to illustrate this as an example, get you excited. Here's the concept. Here's the steps. Here's how how it works. Let me show you an example of this happening live. And that'll give you guys a good framework to kind of go in and build this build this out. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right. So what I'm going to do, you guys. Yeah, I'm going to do this because we've been on for two and a half hours. And I'm pretty sure if any of you guys are in the spot I'm at, you probably need a, a quick stretch, bathroom, uh, rest break, or whatever it might be. So let's do this. I'm going to break for 10 minutes. Um, so in 10 minutes from now, we're going to come back in. I've got um, two more things to talk about on the content piece. And then we're going to start transitioning over to the pitch, over to the webinar, okay? So um, that's when it starts getting, at least for me, that's the most exciting part because then here's the actual webinar where you're going to be selling someone and, and doing all of those pieces together. So that's where we'll be going uh, next. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so let's take a quick 10-minute break and I'll meet you guys back here in 10 minutes to kind of go into the next step, all right? Hey guys, I'm Robbie here at Russell's office and uh, while he's out at the bathroom right now, I want to take just a minute and talk with you guys a little bit about Liz. Wasn't that a great story? What she was able to do and what she was able to accomplish. It's amazing and what I want to talk with you guys about while he's away is the reason Liz was able to be so successful is Liz is actually a part of what we call our Ignite program and Liz had the ability to actually have Russell handhold her and walk her through the process of building and growing her business step by step by step. One of the coolest things about this whole opportunity is with Russell taking those people by the hand is you have the ability to actually reach out and have Russell touch your business on a daily basis. Imagine for just a minute, you're sitting in your office, you're working on your squeeze page, you're not sure where to drive your marketing, you're not sure what to do, and all of a sudden you pick up your smartphone and you have Russell Brunson on a walkie-talkie. One of the things that we do is we have Voxer, it's a smartphone app, 
that turns your smartphone into a walkie-talkie. Russell can sit down, walk you through the entire process of building and growing your business step by step by step. And one of the reasons that Liz saw the success that she did was because she was able uh, to have that help and have that guidance directly from Russell. We're actually going to watch a video. This is Drew, and Drew has got a great business uh, of helping people transform their lives and transform their bodies, but financially it was struggling a little bit. Russell flew out and spent a day with Drew and literally overnight was able to transform his business. Drew changes people's bodies. Russell changes people's businesses and helps them to build and grow their business. And imagine what would happen if you had the ability to actually work directly with Russell Brunson one-on-one. -on -one. In fact, there's an application. Go to ignite.comsecrets.com and you can have the ability to actually have Russell handhold you, walk you through the process for 12 months. Walking you through the process of building your business. One of the other coolest things about this is that we'll actually have you come out to Boise, spend a week with us, learn directly from you, get to know you and the rest of our team. And hey, maybe if you're lucky, we can go and hang out and go do something fun that night as well. We're gonna have a blast, but why don't we take a minute and watch and see what Russell's done for Drew and for his team, and, uh, and, and then we'll go from there. I never know when death is coming. I mean, I could take one breath in and all of a sudden I'm out. So I try to live each day impacting as many people as possible and really making a difference. And um, would I be content with where I am? Absolutely. I would feel amazing about the uh, thousands of people that have been touched by our message. Um, would I be a little disappointed in the fact that maybe we didn't reach as many people? 100%. Because that's what it's about. And um, I don't think it's my time yet because there's so many people that need help. There's so many emails that we're getting every single day and videos coming in and high end transformation uh, students reaching out to us that know that it's more than just their physical transformation. They know that it's a complete mind shift makeover. And that's really what's exciting because when you can change your mind, that's when transformation lasts forever. Nobody goes back to the way that they once were if they can have that shift. And um, I don't think enough people have experienced it and I know more people should. I've spent close to a half a million dollars this past year on hiring teams, on people that are so-called experts helping you uh, with ads, with conversion, with traffic, with all these other things. And my, in my experience, it hasn't added up to what we've, we've spent. We've lost a lot of money. So it's nice to see somebody who actually is demonstrating that has success in their own business and is helping so much people on what Russell is. And uh, I'm excited to implement everything that he has told us to do today. With so many failures as a marketer and as a company, you know, you want to fail. You want to fail all the time, and I look at failure as a good thing. But there comes a point when personally, as a man, your confidence starts to go out the window a little bit. You start to question, you know, am I doing the right thing? It's nice to have a coach like Russell to actually give you the confidence to move forward with purpose and clarity and from a really grounded position, knowing that you're making the right decision. And that's how I feel about today. From, from my particular standpoint, it's been a really tough nine months. You know, we've impacted thousands of people, but it hasn't uh, come to the point financially as to where we need it to be, right? As an entrepreneur, we get a lot of stuff thrown at us. You know, thousands of ideas every single day about what we think we should be doing. And um, I had to release a lot of that. You know, just out of college, I was chasing the wrong things. And um, as soon as I started to listen to my heart and my intuition, that's when I knew that this was gonna be successful. And if I just followed that, 
all the right marketing advice would come along, all the right people, places, circumstances would literally move or shapeshift to come along and hold my hand and help me with that process. And there is no coincidence that uh, Russell is here today. You know, even when I bought the split test book a while ago, you know, the 108 tests, and I was reading it, one of the thoughts that I had was like, how great would it be to have uh, Russell Brunson coach me on this stuff? Somebody that really knows what they're doing. And uh, sure enough, today, I mean, it's just been like a dream come true. I think the greatest uh, form of wealth we have is time. And I know that sounds cliche, but it's, it's so true. You know, we could sit around twiddling our thumbs in analysis paralysis, trying to figure out what to do. And as time goes by, we get closer to death, closer to not living a legacy that we want to live, uh, creating purpose and impact in people's lives. And if I could trade money for time, I would do it in a heartbeat. And I think this is a real simple investment um, in your own life and uh, deciding to move forward with this because it's going to save you a ton of time of trying to figure it out on your own. Here's a coach that does it every single day, that helps you, you know, answers your question, shows you exactly what to do, that has literally run thousands of split tests. Um, my job is to transform people, not to transform businesses. I leave transforming businesses to the expert, and Russell is the expert. You need to make the decision and do it right now. Wasn't that awesome? Did you guys see the power that, that Russell was able to, to help Drew and help him to really build and transform his business? Now, hey, Russell's gonna be back from the bathroom here in just a minute, but what I want you guys to do is I want you to go to ignite.comsecrets.com. I want you to apply so I can give you a call, I can talk with you, and hopefully we can have Russell helping you guys to build and grow your business as well. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna get out of here real quick before Russell gets back in. Thanks guys, see you later. All right, has this been good for you guys so far? Again, we're two and a half hours in. I know this is a lot to cover in, in a short period of time, which is why, again, the replay will be coming out for you guys because uh, I definitely want you guys to be able to to, to dive in deeper. Um, also, in the members area, what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll break it down into sections. So if you wanted to look at, just focus on just the content creation, just the webinar, each of the individual pieces, you'll be able to see that as well instead of having to watch the entire like eight hour thing again, you know, whatever it ends up being. So um, that's kind of the game plan. All right, cool. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna jump back in then. So the next thing I wanna talk about, because uh, one of the, uh, I, I almost thought like I, I shouldn't, for a long time I thought like this wasn't that important to, to share, um, but after years and years and years of doing this, it's amazing how boring and unprolific um, most people are when they don't think about it. So. Um, when I, when I got started doing this, I just kind of did it and I, I didn't realize what I was doing or not doing. It took me a long time to figure it out and uh, and it's really the, kind of the, the key to this whole thing. Um, you've got to be prolific in your content. Okay, If you're not, your messages are not going to be spread. Your ideas aren't. People will buy what they will refund. Um, everything you're doing will come to a screeching halt if you as an expert are not prolific. So what is being prolific? Being prolific, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's being, it's, it's, it's teaching and educating and sharing and, and showing stuff in a way that, uh, that is cool, it's different, that's, 
that's unique, um, and uh, it really is it really is important because if you don't do that, um, like I said, you're gonna bore people really, really quick. Um, I can't tell you how many times like we see weight loss people who come and they're like, hey, so my weight loss in course, my weight loss course, we're gonna focus on eating less calories than you uh, than you burn each each month, and we're gonna focus on the four food groups or this, whatever it is now, the, the food pyramid, and we're gonna all the stuff that's like. The, the, the stuff people can get at school, people that they, they can get anywhere, like that's not what makes you exciting. The reason why Dave, the Bulletproof executive, right, they, the reason why he is so good is that he's prolific. He brought in a whole new paradigm. Like he came in and started teaching people like, hey, instead of like eating uh, whole wheat, you should be drinking butter coffee for breakfast. Like <laughs> like that's prolific. It's different. It gets people talking. It gets things it makes things interesting, okay? And so you've got to be prolific when you're when you're speaking. Otherwise, your messages will not be spread, okay? It's it's just vital. It's very important. So the first way you make your content be prolific is by using the attractive character. Now, I could go on literally for a day teaching just attractive character stuff, but we don't have time for that in the context of this training. Uh, in the members area, I'll put a bunch more training about the attractive character so that those who, who stick through the rebuild rate, you'll get a bunch of really cool training there as well. But the attractive character is... It's the character, it's the personality of the expert, okay? It's the personality and the way you communicate with your audience through everything from a marketing standpoint, from a content standpoint, from all these different areas, okay? And so you're gonna be using the attractive character all the time and, and weaving in your stories and your things throughout this whole process. So um, I'm gonna go really quickly through this because again, I don't wanna spend a ton of time and we'll have a more like, I think, I think it's like a 60 or 90 minute training in the members area just on attractive character. But the attractive character, uh, when I first started using this in my business, had a huge impact on me uh, and on the money I made, which is really cool, right? Um, I, I first learned this from a guy named John Olinus, and John is, uh, is a pickup artist, okay? He teaches, he teaches men how to get women to approach them, okay? And I had him come and speak at one of my, my business events. I heard him speak one time, teach this concept somewhere else, and later I said, John, you need to come to my event and teach this because it's so good. And he got up in front of the room. I remember, I still remember to like to this day, he said, look, you guys, you're selling whatever product or service you're selling. For me, the people I teach, I'm teaching men how to get women to come to them. But it's the exact same thing. He said, they're selling themselves. You're selling your information or you're selling your products or whatever. But he said, the reality is it all comes down to the laws of attraction. Okay. And um, he said that just like my men have to get women to be attracted to them, if you want people to buy your stuff, you've got to be attractive and you have to develop an attractive character. And this is where I first started hearing about this. And when I started doing that in my business, it, it totally transformed everything. I remember the first couple of times I spoke, the only stories I would tell were, were about kind of my, at the time I was still wrestling, so about my wrestling. And it was cool, but what was interesting is that the people that bought my product were always like the athletes and the wrestlers and things like that. And uh, I go. I remember speaking at this one event. It was five or six hundred people, and I gave this my my presentation, and I did awesome. I sold it a bunch. I got to the back of the room. And there were a whole bunch of guys back there. And we, you know, I made. I think we sold, I don't know, seventy or eighty grand from that presentation. It was it was a great day, right? A lot of money, really fun. Met a lot of cool people. Got to work with a bunch of really cool people. And then right after me, um, a woman got up. Her name is Allie Brown. Some of you guys may know Allie. And she got up and she gave a presentation teaching the exact same concept I had just taught about. And I remember sitting in the audience and feeling horrible. I'm like, oh man, I feel so bad for her. Like I took away her whole thunder. Everything that she's teaching right now, I just taught. And, uh, and uh, I, I felt bad for her. And she got up and did her pitch at the end. And guess what happened? The entire room of women popped up and ran to the back and bought her thing. And sure enough, she beat me in sales that event. And I was just, I was blown away. And, and uh, I move on in my career a little bit a little longer, a couple years later, and my wife and I had, had twins. And uh, we had to go through fertility and a bunch of stuff. And it was, it was a hard process. And I'd never shared that story publicly before. And some event I was at, and I don't know how it came up. Sometimes you're speaking your voice. You start saying things and you don't know how to stop it afterwards. But I started sharing my whole fertility story. In the middle, I'm like, why am I telling these people this? But I was going through the whole thing. And then I did my, my pitch at the end. And what was crazy is that, a whole bunch of people ran to um, to the back of the to the back of the room, and when I got back there and I was processing the orders and stuff, I know something really interesting. The people in the back of the room were different. I still had the athletes and the men and the people who had been attracted to to what I was selling before, but now I had a whole new audience. All these like women and mothers and and uh, and uh, and grandmothers and and uh, different segment of people started buying from me because I shared a different part of my story. And so I found that 
throughout the last 10 years of doing this, the different elements I share and different things will always attract different kind of people. And so this attractive character piece that I'm showing you guys right now is, is really fundamental and really key to everything you're doing. You have to learn how to, how to do this because as the expert, if you want people to follow you, they're not going to follow the boring, the boring character, right? They're going to follow the attractive character and does not mean you have to be good looking. Okay. You guys have seen my picture online. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not a good looking, like I'm not like a great looking person, right? I'm not Brad Pitt or something. Okay. I'm not talking about being good looking. I'm talking about having an attractive personality. Okay. The one of the reasons why Liz is crushing it right now, you guys saw her on the video, right? She's just a, so such a fun personality and she's bubbly and she shares story and she's just, she's perfect. Right. And so that's what you guys need to be doing as well as creating a character like that, that people will fall in love with. Okay. So here's some of the, the core aspects of the attractive character. The first thing over here on the left-hand side are the elements of the attractive character. Okay. Every attractive character has a backstory. Okay. Sometimes you might call it an origin story. Can okay. you think about origin story? You probably think of, um, of like superheroes, right? Every good superhero has a backstory that tells that how they came from wherever they're at to where they are today. Okay, if you don't have a backstory and if you don't share it with your audience, then guess what? You will be unrelatable to, to them. You look like this person who's completely perfect who figured this thing out. Okay, but if you have a backstory that says, look, I was where you are at right now. I learned some really, really cool stuff and now check out where I am today. That's what sells. People will see where you, if, if you can go to where they're at and you can show that you were in the same spot they were at through your backstory and then show them that you you, you uh, blazed this trail and you found the answer, that is what people, that, what, that's what gets people to relate to you, okay? The reason why Bulletproof Executive, right, Dave does so good is because guess what? He used to be like 300 pounds overweight and then without exercise, not doing anything, just by drinking his butter coffee, all of a sudden he lost all his weight and boom, that is an attra- that's a backstory because people can relate to that. He's meeting them where they're already at. So backstory is key, okay, an origin story. And you're going to be using this in your presentation. You're going to be using it in a lot of different places. Next are parables, okay? Uh, attractive characters speak in parables and stories, okay? I, I, I should go back after and watch this webinar and see how many stories I've told you guys because um, the, the greatest teachers in the world, they, they speak in parables. And so you guys got to figure out, like, what aspects of your life, uh, when, like, when things happen, like, what, what's a parable that you can use to, to, to um, help your audience understand the concept? Like, when I first started teaching people how to, how to create information products, um, I, I wasn't really so much focusing on like them focusing on their expertise, but just creating like niche products, right? And for me, I had this little potato gun that um, when I was uh, spring break one year, after my wife and I got married, uh, my wife had to work and I was bored sitting at home doing nothing because uh, I couldn't go anywhere for spring break. So my buddy and I, we went and we found some potato gun plans online, went to Home Depot, we built a bunch of potato guns, went out there and shot them and had a ton of fun with it. Uh, the next day, I went, or next week, <clears throat> the next week I went back to school and I was searching online and, and uh, I found this site that you could see how many people were searching on Google for, for a different keyword. I typed in potato gun and sure enough, 18,000 people that month besides me had searched for potato guns. And I looked and there was no products out there. So I decided to create a potato gun product. And I, I went back to my buddy. We, we made a DVD. We went down to Home Depot. We bought the pipes. We glued them together. We made a, a how-to video of how to make a, a potato gun. And I created that product. I put up a little website and put my ads out in front of those 18,000 people. And really quickly, I had my very first information product. Okay. That's the parable I tell people to help them understand that you can create products in any niche you want, right? So there's one parable I share. Okay. There's tons of parables that if you guys, if you guys keep listening to my training and you go through other things, you'll notice that I, I have a whole like portfolio of parables that I use to illustrate different concepts. Okay. And you got to start doing the same thing for yourself. As you're teaching different things, you got to have different parables to kind of illustrate those, those things, okay? Because that's what makes the, the, your teaching interesting, okay? The difference between having a boring product and an exciting product is like 99% parables and stories and things like that. So you got to start identifying. When something happens in your life, you got to stop and be like, how can I turn this into a parable that I can explain to my people that will somehow get them to, to do what I need them to do, okay? And so start keeping track of that. And a lot of times, they don't have to be your parables either. You can share other people's parables. Um, I know that uh, that one of my friends, she told me that uh, for years she taught information marketing and she always would share my potato gun story because that was that story is what related to her. And when she would share it with people, they would be, they get the aha moment and she used my parable. So you don't always have to have all these parables your own, but you need to find stories to illustrate all the concepts that you're trying to teach. Okay. All right. Uh, next is character flaws. Nobody likes... Uh, Nobody likes somebody who's perfect. They can't relate to that. And so one of the hard things you guys are going to find is it's really hard and scary at first to share your character flaws. 
but you also find that it's necessary. When people see that you have flaws and, and things like that, that's what that that's what makes you relatable. That's what gets them interested in you. Okay, and so <coughs> character flaws is uh, is important. And uh, and then number four is polarity. And I'm gonna talk about it here again in a minute. But if your content is just neutral, neutrality is boring. It does not inspire action. Okay, polarity being different and being unique. That's what gets people to to pay attention. Okay, I always say people are like, well, I don't want to offend anyone. You know, I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to like, you know, some people aren't going to believe this or, or agree with me. I, I want to be neutral and be, you know, I want to please everybody. And when you do that, you can't make money. Okay, every time I've tried to be neutral in my marketing and in my content and my products, it, it's boring. Nobody buys it. It causes it, it's essential that you have some polarity because that's what gets people to take action and to listen. Okay, and I'll show some more examples of that here in a minute. So that's kind of the first thing of the elements of the attractive character. These are things you're going to be weaving throughout everything. Next is your identity. Which one of these characteristics fits you the best? One is the leader. Okay. One is the adventurer or the crusader. One is the reporter or the evangelist where you're interviewing people and you're, you're finding out information for them and for yourself. And then number four is the reluctant hero. Relu- reluctant hero is kind of my favorite where um, you, know, you didn't ever have, you know, you never wanted to become this expert. You uh, you were more kind of out there and and uh, and you saw all these people struggling and so finally you decided to share what you were what you were doing with a couple of your friends and it worked for them and so they wanted you to share with some more people and boom because of because of this you became this reluctant hero. Okay, so for you guys you gotta kind of figure out which identity resonates best with you. Again, some of you guys it's like I'm the leader, boom. Some of you guys are like I'm an adventurer, I'm going out there, I'm doing and testing and trying these things out. I want to bring back all all of my adventures to you and show you what the cool stuff that I found. Okay, the reporter, again, is going to interview and other experts and bringing that information back. And then the reluctant hero we talked about. A lot of times if you're just getting started and you're nervous, the reporter is a lot of times the best identity to begin with. Like, for example, when I started internet marketing, I didn't know much about internet marketing. I just wanted to learn. So I became the reporter. And I started interviewing people and asking them questions, and I would record those interviews. And that became, um, in fact, my, the very first product I ever made that did over a million dollars in sales was a product called The 12-Month Millionaire. And I found this dude who wrote a book uh, called The 12-Month Millionaire, and, uh, and I called him on the phone, and he allowed me to interview him. And I interviewed him for six hours. He told me the story about how he, went, how he made $100 million in 23 months, and he spent six hours with the phone on me. I recorded the entire thing and then sold the interview. Can I promise you guys that most of the authors on Amazon have never had anyone interested in their book? If you were to email them tonight and say, hey, your book's awesome. Can I, can I, re, can I interview you? Most of them allow you to interview them and, and you can create a ton of really good products and content and things that way. So there's kind of the reporter, all right? So again, you're going to pick one of these identities. And for me, my identity's kind of shifted throughout my, my career as an expert and yours probably will as well. A lot of times, again, it begins as a reporter. Eventually, you, sh- you transition over to a reluctant hero or maybe it's more the leader, whichever one makes the most sense for your personality, okay? And the last part of the attractive character are storylines. And these storylines you're going to use throughout your presentation, through your marketing, everything. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here, but you got loss and redemption. Okay, I had this thing and I lost it, but I was able to fight my way back. And now I've got this, this secret, right? Us versus them. Okay, if you're an expert in something, what's, what's the opposite of whatever it is you're teaching? Okay, uh, the us versus them is, is a key here. Before and after. A lot, I, was, I used to be fat, now I'm skinny. I used to be broke, now I'm rich. Okay, before and after stories. Amazing discoveries. Check out what I found as an expert. Secret telling. Okay, most of my stuff is secret telling if you haven't noticed. And then third-party testimonials. So those different storylines you can weave into a whole bunch of things. Your emails, your marketing, your, your, your webinar. But these are just things to understand. This is how I, I use and I manipulate my attractive character to get people to buy and to give me money so that I can affect and I can change their life. Okay, so I'll, I'll share different parts. That, I'll share different parables to attract different people. Um, I'll say things that are going to repel some people and attract other people. Um, I use different identities that'll, that'll um, resonate with the different people because everyone's going to everyone's going to be a little different. Okay, so that's the attractive character stuff. Again, guys, in the members area, I'll put a whole bunch more training on that if you want to dig deeper, and you should. Uh, next thing here that I think is important um, about making your content prolific is you have to increase your own personal teachability index. Now, the first time I ever heard this, I've only heard it once was this dude named Kevin Trudeau, and uh, Kevin's in jail right now for doing a lot of shady things. So don't follow everything Kevin said, but he had this one product called uh, Your Wish Is Your Your Own Command or something like that, 
and I went through it. And one thing that was really good that I, I really that I got from that that was powerful was he talked about teachability index. He said if you look at most people, he said that when they um, when they uh, when they start um, when they when they're kids, right? Your teachability index is high. Like I've got four kids right now. My wife's got number five on the way right now, and uh, and their kid, my kids are teachable. Right? I share anything. They just, like sponges. They soak it up. Okay, most of us are very teachable through elementary school and then junior high and then high school and then some of us go to college and you, you're learning all this stuff and you love it and then what happens the second you get your diploma? For almost everyone I know in, the, in this world, they get their diploma, they have a little hat on their head and boom, their teachability disappears overnight. Because they're educated, because they have a degree, they know everything and they're, they're not, no longer teachable. Okay. This is where I struggle the most when I try to help people. Um, like right now, it's it's funny like with this whole life hacking thing. Like I'm doing some crazy stuff that's having huge dramatic impacts on my weight and on my energy and on my physiology and all these things. And as I share it with people, everyone just like shuts down because nope, I don't believe it. Nope, that's against everything I've ever heard in the past. Nope, and they won't listen. And so because of that, they're not they're not getting all this amazing stuff that could change their life. Okay, now what you're gonna, the problem you're gonna have is, as an expert is you've got this core set of things in your mind right now that, that are your belief patterns. Okay, and the problem with that, those things are good. That's what's gonna lead your content and lead you moving forward. But you have to become teachable because um, if you don't become teachable, then uh, you're gonna miss out on so many cool things. And so what I'd recommend doing is, and this ties into your Dream 100, this ties into your podcast and you're interviewing people, is you need to start making it a point right now that if you're going to be an expert in this industry, you've got to open your mind and, and be open to new ideas and new thoughts that are completely against what you what you may even think are possible right now. Okay. I know for me, like my teachability index was very, very low after I launched my business, I was making money and all of a sudden like I thought I knew everything and my teachability index went to almost zero. Right. And it wasn't until um, I went to a Tony Robbins event and he started sharing some things with me and uh and at first I was just, I really resisted. I'm like, nope, nope, this guy's crazy. And I remember after a little while, I think, and a big part of it is because I respected Tony. A lot of times we may not, not respect somebody, so it's easier for us to say no to him. But because I respect him so much, I was like, you know what? For the last day, I keep like shutting down everything he's been saying. And, and I feel like I'm missing out on, on some of the benefit of this. And what I'm gonna do for the next day or half, two days, is instead of saying no to every concept he throws out there, I'm gonna change it from no to what if. Just that little shift, okay? Because no, as soon as you say no, everything shuts down. If I say what if, then it opens up this cool exploration. Right? So what if that was possible? What if that actually did work? What if, what if, what if? And he started sharing things. I'd say what if. And some things after I would run through my testament in my head and I would try things out, I, I, would, I would say I don't like that or I don't believe in that part of it. But other things opened up whole worlds of opportunities to me, whole new things that I never even dreamt and thought about were possible. Really interesting. So for you guys is in your area of expertise, um, it's very, very important to become teachable and to go and try to get knowledge from as many places as you can. Read books, podcasts, interview people, all these things. And instead of saying no when they bring new ideas to the table, say what if and see what happens. And I promise you, when you do that, your mind will expand, your content will become more prolific, you'll be able to help more people, you'll be able to help them, help them in unique ways that, that weren't even possible to you a little while ago, let alone to, to the rest of the world. Okay, so it's very important, you guys, to, to become very, very, very teachable. All right. Um, um, and then after hearing Kevin Turtle's teachability index, I invented my prolific index. So this is all mine. <laughs> this is how my prolific index works, okay? Here is the prolific index. Now, we all know the crazy people, right? There's dudes that are crazy, right, over here on both sides of the spectrum. And in the middle, there's like mainstream. This is stuff you learn in school. Okay. Now I want to tell you the mainstream stuff that you learn in school. There's no money in it. Okay. If I can learn accounting at school, I'm not going to be able to make money with it online. Okay. It's not going to happen. Now, if you go to the edges over here, is crazy. Okay. Now, crazy is 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 good because it's 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 um, polarity, all those kind of things. But on the edge of crazy, nobody's going to give you any money. Do you want to know why? Because they think you're crazy. Okay, so it's very important to understand. Mainstream, no one's giving you money. Crazy, no one's giving you money. But there's this little spot right in between, between mainstream and crazy. That's where you start making money. That's where people will pay you for your ideas and pay you for your expertise on both directions here. Okay, so for you, you got to understand that up to this point in your life, for a lot of you guys, you've gone through mainstream tr traditional learning, right? You you uh, you went to school, you got a degree, you got education, you've been studying this stuff, you've been using it, and now you're an expert. But the problem is you're an expert 
in very mainstream stuff and there's no money in the mainstream. Okay, so it's time for you to open up your teachability index, start looking for new ideas, new thoughts, and new things, and start venturing towards the crazy side. Now, don't go to crazy. If you go all the way to crazy, you, 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 you miss the whole point. But that's where you start getting ideas that are different, that are prolific, that'll get people to, to, to think and get people to respond. Okay, I go back to, to Bulletproof Executive because I think Dave is a perfect example of this, right? Um, mainstream is, what do you got? You got your, your food pyramid or four food groups, right? You got to have your wheats and your vegetables and your this and that, and, right? That's mainstream, right? Then on the side over here, you got insane people who like literally, I, I bought a DVD called, uh, uh, I think it's called Sun Gazers, Sun Gazing. And it's these people who live out like in Africa and they just look at the sun all day. They don't eat, they haven't eaten in like years. They just look at the sun and they say all nutrients you can get are from the sun, okay? Maybe it's true, maybe it's not, but it's on the crazy side. No one's gonna give you money if you say, hey, never eat again, just look at the sun. A little bit too crazy. But in the middle there, where all of a sudden Dave finds out, hey, all this, this wheat stuff is really, really bad for you. He watch, you read Wheat Belly or you um, look at the Atkins diet or you look at some things that's really, really bad, okay? And you look at fats are actually really, really good for you, okay? And all these things are happening. And all of a sudden, you move away from the mainstream, from here's the food pyramid, to venturing towards crazy. But you stop in the middle where it's prolific, where people are like, wow, this is a new idea. It's something I haven't even considered before. Let me test it. And they test it. They get a result. And they want to dig deeper into that. And that's where the money's at, you guys. So if your content is very, very important for you to understand that and to be willing to kind of venture away from the mainstream because there's not going to be money there, okay? One of our students right now, we've been struggling is she's, uh, she's in accounting and, and uh, she's trying to sell accounting stuff. I'm like, that's not, that, that's mainstream. No one's going to gonna gonna do that. Like, And then you got like, you know, so here's accounting over here. Here's like crazy tax stuff that gets you thrown in jail on the crazy side. But there's a sweet spot in the middle there where it's tax savings and it's, it's how to lower your, you know, what you pay the government, like how to do uh, trust funds and uh, whatever, all that stuff right there. That's like the prolific spot. That's where people will pay you money because it's it's not what they learn in school and it's not crazy. Okay, so there's your prolific index. One guy at our last event asked me, he said, "Well, how crazy is too crazy?" And I said that um, when they stop giving you money, they're, they're, you're probably off the off the deep end. So um, yeah, hopefully that makes sense, you guys. But it, you do have to kind of stretch outside of your comfort zone a lot of times. Okay, this kind of comes back to the whole thing I talked about, neutrality and polarity, okay? Neutrality right here, if you're neutral in the middle here, there's not much money. But when you're polar, that's where the money's at, okay? All right. Let me see where we are at. All right, cool. <laughs> um, okay, so the next thing we'll talk about is your funnel. Now. Um, I kind of struggled when I was putting this presentation together because I did a presentation a little while ago. It, it was another long one. It was another master class like this. I think it ended up being at four hours long. And I shared all of the different funnels that we use in our business. And there were like nine different types of funnels. I talked about front-end funnels, back-end funnels, middle funnel, all sorts of stuff. And part of me wanted to really share all that stuff with you guys right now. But I think, again, if, if the goal of this, if, if the premise when I got started was let's build you guys, let's show you guys a system that'll get you from starting to cash the fastest, it's not gonna be showing you guys a whole bunch of different types of funnels. Now in the future, after you're making money, like with Liz right now, we're coming back saying, now what's the next kind of funnel you should add to this thing? Um, but for right now, to, to serve you guys the most, I'm not gonna share with you guys everything because I don't think that's what you need. I think you need what's gonna be the fastest path to cash. Let's focus on that and then we can move on, right? So with your funnels, there's a lot of kind of funnels, okay? And if you guys have ever gone through training with me before, you probably heard me talk about a value ladder, okay? Um, here's the value ladder. On the left hand axis here, we've got our value, and the right hand side, we've got our, our price. Now ideally, up here at the top, this is where we provide the most amount of value for people, and where they're paying us the most amount of money. Okay, so for my business right now, we have got, uh, well, we've got two, we've got a $25,000 um, inner circle program that's our top of our value ladder. We actually have one higher than that, that's uh, it's a million dollar program, people pay $100,000 down, then 10% of their income up to a million dollars. Um, so we have a million dollar program, but for, for argument for this, I'm gonna just talk about my $25,000 program. Okay, so here it is right here. Now, my question for you guys is if, if you never met me before, never heard from me, and I walk up to you off the street and I'm like, hey, my name is Russell, I love the internet, I love making money on it, I'm pretty good at it. If you give me $25,000, I'll help you turn your idea into a, into a sustainable business. How many of you guys would say yes? Okay, a couple. Stanzik would say yes, because that's what he did. Now look at him, super successful. 
But most people are gonna say no. They're gonna say, "Are you crazy? Like you provided no value to me. How do I know you're you're uh, you're you're not legitimate, right?" Okay. Most people are gonna say no to that. So what we do is we have to create a value ladder. We're down here. We give them some value, and they try it. They test it out. If they receive value, then they're gonna want to naturally send up the the value ladder. And if they receive value at this level, they're gonna want to move up again. If they receive value here, they can keep moving up. They can keep moving up this uh, this value ladder. Okay. So that's kind of what a value ladder is. Um, and so if you look at like in our business, we have a very uh, mature value ladder. I got a lot of products and services with a goal of, of moving somebody up this uh, up this value ladder, right? And so, for example, I have let's say I, I have a book called Dotcom Secrets Labs. It's a free book we give away. And somebody buys it, they, they get it for free, but they pay shipping and handling. They get this book. It's like. I don't know, 140 pages of all my split tests. And if they read that, they're like, wow, this is awesome stuff. I can't believe Russell shared this for free. What else has he got? And then a few days later, they get a call from some of my team and they're like, hey, did you like this? How'd you like to join Russell's uh, Ignite program? It's $10,000 and you get this, this, and this. And because they receive value, now for them to say yes to the next thing is not that, not that difficult. Okay? And it's easy now to send them up if they're receiving value at every step along the way. Okay? So that's the value ladder. Now, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip to this because I don't think it's important for what we're doing right now. So here, here's our here's our value ladder, right? Um, now, in this value ladder, there's different types of funnels. There's front end funnels, middle value ladder funnels, high, you know, back end, back end funnels. So different funnels we use. And so again, that whole that other presentation I gave, which some of you guys may have seen it already, goes through all these, right? What's a free plus shipping funnel? What's a self liquidating offer funnel? What's a perfect webinar funnel? What's an invisible funnel? What's a product launch funnel? What's a high ticket funnel? What's a black box funnel? Continuity funnel? Micro continuity funnel? Okay, we covered all of those. And again, what I, what I want to do for the sake of this training, though, is I want to focus on just one funnel, the funnel that's going to get you to make cash the fastest, uh, the funnel that ascends somebody up the value ladder the fastest, and that's the perfect webinar. Okay? The perfect webinar is nice because um, somebody registers for a free webinar, it doesn't cost them any money. They come on this webinar presentation, you educate them, you train them, you give them a bunch of really good stuff, and after that process is over, then they... Uh, you offer them a product, and you're offering a twenty-five thousand dollar product. But usually, you're offering something something from three hundred dollars to a thousand dollars. And in a sixty to ninety minute presentation, you can give enough value that somebody will give you, you know, three hundred to a thousand dollars. And so that's going to be focusing on right now. Okay. Now, long term, my goal with you guys is to get you guys into my Ignite program or get you guys into my inner circle. And when we do that, then my goal is help you build out front ends and back ends and continuities, all these other things. But for right now, I just want you guys making money as quick as possible. Okay. And so that's why we're focusing uh, for this whole training on the perfect webinar. All right. So the perfect webinar. Um, now, this is, uh, I, I want to preface this because this is not something that I just made up. This is not something that um, is is also not not specifically 100% something that I that I invented. Um, I started going through this process, and I remember the very first um, time I gave a presentation, I went and spoke, and it was a it was a horrible. I, I spoke and nobody bought. It was embarrassing, and I hated it. And I did it again, and after that, I said I will never speak again, and it, it was it was painful. And then I started going through this process. Um, where I, I saw people making insane amounts of money with it. I literally saw people who would go and, and speak at an event, they would close themselves and then make 100 grand, 200 grand, 300 grand from one 90 minute presentation. And I got so angry, I'm like, I have to figure this out. There's gotta be a way, like if these guys can do it, uh, if these guys can do it, I've gotta, I gotta be able to figure it out. They're not that much smarter than me. I, I don't, at least I don't think. And, um, and I gotta figure it out. So I started going to all these different public speaking trainings and there's a whole bunch of people I could, I could uh, I could credit for really showing me all these things, but this this webinar script is basically it's a uh, it's ten years of testing and trying. It's me doing this in, in with selling probably at least at least thirty different products in multiple different niches. Um, it's been tested. This is the exact same script that Liz used. It's the same script that um, everyone who's learned webinars from me has used. Um, and if you guys do it, it'll make you it'll just work. It makes you a ton of money. Okay, so here is what. The uh, here's what the uh, the actual script looks like, and again, I, I drew it out like this so that it'd be very easy for you guys to see and to visualize, and to be able to uh, and to be able to to have and be able to, to kind of model. Okay, so if you're taking if you're taking notes, and I hope you are, I want you to get a pad of paper right now, and I'm going to be going through this whole thing because if nothing else, everything we covered so far is you know creating a product, finding your dream 100 things that are important, but this is this is the key. If this works then you can make insane amounts of money. If it doesn't work, th- this is kind of like the, the tipping point, right? If your presentation converts, you can make insane amounts of money. If it doesn't work, then you're kind of you're stuck. 
Okay. And just to kind of like put this in perspective, and this is what I told Liz when we first started going through this with her. I said, look, you're going to create a webinar. You're going to go out there and you're going to start driving traffic. And, um, and one or two things are going to happen. One, it doesn't convert. And then you've got to create a new webinar or a new, new way to pitch it or something. But I'm like, but if it does convert, this is what happens. Okay. If you create a webinar that works and you say, hey, I spent a dollar on Facebook and I made $5 back, right? Or something like that, like kind of like what's happening to Liz right now. She's got a webinar that's converting. As soon as that, that works, your dream 100, all those people we talked about before are going to be banging on your door to promote this. Okay. Um, we've literally done webinars where I will do a webinar like this. One of my partners will promote it to their list. Uh, we'll get someone on the, we'll get up, you know, maybe 500 to a thousand to 2000 people to, to uh, register for this webinar. They'll show up. I'll do this pitch and I follow it to a T you guys. I never deviate from this because it just works. It, like every piece of this, I'll go through this, every piece I've learned from different people. And it's, I keep adding it, tweaking it. It's gotten this point now where I, I don't know if I can improve upon this. Maybe somewhere in the future, I'll be able to find something. But for right now, this this is the the magic script. It just works, okay. And so, um, uh, if again, if if your presentation works, your dream one hundred will come banging on your door. Because again, like I said, someone will go and we'll get five hundred, a thousand, two thousand people on a webinar. I'll do this pitch. At the end of it, I'll sell a thousand dollar product, and we'll sell fifty, sixty, seventy units at a thousand bucks a piece. And from one one ninety minute presentation, I might make seventy, eighty, ninety thousand dollars. And I'll give half of it to the person who promoted the webinar, and I keep the other half. Okay. Now I know for some of you guys that those numbers don't make any sense for me. I know it made no sense for me when I got started. Um, I remember the, after I've been doing this for a little while, and I kind of got used to it. My dad came and visited me. Um, that's probably six or seven years ago. And he came in and he, he sat in my office when I was doing a, a webinar, just kind of watched me do it. And I did this whole pitch and then if I, I closed some sales and I remember like I, I kind of screwed it up. I didn't follow the, the script quite perfectly. And I, and I, I made like, I don't know, 15 or $20,000. I remember being really upset. And my dad and I went to dinner afterwards and I was just like, man, I'm really, I was like kind of embarrassed and frustrated. And my dad's like, are, are you upset with that? I was like, yeah, like that's, that's like not, I, I usually do a lot better than that. He's like, Russell, do you realize that in 90 minutes worth of work, you just made $15,000. He's like, I need to put this in perspective for you. He's like, a teacher will work six months out of the year to make $15,000. Okay, he's like, he's like, in my business is what it takes. And in, in, in starting all these industries, he's like, he's like, you did that in 90 minutes. He's like, you could do that again tomorrow if you wanted to. He's like, you don't understand. Like what you just did is, is crazy. And, um, and so for me, like a lot of times those numbers, again, when, when I first got started, they were exciting. And then now I almost take them for granted. And so I, I want you guys to understand that, that crazy stuff like this is possible. Um, and this is the way to do it. And so anyway, that's kind of the, the preface to this. So the reason why I call it perfect webinars is because I've literally been doing um, webinars and stage presentations for, man, I say, I get, it's getting pretty dang close to, to 10 years. So about a decade, but not quite that, that long. And I tell you that um, learning how to do this the, the right way was not, um, not necessarily an easy process. Um, it was way different than, than I thought. And, um, and I, I learned a lot along the way. So I want to, I want to just, um, shortcut you guys and just give you the, the template and the script for what I think is the perfect webinar. So that way the first time out of the gate, or, you know, maybe not the first, but it's close to the first time out of the gate, you can have the, the, uh, a perfect webinar that, uh, you can get on and you can, you can sell people and, and make some money really, really quickly. Um, I honestly think one of the fastest ways to make money on the internet is to do webinar. Like if you said, Hey Russell, I need you to make a hundred grand tomorrow or else I'm going to, you know, I'm going to kidnap your family. I would put together a webinar. Like that would be it. And so, um, I'm going to show you guys, um, kind of go through everything that, I, that I've learned over the last 10 years to do these. And, uh, and then I'm going to actually show you how I did this here with one of my webinars I did recently called high ticket secrets. A lot of you guys were on that webinar. And so you'll kind of see, um, see this madness in action, how the whole thing kind of, kind of worked together. So that is the game plan. Now, um, basically when I, when I first, when I first learned about this, so I was, I was dabbling on the internet. This, uh, I began probably about 12 years ago or so. And I was learning some stuff and it took me about two years before I was making any money and, and I started growing. I was having a bunch of fun. And about the time I saw these, this guy doing this internet marketing seminar. Now I'd never been to an internet marketing seminar before, but, um, for me at the time I was like, uh, I was kind of like this lonely kid. I, they always say that being an entrepreneur is like the loneliest job in the world because nobody really understands what you do or who you are or why you're so passionate about these crazy ideas, right? I'm sure some of you guys probably feel that way, am I right? 
Okay, being an entrepreneur is lonely and that's why I was and I was like, man, there's gonna be all these people who actually do what I do and, and, and care about this stuff. They're gonna be together in one room. I wanna, I wanna go to it. And it was $2,000, it was super expensive for me at the time. Uh, but I paid, I went out to this event and, uh, and it was really cool. I had a chance to just to meet some, some awesome people and, and, uh, and was, was one of the coolest things I did. In fact, um, you know, if you guys have a chance to go to an event, go to an event. Those of you guys who came to our last boys event, you know, the, you know, the power of being an event, just being around people who, who look at life differently, uh, who look at life the way you do can just do huge things for, for your business and for what you're, what you're trying to accomplish. And so I was at this event and I remember I, my, I thought I was going to go in for three days, just have people speak to me and teach me cool stuff. That was kind of how I thought an event w should be and what it was going to be. Right. And so I go to this event. And, uh, and the first speaker gets up and he starts talking and he, he, he talks for about, you know, 65, 70 minutes and they start selling, starts talking about this product he has. I'm like, that's kind of weird. And then he keeps going, going and at the very end. He, he like sold this product and the product was $2,000. And I was like, wow, that's a lot of like, I can't believe he's selling a $2,000 product. I spent $2,000 to get here. That was like the last of my money. This guy's selling everyone in here a $2,000 product. And as soon as he closed, he finished his presentation. I looked and people started popping up from all around this, this room. We had about 500 people in the room and they're popping up and they all start running towards the back. I thought, this, this is fascinating. I can't believe what's happening. I looked in the back and I started counting. And I was counting the people. I'm like, 2,004, 6, 8, 10. I was doing the math. I was like, that guy just made $50,000 in, in one 90-minute presentation. And I remember sitting there just like, wow, this is... I was just so fascinated watching the process. Then the next person gets up, next speaker gets up, he talks about some stuff, shares his best ideas, and then boom, he, he closes his sale. His was like $5,000. And people are popping up all around the room, running to the back, and they bought his thing. And the next speaker up, the next speaker, and every single time I'm doing the math, and I'm, I'm averaging, trying to total up how much each of these speakers are making. And at the end of the event, I realized that, that at the event, Okay. Again, I spent two thousand dollars to be there. He, the, the event promoter had made over a million dollars selling selling things at this event. And the way the, those seminars typically work is the person who put on the puts on the event brings in speakers, and then the speaker sells their product. The speaker gets half the money, and the event promoter gets half the money. So there's over a million dollars made at this event, and five hundred thousand went to the dude who was running the event, and the other five hundred thousand dollars went to these speakers. And I remember sitting there thinking, I got to learn how to how to be a speaker. Like this is crazy, and. Um, and at the time, and some of you guys probably won't believe this, but I was a super, super shy kid. In fact, in my, my own personal, like my real life, I'm a very shy person. Um, but I learned how to be a speaker and learned how to present the right way because I wanted to make money. Okay, I'm a capitalist just like all of us, right? I want to make money. And I saw these guys are making crazy money doing hardly anything. I want to, I want to do it. And so I started trying to go out there and learn how, how to become a public speaker. And what was interesting is the, the very first um, – event I went to after that, I, I was watch. I was wanted to see some other people do it so I could kind of get the gist of how it worked. And I vividly remember looking at these speakers and, and as they were teaching stuff, I'd say, man, I, I can teach better stuff than this. My stories are better. My, my content's better. I like, these guys aren't even teaching that, that, that good of stuff. And I remember being frustrated. And so finally, um, the, my very first chance I had to speak on stage, I got all excited and I went, I went up there and I had all my content laid out. I had like all my best stuff, all my best ideas that I ever had put in this presentation and I wanted to wow the audience. And I went up there and I shared with them so much stuff, way more than anybody else had ever, had, had I had ever seen given an event. And I was like, these guys are going to love me so much, they are going to come and buy my stuff. And I just blew their minds with, with all this just awesomeness. And guess what happened? Nothing. Nobody moved. I closed at the end and I sold my product. Nobody went to the back of the room. And it was embarrassing. Uh, I literally standing up there on stage, watched nobody pop up, nobody moved. And I then quietly walked to the back of the audience and people kind of shuffled out and left for lunch. And it was the most awkward, worst feeling I've ever felt in my life. I was so embarrassed. I literally walked out of that room, walked to my hotel room, and I, sh I shut the door. And for three days, the rest of the days of it, I sat in the room because I was too embarrassed to come back down. I remember sitting there and I was so frustrated and so angry and part of me just wanted to quit. You know, I said, it, it doesn't make sense. It's not fair. Like I, I paid my dues. I've, I've done this. I've, you know, I've, I've, uh, you know, I, the stuff I taught was amazing. Why in the world are all these people buying it? I was so just frustrated and disheartened. And, uh, <clears throat> and luckily for me, I, I decided not to quit. I, I decided that I'm going to, you know, I'm going to try it again. I got to figure this out. People are doing it. They can't be that much smarter than me. Okay, sure, I barely, I barely graduated from school, but these guys don't seem that much smarter than me. I got to be able to figure it out. So then I got asked to speak at another event, and uh, the promoter asked me how I did the last event, and I told him I did all right, and I uh, didn't really tell him any of the stats because he probably would have told me that I wasn't welcome to speak because that's how they make their money as well. 
right? And so I went to the next event and I remember watching their speakers and the speakers would do their, their clothes and it always drove me crazy. They're like, you know, I'm gonna start the product at ten thousand dollars, but it's not ten thousand. It's only nine thousand. But it's not nine thousand. It's only eight. It's not eight. It's only seven. They kept going through and drop down, drop down, <laughs> to the point where the price gets down to to zero, or, you know, to whatever two thousand dollars. And I thought it was so cheesy. Like I was just like, that's so used car sales. I'm like, what in the world? Like why would, why would uh, why would anybody ever in a million years buy that buy that thing? Right. That was kind of my my thought. But people ran the back. And so when I got to go get my presentation. Um, I remember like the, the thing I said is I got to my clothes and I said, I'm not going to do that cheesy thing that most speakers do where they, <coughs> where they increase the price and then, and then chop it down. I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm not going to insult your guys' intelligence. I said that. I said, I'm not going to insult your intelligence. I'm just going to tell you what the price is. And I told people the price and guess what happened? Nothing <laughs> again. And I was like, man, I'm so smart yet. I'm the only dude in the room not making any money. You know what? Maybe I maybe I should humble myself and start asking some questions and start finding out from these people that are successful why they're successful. Um, so after spending another three days in a hotel room uh, hiding from the audience because I was so embarrassed, um, I started looking out there to find out what people were doing, who was being successful. I got to find out how how this whole game works. And so I started buying every public speaking course I could find. Not like how to be a public speaker because that wasn't my goal. My goal like I can stand in front of an audience and speak well. Um, well, maybe some of you guys would argue that I speak too fast, that I slur my words, I say um way too much. All those things are true. I'm not saying I want to become a great public speaker. I want to become somebody who could stand in front of a room, deliver a presentation, and and make money, close some sales. And uh, and so I, I started buying, uh, you know, how to sell from stage programs from some of the best people in the world, guys like Armin Moore and uh, Bill Glazer, Dan Kennedy, and I started buying all these courses. and And it was interesting as I would go through them, they they were so counterintuitive to what I learned. Or what, I, what I had assumed. They always said, like, the person who teaches the most does not make the most money. Okay, teaching is good. There's a time and a, and a purpose for that. Okay, those of you guys who came to Boise, you saw the time and the purpose. I spent three days teaching everything I had. I didn't sell anything. Okay, that was, that was an event where I was trying to, to, to fulfill and to, to give value. But when you're trying to sell something, it's different. And if you just give everything up front, um, people won't buy. Okay, they get overwhelmed if you give them too much stuff and they're so overwhelmed they're not going to buy your product because they felt like, well, I'm so overwhelmed. I got enough stuff I can go work on. They're not going to buy your thing. And so there's a, a, there was a way to structure your content where people receive value, but um, it was useful but incomplete. It was structured and created in a way that the only logical thing to do at the end of the presentation was to buy, to buy the coaching program or buy the product, whatever the thing was that, uh, that was being sold on the next step. And so I literally started studying from all these guys and, and every, every course I would go through, I would learn the next piece. I learned that a little thing here and a little thing there. And, and I kept adding this into my, to my presentations and, and I would learn a, a way to do, do my clothes and I would learn a way to, to structure my content, ways to introduce it. And, and, um, I learned from so many amazing people, guys like, um, Jason Flatelin is another one who just taught me some amazing stuff. Um, um, Ted Thomas taught me some amazing stuff. Like, so many pieces of that. And so I wish I could give credit to, in fact, maybe I, I might do that as I go through this presentation, give credit to, to different people as, as different pieces of this came about. But this is definitely not my invention. This is, this is me learning from, from probably 15 different mentors of some of the best stage presenters in the world, taking back all the pieces and kind of creating this into, my, into what I do now. And whenever I create a webinar now, you guys, this is what I do. I print out this little perfect webinar sheet. I have it sitting down next to me. And then I get out my slides and I start building out the slides. And so you'll see this high ticket secrets product is, uh, or webinar that I'm going to go through. You'll see that this literally was, this is the most recent webinar I built out and I built it out to a T according to, to this kind of presentation right here. I may have deviated a little bit here and there, but as a whole, it was, it was pretty dang close to this. So that's why I wanted to, to kind of show you this. I'm not trying to sell you on high ticket secrets, although I probably could because it's a really good presentation. It crushed it when we did it live. Um, but that's why I wanted to show you this as well. Cause you'll see, you'll see the concept over here on the left hand side, then the actual application here on the right hand side. Okay. Now, just to kind of not to sell you on why webinars are amazing, but to sell you on why webinars are amazing. <laughs> this is literally like, um, like I told you before, if, if everything was collapsing around me, I needed a way to make money right now. This is what, what I would do. Okay. If I, if I had a, if I had a, you know, if I, if I had a, um, a product, you know, or if I, um, if I had a list of people and, and usually for webinar to work, you've got to have a list, right? You gotta have an audience you can, you can deliver this to. So if it's my very first thing, I probably, I might not do it first cause I need to have my initial sales funnel built out. So I can start building my list. But as soon as I'm, I'm building my list and I've got these people in place, um, now I can use a webinar to, to sell people. And so, um, so yeah, that's why I'm so excited. So you guys fired up. You guys excited to learn the, the perfect webinar? Let me, you gotta be fired up. 
All right, Thomas is fired up. Who else is fired up? Eugene's fired up. All right. Okay, you guys are fired up now. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. The, again, guys, this tool will serve you for the rest of your life. In fact, one day, I told some of you guys this story before, but we had um, four or five years ago, our uh, we had our business, we built up to 100 employees, and one day, literally, out of the blue, all of our merchant accounts got shut down. I couldn't pay payroll. I couldn't pay staff. And for a year, I was trying to s save this company. It was collapsing around us to the point where you know, we had to lay off tons of people and we had to move from one building to, to the next. And, and w the building we were in initially was about 20 or 25,000 square feet and we're moving into a 2,500 square feet office. And so we're moving all this stuff. We're throwing away just all, all of our, I mean, we literally threw away hundreds of computers and phones and uh, it was probably one of the saddest days of my life, to be honest. Like one of the most depressing, hardest to deal with. And I remember we were moving into this new little office, and I just let off, you know, 80 employees, and was trying to figure out what our next step was going to be. And we had literally had no money to even pay the rent on this new place we're moving into. And I thought, I I got to figure out something. I, I've got to make some money. I got to make money now. And luckily, I had a list of people, and I sent an email out to this list. I said, Hey, I'm doing a webinar tomorrow. If you want to be on it, it's going to be awesome. The next day, which was the last day we had in our office, so we still had an internet connection, um, all the desks had been moved out. I had one desk left in the middle of the office. I had a little laptop on it. And uh, I remember I was sitting there. I only had socks on. I must have taken my shoes off for some reason. And that morning, I put together this presentation. I followed this format. Uh, I did the webinar. And at the end of the webinar, I closed, and people started buying, and they started buying, and they started buying. And that one webinar, that one presentation made me $150,000. Um, it gave us the cash we needed to move into our new building, pay the rent for a couple months, uh, get everything restructured, and give us the foundation we needed to to regrow our company. And so, um, the, the the there's a lot of power in this, you guys. This this tool I'm giving you right now, this system, this whatever you want to call it, um, will serve you for the rest of your life if you just do it. Okay. And so, um, at the event, a lot of people were asking me like, so when do I use this webinar? Like, is it? And we, we talked about different things. We talked about like an invisible funnel webinar. We talked about other ones. This webinar is a tool that you will use. It's, it's a free webinar. People do not pay for this. You want this to be free because you want as many people as possible on it. And then you're going to give your presentation. And then at the end, you sell a product. Okay. Um, so before we get into the actual script here, um, earlier, one of, our, uh, one of our students we're working with was asking about what they sell. And so the, the biggest thing is when, when I'm selling on a webinar, I'm usually, I'm usually pricing the webinar, the product I'm selling on a webinar. I usually uh, am pricing somewhere between $500 up to about $2,500. Okay, that's kind of the, the range. So we talk about sales funnels. We talk about a lot of our front end sales funnels, right? They're usually selling free plus shipping up to maybe $100 products. Okay, and then after I want to go higher price point, that's when I usually start shifting to webinars, where I go again from $500 to $2,500. And if I want to go above $2,500, that's when I start shifting to, to back end phone sales and all the stuff we actually taught on High Ticket Secrets. Okay, and so that's kind of the way that, that I structure this with. Um, what I'm doing. So if I'm selling like anywhere from $500 to $2,500, boom, this webinar is, this script is the, is the webinar I'm using. Okay. And so for a lot of you guys, if you don't have a product yet that kind of fits that, the first step is, is to figure out what's your offer going to be? What's the product you're going to, you're going to sell, you're going to sell people. Okay. Um, the, the exercise I went through with one of our inner circle members, uh, yesterday, um, I was talking to her about, about her webinar. I said, look, what I would do, what we did is we always sit down in front of a whiteboard and we, we list like if someone, you know, if, if I needed to make $1,000 today and I had to sell somebody on it, what would be the best possible thing I, I, would, I would sell that person? And we get out a whiteboard and we start mapping out all the ideas. I would do this and I would do this. And I just, and we try to like turn off our filters. So we put out everything, like no matter how crazy it is, like I, I'm going to let them fly to my house and I'm going to feed them sushi. I'm going to let, you know, whatever, however you make this offer, this product, this thing they're going to buy, the most amazing thing in the world, you want to you craft that out and, and put it out there, right? And, uh, and you got to break it down as you'll see when we come down here to, to like the stack, we'll break it down. There'll be pieces, but typically it's some kind of core training program, like six to eight modules. We're going to be teaching somebody a system, right? Your system, the thing that you are so good at doing and, uh, and module number one is going to be the first step, right? I always imagine like somebody just hired me and they're going to come to my office. I'm going to, what would I teach them over six days? Okay. Module number one will be the first day when I'm going to teach them. Module two will be the second day and then the third day. And at the end of this week period of time, they're going to have my, they're going to know my system. They're going to understand what I do, right? And so that's what I look at when I'm creating my initial thing is that, is, is what's the core training system? And after that, then what are the bonuses I can give people that just make this a slam dunk where it makes it so irresistible they have to have it, okay? And we'll walk this, these little smiley face guys are here is, is kind of that, those, uh, those, those elements, those bonuses that are so good. So you'll see as I go through I take a secret to what we did uh, on, this, on this webinar, but but kind of think about that because you got to create the offer first and then you come back and, and you kind of craft out the, the, uh, the actual webinar here. Um, in fact, um, about two years ago, 
two years ago. Yeah, I hired um, I hired uh, Dustin and Dave. They they run a company called Speaking Empire, where you pay them I think it's ten or fifteen thousand dollars, and you fly out for one day, and they help you build a webinar. And um, and uh, it's interesting. I paid them because I wanted to see their process and how it all worked, what they what they what they teach. In fact, this little if all statement here. This is one of the, the big things I, I got from them, and it's a powerful tool. But um, when I was at their event, it was interesting. We or at the 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 power day that I paid ten thousand dollars to be at. The first probably two hours of the of that that process was figuring out the offer. We sat down with the whiteboard and we just brainstormed ideas and ideas and what we could package and what else we could add and how we could make this just the most irresistible offer in the world. And so that's where uh, that's where a good webinar starts. Okay, this perfect webinar script is what you're going to use to sell it, and you can sell anything with this thing. Um, but uh, you've got to create a good offer. So again, that's kind of outside the scope of this webinar. Um, but hopefully that gives you some ideas and start thinking about as you're creating a, a, an offer that's just irresistible. So people just have to say yes. They can't say no, right? All right. Um, okay. So let me let me go through this. So the perfect webinar. So the webinar, there's basically, um, there's basically three sections of the perfect webinar. The first is your introduction. The second is the content section. And then the third is your close. Okay, and this is kind of how, how I how I structure these. All right. Okay, so I'll begin with the uh, the introduction. Now, the introduction is is probably the easiest part, but the biggest key to the introduction, you guys, is you can't be boring. Okay, and and people typically can't see you if you if you're doing if you're speaking from stage, then people will see you as you as you use the script. Okay, and this is the same script I use when I'm speaking from stage to sell as I do on a webinar. But on a webinar, people can't see you. Okay, so the biggest thing is like your tonality in your voice is what keeps people around. If you talk like this and you're you're kind of quiet, nobody will buy your product. Okay, if you look at me right now. I'm literally sitting on the edge of my seat. I have my hands in front of me and I'm moving them around and I, my voice goes up really, really high and it goes down and I, I have to have tonality, I have to be exciting, I have to get people engaged. Okay, if you watch my webinars, you notice that. And what's interesting is um, I, I learned this first time when I was, uh, I, we did an infomercial a little while ago and uh, for the infomercial, I remember um, the guy, the infomercial producer told me, he said, look, Russell, if you talk like you normally do on TV, you're going to sound like this. He said, if you talk super excited and kind of hypey and over the top, you're going to sound normal. And it's the same on a webinar. You have to come with more energy than you do in your real world. Otherwise, people are going to zone out and they're going to fall asleep. Okay, so I'm like at a level 10 right now just talking to you guys. I'm not even selling you something right now. But if I was, it's even more important, okay? So starting with a lot of energy and being exciting. Usually about a minute or two before the webinar starts, I like getting on and just saying, hey, everyone, this is the webinar. We're going to be talking about high ticket secrets. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we're about two minutes away from getting started. You're going to love it. Hey, everyone, if you're, just, if you're just logging in right now, my name is Russell Brunson. We're here on the high ticket secrets webinar. We're going to be getting started in about a minute 30, and you're going to love it. It's going to be awesome. So excited to have you guys here. Hey, everyone, this is Russell. We're we'll you know, and I keep looping that thing because people are always calling in. And so you can't just like, hey, guys, this is Russell. We'll get started in a minute. Hey, guys, this is Russell. We'll get started in 30 seconds. Like you get to have constant energy. So I'm always, I just keep repeating myself like, like, a, like a broken loop over and over again because it keeps the energy up. It keeps people excited. And whenever they're dialing in and answering, they're hearing me talk and they're hearing that excitement and they feel like they're at something cool. Okay, it gets them excited. And usually I'll even run that over maybe three or four minutes past when the webinar is supposed to start. I'll be like, hey, guys, um, Webinars, you know, the webinar officially started about a minute ago, but I'm not going to start because people are still logging in. I'm going to give them one or two more minutes, but I want to let you guys know you're in the right spot. I'm about to show you exactly how you can instantly increase your high ticket sales, blah, 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 right? And I keep recapping that till about two or three minutes in, and now I'm going to start. Okay? So that's key. So there's kind of my intro. Now I lead initially with a bold promise. Okay? This bold promise is going to tie back here to what I call the one thing, but the bold promise is kind of like, um, uh, I, I, I call it a ruler. Okay, it's, it's like someone's, everyone's measuring you all the time, right? And if I come on a webinar and I start teaching, they're going to measure me versus every other webinar they've ever been on in the past. And they've been on people that are awesome on webinars. That's what they're going to judge me against. That's what the ruler is that they're going to say, was that a good webinar or a bad? It's all going to be based on the ruler they're using. Okay. And so that, I, I I, I don't want to have them judge me based on just my presentation skills alone because, again, I'm going to talk too fast. I'm going to say a lot of ums. I'm going to slur things. Um, I want to judge. I want them to judge me based on what I'm promising. So I'm saying this is my big promise. So for me, here's my big promise. I said, hey, guys, I'm going to show you how to instantly add high ticket sales to your sales funnel without you ever personally talking on the phone to anyone ever. Okay. At the end of this webinar, I'm gonna, you're going to learn exactly how to do that. And if so, then this webinar will be a, been a success. Okay. Boom. Big, huge promise. 
And that's not what they're judging it on. They're judging the entire webinar based on if this, this promise I just made them, if it's true. Okay, then if they're like, yeah, Russell taught me, he taught me exactly how to build a sales funnel without personally talking on the phone to anyone ever, boom, okay? That's the ruler they're judging me against and it's perfect, okay? Next, I'm gonna hook them to the end. So again, my goal is if you stay to the end of this webinar, I'm gonna do something really, really cool. Okay, so what I did for, for, uh, for this audience, I said, uh, you know, we're talking about call center. I said, like, if you guys stay till the end, I'm actually gonna, sh I'm gonna open up my laptop, put on my, my webcam, I'm gonna walk in, and you can actually see my call center. You guys wanna see that? People are going crazy, they were so excited. Okay, you only get that if you stay till the end. Okay, now we've hooked them. Okay, because during the first four or five minutes of webinars when like 90% of your people will leave, those are, are gonna leave. You can get past that first little hump, they're gonna stay in the entire 90 minutes, okay? So you gotta hook them fast. So you can hook them with a bonus, with a prize, with free something, with, you know, I've seen people give away iPads and give away uh, phones and just some kind of hook you have to have, okay? So it could be anything, just something to hook them to the end, okay? And then um, I start commanding attention. Usually I say something like, hey guys, if you got your cell phone out, if you got Skype, Facebook, you gotta close it down. We need you, I need your attention, okay? If you're not paying attention, none of this will help you at all. So you need to make sure you're paying attention. I'm trying to command attention. Then I qualify myself. So look, this is why I actually know what I'm talking about, okay? And I share, for this one, I showed a picture of me sleeping just to be funny, uh, kind of a pattern interrupt. And then I came back and said, look, I'm, I don't talk about this a lot, but I'm the king of high-ticket sales. I did back-end sales for Dan Kennedy, for Bill Glazer, for Mike Filson, for Rank Kern, plus a ton of other marketers. We've done over eight figures of high-ticket sales. There's nobody in the marketplace better than me at high-ticket sales, and I'm gonna show you exactly how we do it. Boom, I just qualified myself. Okay, you guys gotta qualify yourself. Why is what you do, why are you qualified to do this, okay? Why are you different than everybody else who's kind of teaching something like that? Okay, you gotta qualify yourself and, and stick it out there so that people, uh, they kind of get that. And then from there, I like to future pace and then say, um, well, here's, sorry, some of these slides are still me qualifying. So here's my qualification. I did a lot of things right. I did a bunch of things wrong. I've been doing this for 10 years. This is kind of what I figured out. And this is kind of leading back to, to into my content. I discovered the hard way, but you're going to have a chance just to cheat. Uh, again, here's the hard way I did it. It was really hard and frustrating. Um, boom. And then I, this is where I switched to the future pacing. Okay. I say, look, so future pacing, guys, just, you know, future pacing is I try to put them in a state where uh, they, can visual, they can visualize what will happen when they've accomplished this thing, okay? So if you've ever heard me, if you've ever heard me say on a webinar or anything where I'm like, can you just imagine what's gonna be like someday when your business is up and running and you're making your first thousand dollars? Like, wouldn't that be awesome? So I'm doing, I'm doing future pacing, okay? It's, an NLP, it's, a, it's a concept from NLP where I'm trying to take you to a place in the future where you've already achieved your goals, okay? So if I can do that, again, it's part of the intro. So right here I said, Look, do you guys want an easy way that's going to require you to never pick up a phone? Like, can you imagine that? Like making high ticket sales out every afternoon to pick up the phone ever. Like what would you do with your life? What would you do different? Okay. What would, in a month from now when you're doing that, like what, what's it going to be like? What's your, what's your spouse going to say? What are your kids going to think when all of a sudden their dad's at home and they're making twice as much money? It's pretty exciting, don't you think? Okay, boom, I'm future pacing him. All right. Pushing him out into the future. All right. And then I, I kind of go back. This is just more. Again, the script is the script is is a framework, and I add things in between that just I want to, right? So sometimes, so this one I just kind of bragged a little bit. For the last fourteen days, I did over six figures in high ticket products. I didn't pick up the phone, and then I like throwing in some kind of like FTC disclaimer, like results are not typical. This is not going to work. Blah blah blah, just to keep yourself kind of safe. And now I shift over here to to the content part of the webinar. Okay, now I want to step back. One of the biggest problems that people make when they're creating a webinar or any sales piece for that matter, it can be sales videos, sales letters, um, webinars, everything is because they're so in love with their product or their service and there's so many facets of it, they, they, try, to, they try to like sell somebody on every single thing that their thing can do, right? All the different, all the big, um, all the big, uh, the big benefits of it. In fact, um, one of our inner circle members, I was just reviewing his sales video and he, he's crushing. They're doing, I think he did a million bucks last year with their sales video. But I said, the biggest problem with your sales video right now, the reason why you're converting it one or 2% versus five or 6% is because you're selling four or five different things. People have to believe five different things to want to buy your product. Okay. I learned this originally from Perry Belcher. He talked about, he said that when he had sales letters that, that tried to get people to believe in two or more things, they always flopped. He said, I, he said, if I had sales letters that just tried to get somebody to believe one thing, one core thing, if I did that, then they were successful, okay? And I saw the exact same thing happen with me, you guys. I cannot tell you how many times, all the webinars I've done where I try to like, okay, to get somebody to buy this, they need to believe in this, this, and this. So I, I structure where I'm trying to teach them all these things. And you can't do it that way. It'll destroy your sales, okay? It's the way, the reason why when I first did this, it didn't work. I get on stage, I'm gonna show you my seven best things about how I make money. 
I show up seven things and they're like, wow, I got a lot of value out of that. But I got seven things I got to go do now. And they would never buy, right? So you have to figure out from, from your entire presentation, from everything you do, what's the one thing? Okay, what is that one thing that is, is going to change and just make, like, like the, the one thing they got to have. They have that one thing, it, it'll all make sense. Okay, if you look back here to my title, this was my one thing. Okay, one thing I learned from Dagan Smith that was powerful. He said that if your one thing, your one thing should always be something like this. It should be how to blank without blank. Okay, how to, and then insert like what they want. Okay, so for the audience I was talking to, they all want high ticket sales. Everyone online right now is talking about high ticket sales. So how to get, how to instantly add high ticket sales to your sales funnel. Okay, that's what they want. But what what do they not want? Okay, for my audience, they don't want to pick up the phone. Okay, so you do that without personally talking on the phone to anyone ever. Can you guys see that? So if you're market, what is it? How to lose a ton of weight overnight without giving up carbs. Okay, do you see how that works? So that's usually what my one thing is tied to that, the how to without. If you can, if you can figure out how to fit it into that little template, that little formula, um, it's magic, okay? So that, that's my one thing. So what's key about this is that this entire webinar has to be, the entire webinar is focused on that one key point. Okay, and everything, every single, every single thing else I talk about, the only goal of those things is to re-emphasize over and over and over again this one thing. Okay, does that make sense, you guys? Okay, so I'm not going to be like I'm going to show you this and this and this and this. I'm showing you this, and then all these secrets they tie back and they strengthen and they solidify that one thing. Okay, so again, here, here's my one thing. That was my one thing for this presentation. And I come down here. Now I'm going to reveal the three secrets. These are my three coaching points on this. Okay, so secret number one. Is I can make more money in one day selling high ticket products than I can than I can in an entire month selling normal products. Okay, so that's my big secret. That's my first aha. My big my big thing I want to reveal to them. Okay, but what is this? is that a new thing? No, all it's doing is it's strengthening the one thing. Okay, it's showing them how they can make high ticket sales without picking up a phone. So secret number one is, is that you can make more in one day selling high ticket sales than an entire month selling normal products. Secret number two for me now was. Uh, Personally, I don't have to sell any, or I don't, I personally don't have to sell anything because, uh, which is a big plus because I hate the phones. Okay, so the second secret I'm going to show them is how they can do this without them ever picking up the phone. And then my third big secret is that you only need a little bit of traffic to make that work. Okay, most everyone's freaking out because, oh, it's going to take a ton of traffic and all this stuff to make this work. No, you only need a little bit of traffic to make this whole thing, this whole thing sing. Okay, so those are my three secrets. So I show up front, like, hey guys, during this webinar, okay, I told you that we're gonna talk about how to how to sell high ticket things without picking up the phone. Now to do that, I'm gonna show you three, my big three secrets, okay? Secret number one is this, secret number two is this, secret number three is this. So I kind of tell them what it is, and now I'm gonna break into the content. Okay, now I'm gonna show you secret number one. So I come in and I say, this is what secret number one is. I can make more money in one day selling high ticket products than I can in an entire month selling normal products. Okay, now notice that my secrets are kind of, they're typically backwards from what, from what uh, most people are thinking or what most people believe. Okay, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to break a belief pattern. That's why down here you see break and rebuild their belief patterns. Okay, so most of the people I'm talking to, they're selling eBooks, they're selling network marketing opportunities, they're selling low ticket stuff. And, uh, and so I gotta break that first paradigm, that first belief pattern, okay? So what I do is I gotta break it. So the first thing I do is I break, I break this pattern, okay? I come and say, look, High ticket secrets, uh, you know, or excuse me, I say, look, for typical price, if you're selling a $37 product and you want to make 5,000 bucks a month, you got to sell 135 products. Okay, 3% conversion rate, that's 4,500 clicks. Okay, that's really, really hard. All right, and then uh, I talk about to make $5,000 uh, in selling a high ticket thing, I just got to sell one. Or if I'm selling a $25,000 thing, I just got to sell one fifth. Every five months, I got to sell one to make the exact same amount of money as it took you to make $37, $37 product. Okay, so my goal is to break their belief pattern. Okay, I got to break this thing. You think that you have to sell $37 products. I got to break that thing and I got to rebuild it with the pattern I want you to believe. Okay, and the pattern that I want them to believe for this webinar, what's my pattern I want them to believe? I want them to believe, what's my one thing? They can do high ticket sales. That's my, that's my one thing. High ticket sales, high ticket sales. That's my one thing, right? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, now I switch over to secret number two. Secret number two is I don't personally have to sell anything because I hate the phones. Okay, so most of these guys who, who see people doing high ticket stuff, they're like, high ticket stuff seems awesome, but I gotta pick up the phone and I don't wanna pick up the phone. I'm scared to talk on the phone to people. So that's their belief pattern. So what I gotta do, I gotta break that belief pattern and I gotta rebuild it. So for me, I try to break it this way. So here's three reasons why people like me should never, ever pick up 
pick up the phone. Okay, first off, I'm way too busy. I, should, I don't even want to answer my own support. I'm scared to death to be on the phone, and it's just bad positioning. Okay, most of these guys are like, yeah, I'm too busy too. Yeah, I'm scared. Oh, bad positioning. Sweet. Yeah, I don't want to talk to him anyway. Okay, I'm, I'm, give, I'm justifying their fears, right? So I'm breaking that belief pattern because they've always believed that they have to be on the phone. So I break that belief pattern, and then I start, I start rebuilding it. So let me rebuild it. This is all you really need is two commission-based salespeople. You guys know what commission-based means? It means you only pay them when they make you money. Notice I said just two people, not 60. Okay. In the past, I had 60 people and it was a nightmare, but I figured out a new way to do it. And this is how it worked. And I talked about this experiment. And then this is the old model, how we did it, the new model. So I, again, I'm breaking this pattern and I'm rebuilding it. Okay. This, and I'm taking them on the journey that I went through to rebuild because I had the same pattern in my head. That's why I had 60 salespeople working for me. Okay. So I'm taking them on the journey I went through to break that, that I had to go through to break my own pattern and how I rebuilt it. And I'm taking them on that journey so that I can help break it with them and rebuild it with them. Boom, so I took an experiment. Here's how it worked and what happened and how we made 36,000 bucks in a day and how we grew from there and we got two salespeople and, and boom, 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 boom. And then I say, hey, you want to meet Robbie? And this is now where I do, where I went back to my initial hook, okay, where I uh, did a hook to the end. I was like, you guys want to see, you want to see the mini call center? And I put on my laptop um, webcam mic and I walked him into the other room. Now, typically, I would do this at the end of the webinar, but for this one, it just tied into secret number two, so I needed to do it then, okay? All right. So there's secret number two. And you notice like I'm teaching them cool stuff. I'm not really teaching them anything. Does that make sense? Okay, but, but you're learning cool things because you're, you're, cause what's happening is I'm breaking these belief patterns and I'm rebuilding them. And so while I'm not giving you any like here's step one, two, three on how to do anything, you're learning. You're, 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 your paradigm has been shifted, which people, they, they resonate with that. That feels like learning to them, right? And so, so don't feel guilty. Don't feel like you're not going to be teaching them stuff because you are teaching them, but you're doing it in a different way that I think is a better way to shift somebody's paradigm and, and shift the way they believe is way more powerful than here's step one, step two, step three. Okay. So you're teaching in a different way. And it's a way that sets up the sale. Okay. All right. Now for me, I moved to secret number three, which is I only need a little bit of traffic to make this work about a hundred clicks because what, what do most people think? I would love to do high ticket things, but I can't drive traffic. I, I can't send a thousand clicks a day. You know that in their mind, it's gotta be this huge thing. So what I got to do? I gotta break that belief pattern. I gotta rebuild it. So I start breaking. Let me show you how we do it. Boom! I take them to a case study page, then a homework page. Is how it works. Now, if I sell high ticket products, this is how I'd be. You know, here's all. I just send 4,500 clicks to make my four, my five thousand dollars a month. Plus, I gotta spend money on those clicks. So I end up making almost nothing. Or selling high ticket things. Check this out. If I sell five thousand dollar product, one out of ten who apply are gonna sign up for the five thousand dollar product. One out of 10 who visit the application page are going to apply. So 100 clicks equals 100 applications equals 100 buyers. That means all I've got to do is sell, send 100 clicks a day and I can make five grand a day. Is that awesome? And I start future pacing them. Imagine if you're selling $10,000, $25,000, $100,000. Think, think how much money that is. And imagine if you, instead of sending 100 clicks a day, what if you send 200 clicks a day? Or instead of two, what if you send 300 clicks a day? Boom, and, it, and, I, and I teach them, right? All right, so there is, there's the content. So you guys see how I structure that? It's all about, and you notice how like secret one, two, and three, all they're doing is supporting the one thing, the one core focus of this entire thing. It's not new content, it's not the next thing, it's not anything else, because I promise you guys, if, if, if 10 of you guys make a webinar and you come back to me, 90 of you guys are gonna do this wrong. You're gonna have the one thing, which is your, the first thing you're excited to teach, then this will be the next thing, and the next thing, they'll be, you'll be awesome teachers, and people are gonna love what you're gonna share. But it's not gonna it's not gonna result in sales at the end. This is how you have to structure your content to result in sales at the end. Okay. All right. Now from here, this is where we transition to uh, to the sale. Okay. And this is where most people start getting really, really, really nervous. Um, the other day, I was at this uh, someone that goes to church with me. They said, "Hey, we're doing this little party at our house. You want to come on over?" And my wife got all excited. So we went to this party. I show up, and it was an MLM party. Now for me. I'm super fired up and excited. I love seeing people sell stuff. I love MLMs. And uh, so they're pitching this thing, right? So they get up in this little room with like 10 people and I got a big old grin on my face and everyone else is like all nervous because they think they're getting pitched. And I'm so excited. And the person's talking and they're showing the, it was essential oils and showing the oils and how they work. And, and the content was amazing. Like you could tell they were so fired up and passionate. And all of a sudden, about an hour into it, the lady who's speaking, I see her start talking faster. And she starts talking faster and she starts getting nervous and her face turns red. And she starts sweating and she starts mumbling and all these things start happening. And I just start laughing because I know she's getting so close to wanting to sell me something, but she's so scared. And all of a sudden she went, oh, and by the way, you can make money. Blah, 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 blah. And then she, she ended. And if you want any more questions, then my husband's over there. Blah, blah, and ended. 
and it was the most awkward thing in the world. And uh, and that's how most people do when they 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 love the teaching part and you transition to sell, they get scared, they get nervous, they get whatever that is, right? It happens to all of us. Um, I've been on tons of webinars where people don't know how to transition from that to the to the next. And so in this webinar, I didn't use it, but um, traditionally, this is the <laughs> this is the um, excuse me, this is the uh, the way I transition. And for you guys, I. I would say this is probably the first webinar I haven't transitioned this way. And if I was to redo this webinar, this would be the one thing I would change about it is this transition. It's just, it works. So I finished teaching the con the content, right? I teach this last thing about how much traffic you need. I show them, imagine doing this, imagine doing this. And, and they're kind of in this future state where they're excited about the future. And I stop and I say, let me ask you a question. This stuff's been pretty cool, right? You, you've had a lot, we've had a good time over the last hour. You've learned some good stuff, but but an hour is not, not that long. Like, how would you guys like to work with me directly and why well, I can actually help you to implement what we just talked about? Boom, that's it. Let me ask you a question. Then can I talk about everything that you just went over? Who, how would you like help on this? Because this, guess what all of them are thinking at this point. I just do this whole future pacing about them making 10 or 25 or 100 grand. They're so excited. But then they get that, that feeling where it's like, wow, I don't know how to do that. It's going to be a lot of work. And that's when you come in and save the day and you say, look, let me ask you a question. All that stuff we just covered, it's exciting, right? I mean, you just imagine, imagine 100K. Like, well, like, what would that do for you? What would that do for your life? Okay, it's pretty cool, right? Let me ask this question. Like, how, how would it help you? Like, as, as your teacher, as your coach, whatever, I want to serve you. Like, how would you like if I could actually help you implement this? And guess what everyone comes back and says? They come back in the chat box and say, yes, yes, please, I want help. I love help. Let me, how can you help me? Let me help me. And then I, I like asking permission, like, okay, well, a lot of you guys want information. Um, I've got something I can do that can help you, okay? Now, I know it's always awkward, like you're on this webinar, and, you know, I, I, I do have something to sell. And if you guys are okay with that, I'd love to share it with you. If not, I won't. But if you, if you, if you want me to share it with you, let me know. And people are like, yeah, share me, share, share. And, and they, they start asking you to, to sell them, okay? And it becomes really easy after, after you transition past that, right? And now from there, I, I transition over to what I call the stack, Okay. Now you notice the stack, you won't see it for a little bit here because, because the stack now is the framework that the rest of the presentation takes. And then these closes are closes that you sprinkle in, in, in between the stack. If that makes sense. So let me tell you what the stack is. So typically when, and I learned this from Armin Moore and I will give him 100% credit. He's made me like literally the stack has made me over $10 million in direct sales. I can tie back to this concept I'm going to teach you right now called the stack. Uh, it was before I spoke, my first time speaking Armin's event, and it was two weeks before we were at a Dan Kennedy event. Armin got up there and he spoke to an audience of a thousand people, and he closed like, I don't know, it was, it was insane, like 30 or 40 or 50% of the audience. They ran back, and he, he did like, I don't know, uh, uh, it was just shy of a million dollars in sales by himself, and I remember watching, I was just like, that was the coolest thing ever. And afterwards, he came up to me with this huge stack of order forms in his hands. He's like, you want a bunch of order forms like this next week or in two weeks when you speak in my event? I'm like, yeah, man, I, I totally do. Like, what do I got to do? And he said, um, I got to teach this little process called the stack. He's like, if you do it, you'll get a big stack of order forms. You don't do it, you're not going to make much money. It's like, that's just how it works. And I'm like, all right, well, how, how's it work? And he said, this is the big secret. He said, most of the presenters, you watch the way they, they do their presentation, is they'll say, hey, the first thing you're going to get is this, and then you're going to get this, and then you're going to get this. And he keeps walking through all the stuff they're going to get. And then the last slide, they're like, this is bonus number 12, this is what you're going to get. And then they go over, they go over to the next slide, we're like, <coughs> I'm going to give you all this stuff for you know $10,000. And then they start doing the price drop. Now, what happens, he says, the only thing that the human mind remembers is the last thing they were showed. So right before, he's like, right before you, you show them this big price, the only thing they remember is bonus number 10 or 12, whatever your last thing is you showed. And if that bonus doesn't justify that price in their mind, then they're not going to buy it. He said, so I invented this thing called the stack. He said, this is how it works. You can kind of see here. He says, I start my presentation and I, I stack like, like the, the first component and I talk about it. And then, actually, I'll show you guys how it works down here. So when I did, when I did the stack, first thing I did is I showed right here. I said, let me talk about what you're going to get. Okay, first thing you're going to get is this. So I, I did the first stack. Second thing you're going to do is you're going to get this. And third thing you're going to do is this. Okay, if I was if I was clicking through these, they're animated. Fourth thing you're going to do is this. Boom. So this is the total value, eight thousand bucks. So this is the core offer. Okay. So if any of you guys, um, if any of you guys are uh, like, if you have your, your core thing, you're teaching somebody, 
<laughs> some of you guys are, it's gonna be six modules or it's gonna be you know four modules teaching blah 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 blah. That's what this was. This was my core my core offer, right? I'm gonna set up a two step. I'm gonna show you how to set up a two step funnel. Help you set up a mini call center. I'm gonna give you the actual script to use. I'm gonna give you Robbie in a box. Boom. There's the core the core offer, right? Now I'm gonna start v adding value. That's these little smiley face guys are. I'm adding value, right? So um, I'm going to give you this bonus, which is unlimited traffic. Boom. And I'm gonna give you this bonus, which is um, our, our ads and our interviews, okay? So what that means is, now I stack this. That means you're gonna get, I recap, the first thing I told them, the second thing, thing the third thing, the fourth thing, so I just, I just reset that. Then I say, plus you're gonna now get bonus number one, which is unlimited traffic, which is the $1,997 value. Plus you can get bonus number two, which is hiring commissions and more for $997. So now the total value of this package is $11,998. Okay, you guys have probably seen me do this before, right? Or you've seen other presenters, okay? It's kind of cheesy, right? But I go through and I start doing some of these other closes and do other closes, other closes. And then I come back and I add another bonus, okay? I'm, I'm gonna give you this consult, a 30 minute consult with Robbie, which is the $2,000 value. And I come back, boom, 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 I get the guarantee, guarantee, boom, boom. Then I stack it again, which means you're gonna get the two step funnel. You're gonna get this mini call center valued at 2,000. You're gonna, and literally you guys, by the time you're, you've done the stack like five or six times, you're gonna be so embarrassed. And I remember the first time I did this at a seminar, people were laughing and, and it got kind of like ridiculous, but guess what? Everybody knew exactly what the offer was and they bought like crazy. So I don't not ever do this because it works so good, okay? Component number three, I'm gonna give you this, I'm gonna give you this, and then, which means you're also gonna get this and you're gonna get this and then, and like I just told you, I'm gonna add in this bonus as well, which means the total value now is this price. Isn't that awesome? And I drop in some more closes, more closes, boom. Recap again, so I'm gonna stack it again and then I give them the price and then they can buy it, okay? So that's kind of the, the form of how the stack works, okay guys? Um, uh, those who are in Boise, Natasha, Natasha was there, and I taught Natasha the stack um, probably, man, probably two years ago, and uh, and she's one of my favorite people. She learned something, she applies it. She did the first webinar and she crushed it. And she did it again, and she crushed it. She's like, I feel so cheesy, but I just do it because it works every single time. And she just killed it over and over and over again. And then she did her very first live event here in Boise, and she had a room. Literally, I think her room had maybe 30 or 40 people. It was, it was a smaller event. And she, at the end of the three day event or two day event, she did this, she did this a presentation. I used to sell her high end coaching <clears throat> and she did the stack and she actually had huge, uh, huge boards up on the wall. that had the stack, but everything was kind of covered up. And one time she pulled the thing off, pulled the second thing off and she did the whole thing and boom, she did her stack and she made, fit, she sold uh, 10 people at five grand, 50, over $50,000 in sales from one presentation to a group of like 30 people by using the stack. And she swears by it. She won't ever not do it. And I'm the same way. Okay, after Armin showed it to me, I added it to my presentation. I went and did his event, and boom, I crushed it. I was the number one salesperson in the event. I walked away with like almost 100 grand in sales, and I was like, this thing is awesome. And I just have used it every single time religiously since then. Actually, that's not true. Once, I thought I was too smart, and I didn't use it, and I bombed. I still remember the webinar. I was so embarrassed. Um, I was doing it for some guy, and I, I thought I had a better idea than the stack, and I did it, and webinar bombed, and I've never got... I've, Put it back in, I've never not done it since then, okay? So that's the webinar works, you guys. Here's component number one. Boom, talk about component number one. Here's component number two, which means you're gonna get this and this. Talk about that, you know, add testimonials. These little smiley faces are, are bonuses, testimonials, inserting closes, just a whole bunch of stuff to strengthen and fortify that next component, then you restack it. Share the next thing, restack it. Share the next thing, restack it, and then boom. After you restack it all, now is when you come to the big price. Okay, that means the total price of all this stuff, where did I do that on? The total price is somewhere, boom. Okay, the total price is $11,998. So I show the big, huge price. Now, most people, they do that and they get scared. They're like, oh, but don't worry, guys. I'm not gonna charge you that. And what happens? You just lost your credibility. That's one of the biggest mistakes I see, I see uh, webinar people do. They show the big price and then they freak out. Uh, don't worry, guys. I'm not gonna charge you that. <laughs> and they move on. The, the, that's like the worst thing. Um, and this is, a, again, this is a tactic I learned from, from Dustin and Dave, is as soon as I reveal the huge price, right? I show that $11,000 thing. Now I need to make that price, I need to justify that price in their head. If I don't justify that price in their head, then they're not, then, then when I actually sell the product, it's not gonna work. I have, to, I have to get them mentally to believe that it's actually worth that. And if I don't, then I lost the sale. Okay, so after I show this high ticket thing, this now is where, um, this is where I actually, add my if all statements, okay? I learned this from, from Dave Van Hoos. So I, I, I set the high price and I say, look guys, I'm not, I'm not gonna charge $11,998 today. I could, but I'm not going to, but I wanna ask you something. And then this is where you add your if all. 
if all that this package did was blank, would it be worth it? If all this, if, if all this package did was finally make your business, pro, your business profitable, would it be worth 11,000 bucks? Yeah, I thought so. Now, if all this package did was finally give you the kick in the butt you need to get moving, would it be worth it? Yeah, I think so too. Now, if all this package did was give you two to three high ticket clients per month, would that be worth it? Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'd I trade $12,000 for two or three, you know, five to $10,000 sales a month all day long. Because this is a one time investment. You do it once, you never have to pay again. But that knowledge, the information, everything you got will pay you forever. Okay? So these if all statements, they solidify this price in their mind. Does that make sense, you guys? If alls. And now I come back and say, but don't worry, guys, I'm not going to charge you that. In fact, what I'm going to do is, and you start drop, per, dropping the price. Okay? Now, I went a little bit further because I talked about about two to three clients, what's that worth to them? And I said, and I want to ask you another question. Like, what's one client going to be worth to you? If your package of five grand, it's worth 5,000, 10,000, 25,000 or more. So how much would you pay to get one high ticket client per month? How about one per month, per week? How much per day? What would you pay for that? Okay. You probably would pay 12,000 bucks if I could show you that, right? It's a good deal, but don't worry. Oh, and then I also like, uh, we, we had a couple people pay us, um, a million dollars to have something similar. So I, I again, send the value. Like we've had people pay us over a million dollars for this, literally. And you're getting it for a fraction. So don't worry. I'm not going to price it at five grand. Um, I'm not gonna do it for 2000. I'm going to do it for a thousand. So price dropped down. Now they're like, sweet. Here's a, here's a really good deal. Okay. So there's my if alls and my price drop and then my call to action, which is go click on the order form or whatever it is. Okay. So that's kind of the, the framework of the close. Um, Someone asked uh, a question. Oh yeah, someone's asked, do I, do I actually show the price multiple times? Yeah, so I don't, I don't ever show the price until I hit, I hit the first time when I, the price drops. As soon as I hit the price the first time, then I give them the call to action. And then I usually have the call to action on every slide after that. Because I'm gonna just keep selling after, the, after, I've, after I've hit that. So I'm gonna keep, you know, again, I talk about a bonus here, and I come back, boom, there's a call to action. And I, I drop another close, and then boom, another call to action. Call to action, call to action. So I have this thing, now that they know the prices, I want to keep pushing them. Like all these rest of these slides, the only goal of all the rest of these slides is to push them to go order. I'm trying to tip those people over who are sitting on the fence, who haven't done anything yet, pushing them, pushing them, pushing them, trying to get them over the edge so that boom, they'll fall in and they'll, they'll actually order. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go through these closes. So these closes are awesome. There's, uh, what do we have, 16 of them here? 16 closes. Um, now some of you guys are like, you close people 16 times during a webinar, Russell? And the answer is kind of. Um, Sometimes I do more, sometimes I do less. I, I don't always do all of them. I just, I, I use a bunch of them though. So these are a bunch of them. These are not all the closes in the world. These are just 16 of them I have for you right now. I could make up more and come up with more. I've seen other speakers do more. Um, some of these are ones that I've done in the past. Some of the ones I learned from a guy named Jason Flattel and some of the ones I've seen Armin do. Some are just, there's a whole bunch of different ones in here. And so um, I'm just gonna show you kind of what they are and how they work. Um, let me find my notes here. So there's a... Uh, there's a bunch of them, and you can, you'll kind of see as I go through here uh, how how I used how I use a bunch of these. Let's see. All right. So I have like 30 pages of notes here that I was getting all ready before this. So I gotta make sure I find them all right. Um, okay. So uh, so the money is good clothes. Funny enough, that's like the one I cannot find. I'll find that in a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on to this. I'll, I'll start disposable income, and I'll come back to that when I find that one. Disposable income is one of my, one of my favorites. So if you come up here, you'll see where I use disposable income. Um, disposable income. Okay, so disposable income. This is where um, you, you talk about. The, the fact that, look, look, all of us have disposable income. Like most of you guys, you, you get your paycheck each month and a percentage of that goes towards towards movies and towards things like that. And uh, and I'm not asking you guys to, to go and go into debt for this at all. What I'm trying to ask you guys to do is that some of that disposable income that you're gonna spend on the movies and, 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 and going out to dinner and all that kind of stuff, instead of blowing it on something that's just gonna be there and then kind of fade away and you're gonna lose it, you, I, I'm asking you to make an investment in yourself because the money you put into this is gonna turn into more money. 
Okay. A lot of times, like talking about, uh, I might talk about Robert Kiyosaki here. Like, if you guys have read, read the book Rich Dad Poor Dad, now in the book Rich Dad Poor Dad, he talked about the difference between assets and liabilities. He said that the poor people they buy liabilities. Okay, they buy cars, they buy they buy boats, they buy these things. You put money in, and the money disappears. Okay. Um, what the rich people do is they put their money into investments that actually turn into more money. So all I'm doing is ask you is to divert some of your disposable income into an into an investment as opposed to something that's going to take money away from you. Okay, that's kind of how I use the, how I do the disposable income close. Okay, money replenishes close. This one is uh, one of my of my other favorite ones. So money replenishes is basically um, the the concept is is look every single month you get a paycheck. In fact, I wonder if I where I put this one in here. Um, might not be able to find it on the fly. So as you can see, though, I sprinkle these out throughout the stack. And I'm not going to find it real quick. Anyway, money replenishes. So basically, it's like, look, this is how it works. Every two weeks, you get paid a paycheck, right? And the cool thing about it is you you get that paycheck, you go out, you pay your bills, you buy your, your disposable income, you spell that money, and the money disappears, right? But what happens two weeks later? You get paid again. That money replenishes. And the cool thing about money is money always replenishes. Okay, Every two weeks, it comes back again. Every two weeks, it comes back again. It keeps coming back in over and over and over again, right? Now, let me ask you a question. Does that happen with your time, too? Like when you when you uh you miss your your daughter's soccer because you're you're at the office like do you get that time back? No, it doesn't, huh? It's not weird. Like money replenishes every single two weeks, but but your time never comes back. So what I'm asking you to do is to take a take an asset, take a resource that replenishes every two weeks is going to come back. You're going to get that money back every two weeks, and uh, invest in something that's going to save you a ton of time. Because you can learn this stuff. You can go do what I did. You can go hire 60 salespeople. You can go and build your own call center. You can build a sales team. You can hire. You can do all this stuff. But I'm trying to do it with this package that I created for you guys. I'm just trying to save you a bunch of time, okay? And because you can't get your time back, I'm asking you to take money, which is replenishable. Which in two weeks from now, you're gonna have that money back anyway. It doesn't even matter. And do that to help to, to give you something that's gonna save you. That's gonna save you the time, okay? So you show them how money replenishes, and they're like, "Yeah, you're right. It's gonna be back." But my t my time, wow, my time doesn't come back, okay? And you can learn this stuff on your own. And then, again, this works in any market. You can go learn how to how to uh, how to lose weight uh, on your own. But man, that time you, you waste testing and trial, that money, that time doesn't come back. Your money's going to be back in two weeks. It keeps coming back like clockwork, okay? And that's how it works. Even if you lose your job, guess what? The government's going to replenish it for you. It keeps coming back, okay? So take some of that money, blow it on, on, blow it on my stuff instead, and then uh, it'll, it'll be back in two weeks anyway, okay? All right. Uh, next close is the, the break old habits close. This one's awesome because um, they, in the webinar, they're all fired up. They're excited. And like, look, I want to ask you guys a question. So a lot of you guys... You, you've probably been on these kind of webinars before in the past, right? You get excited, you get fired up, and what happens the next day? Probably nothing for most of you guys. Okay, and it's sad because I just showed you guys the exact system I'm using right now to make $100,000 a week. You're going to go back tomorrow and not do anything. Okay, and the reason why is because old habits, that, that are hard to break. Okay, you'll go back to your office the next day and you're going to be back to the exact same habit. The only way you're going to be successful is if we figure out a way to break that habit right now. Okay, and the way you're going to break that habit is by investing in this course. Now I can come here and I can help you and and give you all the tools you need to break that habit so you can become successful. And tell you, <clears throat> if you don't do that, you're going to slide back to your exact habit. Okay, everything we did for the last hour here will be completely useless because because you slip back to your old habit. So the only way to break that is to invest right now. So now you have the tools to break that habit and be able to take this to the next level. Okay, that's the break habit close. Um, let's see, the money is good. I don't know why in the world I can't think of the money is good close. All right. Okay, information alone close. So information alone uh, is basically, look, guys, over the last 90 minutes, we've shared a ton of information with you. But as you know, information alone is not going to save you. Okay, you need systems. You need action. You need all this other stuff I'm sharing with you. Okay, for mine, it's like you need, you need to talk to Robbie on the phone. He can train your salespeople. You need the scripts. You need this. You need all this other stuff. Okay, I've given you a ton of information in the last hour, but information alone will not get you to where you want to be. You need my package because that's what's going to help you to get to the next level. That's what's going to give you the coaching, the accountability, the whatever it is you, your offer is, that's where you're going to get that, okay? Uh, money or excuses. Look, this is the way it is. People in life, they can have one of two things. They can have money or they can have excuses. That's it, okay? And so right now, you've got two options. One is you can sign up, you can get involved, and now you can go and make money. Or number two is you can come up with some excuse. Why you couldn't afford it? Why you couldn't do it this time? Why you don't have enough time? Why you don't, whatever your excuse is today, that's fine. But the, the reality is you can't have both. You can have money or excuses, and you've got to decide right now which one you want. Kind of about you, but I'd rather have money and so that's why you need to go invest right now. Okay? Money or excuses? All right. 
Oh, good. Mike Mike just hooked me up with money is good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. It's always kind of nerve wracking when you're on a live webinar to make sure you get them all. So money is good. So come back to money is good close. Um, so what Mike basically says is like a lot of people think money is evil. Okay. They, they look at it as a, as a bad thing. Money is not bad. All money is, is is a tool for exchange. Okay. So what's cool about it is you spend money right now to get something bigger in return. Okay. Um, and that's just, that's, it's, it's a tool for exchange. That's all it is. It's just this, cause the problem that most people have, you guys, this is why the money is good. Close is good. Is people have this weird, like love, hate relationship with money. Like money is this thing that, that they struggle with and they, they have so much passion and you have to like disassociate that with it. So you break it down. Like money's just a, a tool for exchange, right? You go to the grocery store, you give them money, they give you food. Okay. You're exchanging stuff. That's all it is. And right now we're just asking you to exchange some of that, that money for this thing. And if it's worth, if it's worth more to you than the money, then it, it's it's a fair trade for you and for me. And so that's why that's why uh, the money is good, clothes works good. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Awesome. Okay. Um, information loan. Okay. Money excuses. All right. Your two choices. Um, so your two choices. This is where this one's really cool because this one justifies why you're charging a lot of money. So you say, look, this is the way it is, you guys. I had two choices when I was putting together this package. The first choice was I can make it really cheap, charge like 97 bucks, and everyone could we could sell tons of people, everyone have access to it. And that was one option, okay? But the problem with that is, is that with, with just that one option is that, is that I, don't, I can't put in the time or the effort, the resources to really serve you. So instead of like selling you know, 10,000 people to stick at 97 bucks, what I decided to do is to help you because I wanted, I wanted to give you, a, give you more personal attention. I decided to charge a lot more. Okay, I decided to charge $2,000. That way, it justifies me have, spending more time and more effort. And I'm guessing for most of you guys, you'd probably rather have a little more effort from me, right? So that's why I decided to charge more for what I'm selling. Okay, your two choices. And it's just, it, it makes them like, yeah, I'm glad he's charging me more money because now I can, uh, now he's gonna spend more time with me and all these other things, right? <coughs> okay, that's the, the, the your two choices. Then it shifts over to, to, uh, to their two choices, all right? All right. Okay, so with their two choices, now instead of what choices you're making, it's the choices that they're gonna make, right? So the, the choices right now, you basically, you got two decisions. Choice number one is you can go invest, you can get started in the next you know, three weeks from now, two weeks from now, you can have this entire system up and running and making money. Or you can end this webinar right now, you go to bed tonight, you kind of sit around and tomorrow you wake up and you do the exact same thing you're doing right now. Okay, you've got, two, you've got choices as well. And you just gotta decide like which choice is more exciting. Which one do you want in your life? Do you wanna go back to exactly what was happening yesterday? I'm guessing not, otherwise why'd you register for this webinar? Okay, you're trying to lose weight, you show up this webinar, you need help. Okay, so you got two choices. Either it's get help, let's fix this problem for you, or go back and keep doing what you're doing already. I don't know about you, but this, that, that second option never makes me happier. Um, that's why I wanna help you right now. Okay, so you're showing them their two choices and kind of downplaying and making the, the choice of going back to the regular life look horrible and get them excited about the life that, that you're trying to offer them, okay? All right, us versus them. Us versus them is where we start shifting into um, um, the, the people that you want on your team versus versus uh, versus those who you don't want. In fact, uh, I think I showed it here, yeah. So this one, I, I stole this example from, from Jason Flatland. I did the tale of two people. So I was like, look, there's two kind of people who show up on these webinars. First one's a timid, nervous guy or gal who gets on here and like they think it's really cool and they wanna do it, but they just don't like, they just don't take action, okay? I don't know about you, but I don't like working with those people. Like those people never successful. Okay, the people I like the people like us, right? Who they get on this, they hear it, they understand it, they step up and they want to produce, and boom, they come out here and, and they they uh, they make results, and make things happen. So I'm gonna ask you guys, what what are you? Are you are you this guy or are you this guy? Because this guy is probably a good time to hang up on the webinar right now. I don't want to make you feel guiltier than you already do. But if you're ready to take some massive action in your life and do some cool stuff and change your life for the better, if you want to join us, okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'm signing up right now. Hightickettsecrets.com forward slash go, right? I pitch it back on the thing again. All right. Um, reluctant hero <coughs> is awesome. This is right here. This is my reluctant hero slide. Look, guys, I'm nothing special. Because that's the problem. When you, just by the, the fact that you're the webinar presenter, people think you're magic. They think you're special, right? So you got to come back and remind them, like, look, I'm nothing special. Okay, I personally cannot pick up the phone and sell things. I don't know how to drive Facebook traffic. I spent 10 years of trial and error to discover this thing that works super, super easy. And you can either go and do it the hard way and go figure it out yourself or just do what I did. Just plug it in. Like it works. It, it's, it's awesome. And I'm nothing special. I'm just a normal guy just like you. And if I can do it, I promise you, you can do it. Okay, that's the reluctant hero close. Um, oh, I missed. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I missed a couple of them. 
<laughs> Sorry, I missed the handhold. The handhold clothes. Uh, if you have like a members area, the handhold clothes works really good. It's where you basically go and, uh, and you say, look, look, in fact, let's break away from the presentation. I'm going to show you this thing. And you log in. This is what it looks like. When you buy, this is what's going to, you're going to go to this page, you're going to fill out this form. After you buy, you're going to go on this page right here. This is where you're going to log in the members area. This is where you're going to submit a form. You can talk to me. And you kind of just walk them through the process so they can see it. You're hand holding them through the process. And it's not just logging in the members area. Usually it's the entire sign up process. That's where people get more intimidated. <clears throat> so if you show them, here's the order form, here's you put your credit card in, after that you're taking this page right here, then you're going to do this, and you kind of just show them the process. Okay. All right, which ones am I missing? I skipped around a little bit. Us versus them we got, only excuses we got, handheld, reluctant, so I think I got these four left. Okay. All right, say goodbye. This is where you start talking about um, the, the things in their life they hate. So I come back and say, look, guys, this is, this is the deal. For a lot of you guys, you have been trying to high-ticket sales and you hate the phones. I want you right now to say with me, say goodbye. Your phone fear phobia is gone forever. If a lot of you guys are scared because of whatever, whereas right now, because of what you just bought, you can say goodbye forever. Okay? And so I start like taking all these fears and I'm basically dismissing them with them. Okay? So a lot of times I'll drop this between, between the stacks. Let's say I know one of my stack points is talking about uh, they're scared about hiring. So I'll... So my bonus is like, hey, I'm going to give you all of our ads, our interview process, our hiring. So, so if, you're, if you're nervous about like, I don't know how to run an ad, you can say goodbye to that fear forever because I'm going to give you everything. I'm going to give you our ad. I'm going to give you the interview process. I'm going to give you everything. It's gone forever. Boom. So I tell them, help them say goodbye to all the fears that they're having, all the things they're keeping them back and what, they, what they're trying to do, right? Okay. If you only got, if you only got, it's a great one to drop at each step of the stack. So I show this and I'm like, I'm like isn't that awesome? Now, if you only got that piece alone, it would still be worth the investment. But that's not, but but I'm but on top of that I'm also giving you and then you go the next thing, okay? Again I'm justifying what they just bought. If you, if that's all I gave you, it'd still be worth it. But you're getting something even more. That's if you only got clothes. Um, now and later clothes. This is kind of a. Um, again, it comes back to uh, um, to this pre-framing thing, right? So like right now in your life you're struggling with this, you're struggling with this, you're struggling with all these things you're struggling with. But later, after you invest in this package, those things are gone. Okay, right now, these are a big issue for you. Right now, you have no idea how to sell high-ticket stuff. But later, after you invest, those, all those problems are gone. Okay, so you bring them where they are right now, the current frustrations, and you show them how investing makes those things magically disappear, now and later. And then your close close is usually the very end where you're like, look, guys, this is it. Webinar's over. Go sign up right now. Again, go to cl click the button or sign up below. Go to www.highticketsecrets.com forward slash go. And you keep pushing them, pushing them, pushing them to the, to the call to action to the URL over and over and over again as many times as you can. Okay? Now, that's kind of it, you guys. So there's your stack. You're sprinkling in all these awesome closes along the way. And again, you don't have to use all of them. Just use, just use a couple of them at each, each step in here to the point where you feel comfortable. If you feel cheesy, don't put all of them in. But pick the ones that make the most sense to you that you really enjoy, that you like. You can kind of tie your own personality around and sprinkle those things throughout this, uh, this stack process. If you guys follow that to a T, I promise you, I promise you, if you're in front of an event, people run the back of the room. You're on a webinar, people are going to go to this URL, as long as your offer is good. But if your offer is awesome and you, you wrap it with this perfect webinar, you guys, it just works. Okay, and I got two more secrets for you. And the first one, this is a little thing we started adding to our webinars. We saw a 25% increase in sales. On the last slide, a lot of people, they still have one question and they're just nervous about it. So on the last slide, I said, look, guys, if you still have questions, that's fine. I understand that. Um, you know, I, I want you guys locking your spot right now. So what you can do is if you have a question, all you got to do is call our secure voicemail line at this number and then leave a detailed message with your full name, your address, your phone number, and your credit card name number with, expre with ex expiration. And don't worry, I'm not going to charge you right now. I just want to make sure you're actually serious. You're not just calling to... To, to be a looky loop. If you're serious about this, you have a question, give me everything, including your credit card, and I will not bill it. I swear to you, I won't bill it. But what happens as soon as we get that, that information in, either my, me or my assistant will call you today or tomorrow, and we will personally answer your question. And then if you're okay with everything, then we'll bill your credit card. Does that sound fair? And people are like, yeah, sure. And all of a sudden, you'll start seeing the, your, your voice light up, your voicemail. So for this, we set up a Google Voice number. And people, they log in and they, they leave their message, leave their phone number, and we got a 25% increase in sales from adding that little thing in there. For all those people who, who they're in, they just got one question, it's magic. Okay, so that's a really good one. And the last one, um, this one's kind of a, a bigger thing, uh, kind of a hierarch an overall hierarchy principle. Um, I learned this initially from a guy named Ted Thomas. They call him the Pied Piper because when he speaks at like a Robert Kiyosaki event, I've seen pictures of him. He'll literally be walking around the room and he'll have a line of like, 
500 people all holding their credit card, following him behind him, waving their credit cards, and they'll follow him to the back of the room. And uh, it, it's uh, it's pretty awesome. Anyway, they call him the Pied Piper because of that. And I, I met him at an event. He saw me speak, and then afterwards he pulled me aside. He said, Russell, you did, you did great. You did sales. We're good. But he said, do you notice one thing? He said, when, when you were uh, – when you were speaking, so I was sitting in the back of the audience and you did a great job. You, you know, people signed up, they were excited, but I noticed nobody's heads were moving. He said, when you come to my audience and you watch me speak, he said, and you're sitting in the back of the room, it looks like you're watching a wave. So everybody's heads are nodding up and down the entire 90 minutes. Okay. And he said, he said, do you know how I do that? I said, no, how do you do? He said, I do it by this little thing called trial closes. Okay. Well, all a trial closes is, is something you, I, I throw out there to get somebody to say yes. Does that make sense? Okay. I said, does that make sense? Cause that was a trial close. You guys notice, probably notice I say that a lot. Okay, I say, isn't that awesome? You guys getting this? Isn't this exciting? Like when you see how this all works and, and everyone listening at home saying, yeah, that is exciting. That is cool. And they start nodding their heads yes. Okay, so the first time I learned about these trial closes, I went back to an automated webinar I had. And I literally went through and I rewatched the entire like three hour long webinar. And I listened to every single spot I could insert a trial close. And I wrote this thing out and I, I had my brother record me. Um, or I record myself saying each of these little trial closes and I had my brother who does, does my video stuff insert those trial closes in my entire three hour webinar. And then we, we started running it and our, um, our profit per, per webinar registrant went from $9 and like 40 cents a person up to $16. It was like almost, we almost doubled our income just by adding in these trial closes. It's crazy. Okay. Now for me, when I first started doing this, what I would do is I, I would take all these trial clothes and I'd write them down on note cards and I put them all over my desk. And when I was giving webinars, I looked down, and I would say them. I, I, I would get to a spot. And I'd be like, isn't that awesome? Are you guys getting this? Okay. Do you guys see how this would help you in your life? Can you imagine what it'd be like if you were doing this every single day? Okay. And I started saying that all over the, all over the place. And now it's the point where if you guys have just watched this webinar, I'm not even trying to close you, but I guarantee your heads have been nodding. I've been dropping trial closes every like 10 seconds on you guys. It's just how I speak now. Right. And uh, it's something you guys will learn as well. But trial closes are powerful and best place to add trial closes. Oh, well, besides the entire presentation, but anytime you share a success story or you share one of your big secrets, most people will share a testimonial and then they move on. Can we share a testimonial? You should drop five or six trial closes right afterwards. So I just showed how Susie did this thing and she made, she lost 30 pounds and I'm going to stop and be like, isn't that awesome? What happened? To, can you imagine if you lost 30 pounds right now? Would that be awesome? What would, what, would, what would that mean for you in your life if you lost 30 pounds? Would your spouse look at you a little differently? Okay, would your kids think about you differently? That'd be pretty great, don't you think? We might start five trial closes and then move on. Okay, I share a secret and when I talk about, again, for me, the secret up here about um, right here, like picking up, don't have to pick up the phone. So I share my secret. I'm like, wouldn't that be great if you could make high ticket sales without picking up the phone? Isn't that awesome? Like, I, I, I don't know about you, but I'm scared about it. Are you guys scared about picking up the phones? Yeah, me too. Like, wouldn't that be great if you could do that? Like, just imagine how it would change your life. Okay, so I'm dropping these trial closes all over the place. Okay, so next time you guys watch one of my webinars, look for the trial closes. They're everywhere, okay? And just start using them in your everyday language pattern. Natasha, same thing. I talk about trial closes, and she swears by them. She uses them all day long, every day, and uh, it's pretty awesome. All right, guys. So uh, give me your feedback real quick on the, the perfect webinar. Do you guys see kind of how how I do that process? Do you see how you can wrap pretty much any of your presentations or any of the, the things you're trying to sell into that, into that perfect webinar template. <coughs> it's funny. Like <clears throat> I look at, I look at how much, um, what I had to go through to get this, you guys, um, from a financial standpoint, from a me standing in front of an audience, making myself look like an idiot for me, uh, crashing and, and burning. And, uh, and this is literally, like I said, the, the culmination of, of man, how, how many years, like, 10, 10 plus years of, of trial and error to get to this. And I'm grateful to be able to share it with you guys because hopefully it'll save you guys that, 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 uh, all those headaches. You know, with Liz, this is what I gave her. I gave her this, this outline. I gave her my presentation, the one you guys just watched right now and said, look, go in and take your content. What, what is your selling? But wrap it in, in these pieces. And if you do that, I don't know why it works. I just know that it works. And so I just do it. And, um, and uh, it, it really is that that powerful. And so um, that's kind of one of the, the biggest gifts I want to give you guys during this training. I know we've been on now for um, for four and a half hours. and We're getting close to the end, I promise. But this was one of the biggest gifts I want to give you guys because this will literally um, give you the ability to write your own paycheck for the rest of your life. Um, like literally every couple months when we need, I want some more money and my wife wants to go do something stupid, you know, let's go on a trip, whatever it is. I'm like, all right, let me put together a webinar and boom, 50,000, 100,000, just, just crazy amounts of money. And then what's cool is after you do it once, 
then you've got this this uh, this thing. It's kind of funny. Like I look at when I first started my marketing career, um, I would go and I would spend all the time and energy and effort and build this thing. And I build a product and I go and I launch it and I'd make you know fifty, hundred, two hundred grand, whatever it was. And then I go and I'd create another webinar. And that's why I got probably so good at is I kept creating new webinars. And one time I met this uh, this person, and uh, and I'm grateful for this because this kind of comes back down trying to do with Liz and, and trying to do you guys as well. And uh, she she told me uh, she had gone and she'd built and she had built um, probably f- three or four companies from from like a million dollar companies up to like twenty, thirty, forty million dollar uh, companies. And uh, and she said she said something really profound. She said, "All you internet marketer guys, you're so smart on one side. You make the best offers and the best products and the best things." But she's like, what you guys do is the equivalent of <clears throat> going to Boise, Idaho, and you set up, you know, you go and you create a plane, you you script out the plane, you write it, and you sell tickets to it, and you people come and they they come on opening night and do the play, and it's a smashing success, and then you you break everything down, and then you go and you start trying to write your next play. And she says, what I do to take a company from from where they are right now and take them to the next level, she's like, I take that play on the road. I take it, if it, did, if it worked in Boise, then we take it to Chicago. If it worked in Chicago, then we go to New York, and we start scaling that and rolling it out. And that's really the, the magic, you guys, is after you create this webinar once, th- this thing can pay you for the rest of your life. Um, Liz will be able to make money off hers for forever. And uh, if she wants, she can go back, like she was saying, she's excited to go and create another one because as entrepreneurs, usually we have horrible ADD and we're always looking for the next thing. Um, but but the reality is you, you, uh, you can create one presentation and, and it'll change your life. Um, I think it was Gary Halbert said that you're, you're one good sales letter away from... from uh, from I can't remember a million dollars or from from whatever it is, and I think it's the same thing with the webinar. Like I told you at the beginning, when we had 100 employees and everything was crashing down around us, and I needed some money, man, I put together one webinar and and it's it saved me. And uh, so it depends, just doesn't really matter where you guys are now. If you're a complete beginner, if you've got a business and you're struggling, if you want to take the next level, um, you're one webinar away from, from really taking it there. And I think this perfect webinar, like I said, this is what I use. This is what works for me. And, uh, and it's worked for Liz. It's worked for dozens of, our, of other people I've shared it with as well. And now I'm giving it to you guys as well. So please use this as a tool. Um, and this is what you need to kind of script out your webinar. Okay. Um, so one thing I think I'm going to do in the members area, this might take me a little while to put it in there, but I think I might go and, and make um, like PowerPoint slide template of this, one in PowerPoint and the one in Keynote. And I'll put it in there kind of as a template so you can then take it and kind of build out your own things and add your own images and stuff like that. But hopefully that'll kind of also kind of speed, um, speed up the process for those of you guys who don't like creating the slides. I know that I'm not a big fan of it. But the other thing a lot of people ask me is like, well, Russell, how much time should I spend on the webinar versus the content? And it's, it's unfortunate, but mo- usually we spend a lot more time on the sales webinar than we do the rest of the content. Okay, the sales webinar, that's that's the key. That's what you that's where you gotta spend the most effort and energy because that's what makes you the money. The sales tools way worth way more than the content. <clears throat> so that's where you gotta focus the most of your energy. All right, cool. So I, I'm excited. I, I I love sharing that with people. I love sharing with you guys, and I hope that you guys uh, I hope that you guys use it. All right. Okay, so um, so now you kind of got you've got the script, you've got your content, you've got those two pieces. Now this is where Liz was at six weeks ago, right? Now we've got to go and, and do it live. Um, you know, you're going to have this thing in your head where you're like, I want to create an automated version right out of the gate, but that's that's a mistake. You need to do it live a, a bunch of times to learn your pitch and see what works and see what doesn't work. Um, and so <clears throat> what we do is kind of this process, and I'll walk you guys through it right right now. It's pretty easy. So the first thing is uh, we use GoToWebinar. And it's still by far the best to use. I think there's a free trial yeah, I'm not even sure. I think there's a free trial, a 30-day trial. So if you want, you can use it, make a bunch of money, and then start paying for it. But it's one of those tools. Like I've had, I've had an account for Go to Webinar for probably eight years, and I'll never get rid of it just because it's just this thing I need to have. And every time I need to make money, so I just use it, right? Um, so I'm gonna sign in to Go to Webinar, and all you gotta do is go create a webinar. So hopefully this works since we're on a webinar right now. Hopefully it won't kick me off or anything. But you log in to Go to Webinar. And I click on webinars, and I click on um, schedule webinar. That pops up right here. And I'll walk you through the process. It's really simple and really easy. All I'm going to do is I'm going to name my webinar, right? So I'm going to call this list. Oops. I'm going to call it Life Hacking Secrets. Uh, um, and I'll put it wherever my headline is, which I don't have right now. But discover how to 
hack your way to the perfect lifestyle. Okay, and I can pick a date and a time. So say, okay, I'm gonna do the webinar. Like for Liz, she's doing hers every Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Um, you can do yours every Wednesday, every Friday. You can do whatever you want. Uh, I like doing Thursdays personally, so I'm gonna do it. Let's say I'll do it Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern time, from 9 till 10 Eastern time. I can right here. I save and continue. I can choose a theme. It doesn't matter what theme you're gonna use because we're gonna bypass it inside of ClickFunnels. And I'll show you guys how to do that here in a minute. So it doesn't matter anything you pick here. You can just ignore it. You can put in your presenter name. So if you want it, people see who you are. Title, awesome dude. Or yeah, so something like that. And save and continue. And then this is all the stuff you can you can get for someone to register. I just clear all because I don't want any of that stuff. I just want their name and their email. And then I click on save and email the invitation. And boom, it's created. Then I come down here. And I click on this so you guys can kind of see it. All right, so here it is right here. Now, the only thing I really need is this webinar registration URL. So I can send people directly to this. If I click on it, you'll see what it looks like. It's kind of ugly. But I can send people, I can drive traffic from Facebook straightly to here. But the problem is it doesn't really sell the webinar very good. And so that's why we use ClickFunnels. So I'm going to come back here, ClickFunnels. I'm going to create a new funnel. So I'm going to go back to my funnels. I'm going to click on add a new funnel. Now this time I'm going to create a webinar funnel. So I showed you guys all these options last time. Let me make this bigger. I'm going to click on webinar funnel this time. Click on create funnel. Call it list hacking. Ooh, not list hacking. Life hacking. Life hacking secrets webinar. I'm going to group mine. Their success. ETC, I create the funnel. <coughs> and then boom, now it creates the webinar. So you notice it's a very simple process. There's two pages. There's one is the webinar registration page, and then one is the confirmation page. So those are the two options. So come back here. For some reason it's kind of going weird on me right now. So I'm gonna pick so here's all the cool looking webinar registration pages. There's a ton of them here. So I'm just gonna pick whichever one I want. For now, I'm probably gonna do a simple one because I don't have a video or anything, so I'm just going to use this one right here. It's pretty simple. So I'm going to create that webinar right here. So that's going to be the registration page where I send people to from Facebook and from all my ads. And then I'm going to create a webinar confirmation page, which is after they register, then here's the page they're going to be, they're going to be taken to. It's basically says thank you, blah, 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 right? All right. So now I got those two pages created in my funnel. They come in here. I'm going to click on open an editor. It's going to edit this page. And again, guys, in the members area, I'll give you guys a whole bunch of videos that show you how to use this editor and go into a lot more detail. I just want to show you really quickly how it works. So now I come back here and I'm going to just create this page. So I click on this and I change it to Life Hacking Secrets, How to Do, do, uh, do Really Cool Stuff. Again, it's a horrible webinar name, but I put my picture in right here. If I had a guest, I put their picture in, but I just kind of edit that here. I get it all set up. Now, the one thing I can do is I got to integrate this with GoToWebinar. So if I come over here to Settings, nope, I come here to Email, click on Integrations, and you'll have to, you'll, you will have had to have set this up already inside of ClickFunnels, your integrations, um, which again, not necessary for you guys to know right now, uh, but basically just you will integrate GoToWebinar. So I'm going to click on GoToWebinar. It's going to find a bunch of my webinars. Now I come back here. Remember I showed you guys this this page right here that we clicked on? I'm just going to copy this page right here. Copy it. Come back here into ClickFunnels and I paste it there. Now, when somebody fills out this form, they will be added to that webinar. So now this will be the page I drive traffic to from Facebook. They'll give me their name, their email address, click on register, and boom, that'll add them now to my webinar. And now they'll be registered. And then go to webinar will send them emails reminding them this is coming. Webinar's happening tomorrow, webinar's happening today, webinar's happening in an hour from now, and boom, they're gonna show up. And now you have a chance to to give the, the perfect webinar and actually pitch it to your to your audience. Cool? So that's kind of how that works. Um, 
Uh, <laughs> Daryl said, you are a madman. I love having you in my life. <laughs> Thanks, Daryl. I like having you in my life now too. Um, <laughs> awesome. Okay, so, uh, so that's how you create that. And again, obviously I'm gonna edit this and make it look really nice. That's how it works and then I'll exit here. And the only other thing I need to do is because this is a live webinar, obviously I gotta edit the date and time on that page. I come down here and uh, I can edit, there's a countdown clock. I can edit the countdown clock and, and inside the editor and say when it's gonna go live. And I'm not gonna walk through that process, but that's kinda how you do, just kinda edit these pages. If you ever get stuck, just click here on this little question mark and our support can help walk you through it. We've got the most amazing support team on earth. They can walk you through all the pieces and just make sure that um, this working. But then after it's done, basically you just come here this is the, 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 the website link you will drive traffic to, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. And you should just go through that process, test it, join the list, see if it adds you to, to your go to webinar. And if it did, then, it, then it's working. Okay? And if it didn't work for whatever reason, then just click on our support tab, and they'll walk you through it, make sure that it works perfectly for you. Okay? So that's how you do, you do the live one. All right? Now, um, Long term, and I'll just kind of touch on this briefly because I don't want to go into a ton of detail about it. I know we've been going for a long time. And so, but long term, then the next step is to go in and actually automate it, where you can create a whole automated webinar, which basically means I record my webinar presentation, I get it perfect. So, with Liz, she's done it now probably six or seven times where she's been really successful and closed it. It's working really good. And so, now that she's got the pitch down and she's mastered it, she keeps getting better and better with it. Eventually, we'll go and we'll actually record. We'll open up Camtasia, just like we talked about with the product. And we'll record her doing her entire her entire webinar presentation, and then after it's recorded, then she'll come here into ClickFunnels. She click on Create a New Funnel, and she'll click right here on Auto Webinar Funnel. And notice the same thing again: same sign up page, same confirmation page. But then it creates right here. You can see an automated webinar landing page, which is basically kind of uh, it's a website where the webinar will, will be on. And it'll, it'll wait till a certain time. So you say, I want this webinar to play Saturday at 3. It'll wait till Saturday at 3. And then Saturday at 3, boom, it'll start, it'll start playing that webinar. Um, and then you'll, you can have it send out replay. Uh, let them watch a replay so if they missed it. Um, the coolest thing I want to show you about is automated webinars. And this is where the magic really is. Um, so I'll call this one Life Hacking Secrets Auto Webinar. The cool thing about this, and the reason why I love automated webinars, is um, is inside of ClickFunnels, you can see all sorts of stuff. I can see what that person is doing when they register. So let me show you what happens. So I'll pick, I'll just pick this template right here. Okay. Now, if I click right here and you click on email marketing, this is where the magic happens. Is that ClickFunnels will send out. Um, emails based on what what um, that person does on the webinar. So if they register, it'll send them this email. Send them a registration confirmation. Send them an email a day before and then an hour before. <laughs> now, if they were supposed to be on the webinar but they missed it, then it'll send them a web an email sending them a link to the replay. Now, if they showed up on the webinar but they left early, then it'll send them a different email telling them about a replay that's happening. Or if they show up on the webinar, they stayed for the entire thing, they saw your offer at the end, but then they didn't purchase for some reason, then I can send them a different email. And I can add as many emails into this as I want. So I can have, you know, I can have, if they miss the webinar, 10 emails trying to get them to watch the replay. And as soon as they watch the replay, then boom, it'll move them to a different, the different list and it'll move them around. And so <laughs> the power of automated webinars is your ability to follow up. Um, and uh, so Liz right now, it's kind of funny with her process. So she's been doing them live, right? Having tons of success and she's like, you know, I sold, I sold whatever, 12 people on, the, on this, uh, this webinar live. And I said, well, what are you doing to follow up? She's like, I don't really have a follow-up sequence in place. And so I gave her access to one of my follow-up sequences. And she's like, wow, you have like 10 emails in this follow-up sequence. And, uh, and I was like, yeah, usually what happens is however, however many people buy live on the webinar will typically double that from the, the follow-up system that's in place. And so it's harder to do it on a live webinar because it's harder to know like, who left early, who didn't show up, all those type of things. But on the automated webinar, it's really, really easy to do it. And so anyway, she tried to, she did it with the live webinar, but she model, modeled my email sequence that I gave, that um, that I use, and uh, and she did that uh, with, uh, she did that with her, um, uh, with her, uh, with her live one, and uh, she told me the stats yesterday, and I think she didn't, it was like, it was like, um, she didn't quite double the sales from the replay, but it was almost. It was like if she'd done ten thousand dollars on live, she did nine thousand dollars from from the follow up sequence. And so the follow up piece is is key, you guys. Like um, again, 
what will typically happen is about a third of the people who, who register for webinars show up. And then, so you got 70% or you know 66% who never show up. So you got a whole sequence to try to get them to see the presentation and to close them. So if you do that right, um, you can make a ton, a ton more money. Like I said, we typically double from our follow-up that we do on on it live. So I will also in the members area for you guys. Um, I'll go export all the emails that I use in my uh, in some of our really good webinars that have made millions of dollars, and then put them in there so you can see them and use them as a template. And I'll make a video that kind of explains how the how that process works. If you guys want that, that'd be a cool bonus for you guys for being awesome. I hope, I hope. All right, cool. Cool. All right, so let me come back here and see where we're at. So doing it live, we use go to webinar and then click funnels. Doing it automated, almost live, we do click funnels and then obviously the follow-up sequences like I talked to you guys about. Okay, <clears throat> so we've covered a ton of stuff, you guys. We are almost five hours in. I've got one last section that I want to share with you guys because it's important. Because having this beautiful sales machine and having an amazing product people to buy is really, really good. But if nobody's coming to your website, then it's then it's not good. That was Liz's whole thing. She did her first webinar. This is the one she talked to you guys about where she had, a, she had I don't know, a, a handful of people who registered. And she showed up live and she was so excited to give her webinar her first time. And nobody actually showed up. And um, that's what she said. She had tears in her eyes and then she voxed me and she yelled at me and told me I was ruining her life. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. She didn't really, but, but she was, she was upset. She said, look, I've spent all this time, this effort. Like why in the world is this not making me as much money as, you know, make me no money. She's like, I, I did all the hard work. I did all the foundation. You know, I've, I've planted the seed. I'm ready to reap the harvest. Where's it at? And I said, you know, we've got to really come back and focus on the promotion. Like, like, you know, having the best store in the world won't help you if there's no people around. You've got to get people in front of it. And so this is kind of the last, really the last step here in the expert secret system. And um, and because I'm not going to go into tons of technical detail because I don't want to bore you guys with that, but I need you guys to understand how this works. Because if you can understand how it works, then when you get to that spot, then it'll be easy just to go and to, to figure out the technical things, right? And so that's kind of my game plan is I want to share with you guys how we now promote these webinars. How Liz was able to go from from zero to her first, you know, first month, 35, 30, whatever, however many thousand she's at and how she's going to go to 100,000 this month and keep growing it from there. And it all has to do with this, the promotional part of it. And this is the part that's fun for me. I love this stuff, you guys. This is where it gets exciting. So um, who, who wants to hear about promotions? You guys excited about this? You hear my trial close right there? Are you guys loving trial closes? <laughs> okay. All right, let's dive in. <clears throat> okay. So this is where we come back to our Dream 100, you guys. We talked about this at the at the very beginning, right? So Dream 100 is important for a lot of reasons. Initially, it's for us to find out where in this ecosphere we fit in, right? How we start complementing people as opposed to uh, as opposed to competing with them, so we can find a lot of good, really good partners. Okay. Now, if you've been doing what I talked about, you've been digging your well, you've been building relationships, you've been Facebook messaging, you've been buying these guys things, you've been subscribing, you've been sending them gifts, you've been whatever it takes to get their attention. You've been trying to interview them on podcasts, you've been providing value, you've allowed them to come into your training for free so they can have access to it, so they can learn from you and see why you're so awesome. You can do anything you can to dig that well. Okay. Now, it comes back to like, how do we get these people attention? How do we now that we've, we've dug the well, now we're thirsty, now we're ready, this thing's about to go live, how do I get them engaged and how do I get them involved, okay? And so the first thing is you gotta get their attention and there's a lot of ways to get people's attention. All the stuff we talked about earlier are big things but for me what I do, like when we launched ClickFunnels, I sent out, I made 100 personalized videos uh, for each of my Dream 100 and I, I put these in these like video cards so each one had a personalized video card and I mailed them packaged in the mail. Uh, every single, all I think we had to do 120 of them. We mailed out 120 packages to my Dream 100. Okay, um, You don't have to do something like that but it's a good way to get noticed is by sending people stuff in the mail. Uh, in the past to get to get access to my Dream 100 I've sent, um, I've sent them pizzas before where I'll literally um, order 100 pizzas. I'll call the Pizza Hut next to each of their houses and I'll have them deliver a pizza with a with a letter from me. It's like, hey, this is Russell. Uh, you may not know me yet, but a huge fan. I uh, want to give you some pizza. Uh, please give me a call. And it's funny, like you'll do this with the Dream 100, just so you guys know, like typically you're gonna be picking a lot of like big people, right? And the reality is, is like, like in your mind, you're like, man, if I do this cool thing, 100% of them are gonna say yes, but it's not, it's not the case. What'll happen in a typical kind of rollout is you'll ask 100 people to do it, You'll get like 20 to 30 who'll say yes, and then you'll get five to 10 who actually follow through and do it. And that may be like, oh, it's depressing numbers, but literally five to 10 people saying yes on something could be a million dollar launch, 
<laughs> That's just kind of how it works. And so don't get discouraged. If somebody says yes and then blows you off, don't um, don't ever like – don't be upset at them because that's just the nature of, of high achievers is that's going to happen. They're going to, they're going to commit to things and for, and fall, not fall through, but don't go and be upset. Um, I've missed, I've messed up on things in the past where I, I committed something and I forgot to do it. And I've had two responses. One where people come back and they're really cool about it. And we always end up doing something again in the future. And I've had other ones where people come and yell at me about it. And guess what? We've never done something with those guys to get in the future. Okay. For me, um, one of my best, um, skills as a marketer is I'm really good at kissing people's butts, especially my dream 100. Okay. If they, if, if they're, if they want to, you know, if they, if they kind of screw me over and, and they don't fall through on their commitments, I, that's all right. I just say, you know what, maybe in the future something will happen. I don't want to hurt this relationship and you everything you can to make that relationship awesome. Okay. That's, that's kind of key, but, but yeah. So send out packages is a great way. Okay. Now the next thing is um, I, I first learned this from a guy named Jay Abraham, who's one of the, the the smartest marketing consultants in the world, and he has this concept he calls parasite marketing. Okay, and if you think about a parasite, what do you think of? You think about, you know, for me, I think about like if I go to Mexico and I drink some bad water, I get parasites, and these parasites start like eating all the nutrition out of my stomach, and I get really sick and I die. Right? That's a parasite. Okay, a parasite is is this thing that latches onto something else and it sucks the life out of it. Okay, and so that that's kind of a horrible example of it, but. Um, but a parasite marketing is, is you find these people like in Dream 100 who have all this cool stuff happening. How can I be a parasite? How can I leverage what they're already doing to make me money fast? Okay, and I'm going to talk about paid media here in a, in a minute, like driving banner ads and, and solo ads and all these things. And those things are all good. But the problem is like they're not nearly as good as, as um, leveraging off somebody else who already has a warm list, right? For example, I've got a list of about 500,000 people. And so for me to send an email out for somebody, it's way better than going and buying ads on Facebook because it comes from me, you know, me talking to my audience saying, hey, my name's Russell, you know, this is Russell, and you should go check out so-and-so's product. It's really, really good. I love it. This is why. Check out this link here, okay? And I can send that email out, and from there, because I have a relationship with them, um, my, my list, my followers, my, my subscribers, a ton of them are going to go buy whatever I recommend, okay? So my first thing is with these... Dream 100 is that ideally I want them to send an email to their list. If they got 20,000 or 50 or 100,000 people, if they can send an email out to their list selling my product and I can give them 40% or 50% of the sales or 70% of the sales or whatever it is, um, that's, that's the best way because that's guaranteed. I only pay when a sell happens. Okay, it's like commission-based sales people. Um, that's like the best because everything else I'm going to be doing is going to cost me money whether I make money or not. But this email promotion, if I can get a, one of my... One of my dream 100 to send an email to their list of people, to their subscribers, that's like pure cash just coming into my pocket, okay? So that's my first dream. So when I get to know these people, like, that's my first question is, hey, so I've got this webinar. I've been doing it for a little while. You know, I, I've done three of them so far. Like for Liz, for example, she can say I've done five or six of them so far. Here's my stats. It's been really good. Here's the people that bought it. They love it. They have a great experience. And I'd love to do this for your list. Um, would you be willing to do that? I'll give you 50% of all the sales. All you do is send a couple emails and let me do the webinar and, and it's going to be awesome. Okay. So that's my first thing I'm kind of, I'm presenting to my dream 100, one person at a time, very personal. That's, that might be what I'm sending out my package. That might be what I talked about on a phone call. And again, some will say yes, some will say no, some will say yes, and then don't actually do it. But that's okay. Just it's 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 this whole process of planting seeds and asking and asking and asking, right? So there's that. Um, that that's step number one is emails. Now a lot of times, for whatever reason, people aren't going um, people aren't going to to promote, right? But I know, like let's say example for Tony Robbins, right? In fact, let's do this. I'm going to Facebook real quick because if you guys understand this concept. Um, it's going to make your life awesome. All right, so I'm typing Tony Robbins. Okay, check this out. Guess how many people like Tony Robbins? 1,332,550 people like him. Okay, now if I can get Tony to go message all 1.3 million people to buy my thing, that would be awesome, right? Okay, but Tony is pretty protective about his list, so he's probably not going to say yes to me. Okay, even though i got a good relationship with him, I, you know, He's probably not going to say yes to me, and I get that. But he's one of my dream 100. So, <laughs> how do I bypass him, and how do I just how do I just get to his audience and uh, and just kind of bypass it? Well, the way you do that is um, you can go and you can on Facebook you can dry you can you can uh, you can set up ads that will just be shown to Tony Robbins' audience. 
Okay. Now the lazy way people do this is they'll go draw, they'll pick a list of all their dream 100. So they've got a hundred different Facebook fan pages. Like this is like 8.6 billion people. Right. And they drive them all to one landing page. Okay. That's like the one way you can do it. But if you really want to be successful with this is I know that here's Tony Robbins people. I need to make, um, a custom landing page just for Tony's people. They might have a video of me saying, hey, this is Russell. Uh, I know you're a Tony Robbins fan. And one thing Tony talks about is uh, is how you can make your life better. And I've got this really cool webinar called Life Hacking Secrets I thought you might might benefit from. And it's a free webinar. All you do is, is go and uh, register here and you, and you can you can be part of this, right? So I, I go and I create that, that page in ClickFunnels here. Maybe I put a video right there that has that little message. Now this page I created, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna market to Tony Robbins fans. I've got 1.3 million people and when they're on Facebook, I want my ad popping up in front of all of them, okay? And it's very easy and relatively inexpensive to do that inside of Facebook. So there's the first one. Then I'm gonna go to my next Dream 100. So let's say my next one is um, Dave Asprey. So let's see, that's his personal, I wonder if it's, I think it's Bulletproof. Okay, so Bulletproof Executive. So, so this is, um, this is Dave's fan page. He's got 108,000 people, okay? So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna create a landing page for my webinar that targets Dave's people and say, hey, uh, see so you're part of the Bulletproof Executive. Dave's always talking about ways to, to, uh, to, uh, to hack your life and to, to you know, blah, 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 blah. I've got this really cool webinar coming out called Growth Hacking Sec or Life Hacking Secrets. It's gonna show you uh, my, my system for blah, 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 blah. Register for webinar here, okay? You guys see how, how this works? So I'm taking my Dream 100, this list that I compiled of all my dream people, and I'm trying to get them to promote directly, but if they're not, then boom, I'm becoming a parasite, and I'm gonna show my ad to their audience anyway. Okay, that's so one of the most amazing things about Facebook, is I can go and I can, if I know who it is I wanna target, I can target their audience, which is really, really exciting. Okay, and again, I'm not gonna get in the technical part and show you guys how to do it right now. Um, it's not that difficult. I, we can put some videos in the in the members area to kind of go deeper into that so you can see how it works. But it, it, it's that that's how it works, okay? Now, I, I just came up with this new tricky, sneaky idea uh, about two weeks ago, and I'm about to roll this out to, um, I'm testing right now with the Bulletproof Executives page, and if it works, I'm gonna um, do it on all my people. This is my my goal. Um, so I haven't done this yet, so I don't know how, I don't know, I don't know the results yet. And I don't have the page up live yet, but I can show you the video because I recorded it two days ago. Um, but it'll give you guys a, a hint of what I'm trying to do. And I think it's going to work. Um, but I, I think that it'll give you guys a sneak peek at kind of where my mind's going and how I'm trying to use this right now to get more people into my funnels. Okay. Who here wants to see it? It's my sneaky little trick. Okay. You guys want to see it? Good. All right. Cool, cool. Okay. Here's the trick. So here's here's the secret. So... Let me show you. Okay, open this video. So this is the video I made two days ago. And by next week, every single person who is, oh, another thing that's cool is you can, so every single person who um, who follows Dave will be seeing this in their, in their timeline. But also inside of Facebook, you can do some really cool insight stuff where say, look, not only people who, you know, people who, of these 108,000 people, like what, what are their demographics? What are their psychographics? What other pages are they like? What are the other things? And, and Facebook will give you all sorts of crazy data where I can say, these 108 people, like, like give me lookalike audiences. Show me other people who are similar to this, this customer demographic and also show them my ads. So I might have five or six or 700,000 people that come next week are gonna be seeing this ad everywhere in their page and it's gonna drive them crazy. Can we hook some microphone up here so you can hear the video? Hey everyone, my name is Russell Brunson and I'm here today because we're doing a very special giveaway where I'm actually gonna be giving away $500 worth of Bulletproof products and, uh, and I'm super fired up and excited. We're giving away a sleep induction mat, we got MCT oils, we got coffee, we've got uh, pretty much the entire suite of Bulletproof products and uh, normally if you were to go to the Bulletproof store right now and, and buy this, it would cost you over 500 bucks, but we're gonna be shipping it to one of you guys completely for free. There's nothing you need to do to win this contest except for put your email address down in the form below. And when you do that, you'll be automatically entered into a contest to win all this stuff for free. And I'm excited, I'm gonna be giving this away and boxing it up and shipping it out to one of you guys. So if you wanna win this, all you gotta do is put your email address down in the form below and, uh, and you'll be entered into the contest to win this entire suite of Bulletproof products. Thanks, fill out the form below and I'll see you on the next page. All right, you guys get what I'm laying down? I hope you are. So what's gonna happen here is uh, soon all 108,000 people here plus all the look like audiences, so half a million or so are people who are all into this kind of a product, right? Biohacking and, and life hacking and all this kind of stuff are gonna be seeing my giveaway 
And I, I'm not sure yet. My goal is to get 30 to 40,000 people to give me their email address to enter this contest. And then when they do, um, then they're in my email sequence, which then will push them into my webinar. Okay, you guys getting this? Is that pretty exciting? So they, this is the first one I'm doing it for. And then I'm gonna go back through, I'm gonna do it for all of the different gurus. So for example, here's Tony, right? So this is what I'm gonna do. I hope you guys, I hope somebody copies me because it's a good idea. And everyone can win at this. It's not something that's like, this isn't gonna work because it's not working anymore. So I'm gonna go to eBay and type in Tony Robbins. And checks out, I'm gonna spend a few hundred bucks. I'm gonna be like, okay, here's Life Mastery Manual. Ooh, here's entire Power Power Talk cassette tapes for 25 bucks. Here's uh here's the uh, Get the Edge CDs for 38 bucks. So I'm gonna go through here in eBay and I'm gonna spend five or six hundred bucks just buying a whole suite of really cool Tony Robbins stuff, especially the old things where Tony's got his old haircut and stuff. I can get that for a penny, you know. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna buy a ton of Tony stuff, right? And then I'm gonna target all of Tony's 1.3 million people and be like, hey guys. I've got $500 worth of Tony stuff. I got rare stuff you can't find anywhere else. All this thing, and I'm gonna give them away for free. If you want this, all you gotta do, give me your email address and you'll be entered into a contest to win it. Boom, they give me the email address. Next page is, hey, thanks so much for entering the contest. Uh, really excited to have you here. Uh, also, later this week, I'm doing a webinar called Life Hack Hacking Secrets. And uh, if you're into Tony's stuff, I think you'll really enjoy this as well. Okay, you guys getting this? Okay, next thing I'm gonna do, then I'm gonna go to my next person on my Dream 100. So I'll type in like, Dan, Dan Kennedy. <clears throat> See if I can find a good Dan Kennedy group. They look like you have a good one. So let's type in Joe Polish or I mean, keep going through. So this one's a little smaller. So I'm trying to find groups. I like finding groups that are like fifty thousand uh, people or or above. So who else is my dream one hundred? Um, let's type in. Like Phil Sims, let's type in. Um, anyway, I'm gonna keep going through my Dream 100. Keep typing in. Try to find fan pages that have 50,000 people or more. And as soon as I find that, then I'm gonna go to eBay. Try to buy a bunch of products theirs for super discounted prices. <clears throat> put together a sweet package, give away a contest, and then blanket their fan page with uh, with my ads. Give away the free thing, and then boom, next step, invite him to my webinar. Okay, do you guys see how cool that is? It's like this really cool way. All right. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> Frank says this is amazing. A contest to build lists. The guru is cool with this. Yeah. So um, the way that I got all of this stuff right here, um, I didn't actually even pay for it. I just emailed those guys. And I'm like, hey, I want to do a contest and give away some stuff. I'm going to build a list of people who love Dave Asprey, and then I'm going to, and then to that list, I'll sell your products and I'll sell your book. And they're like, sweet. How about this? We'll ship you out a whole box of stuff. I'm like, all right, thanks. So I didn't even pay for this. They shipped me this entire box. So I can do this contest because again, it's good for them. They're going to sell a ton of stuff through this through this process as well. It's raising more awareness. It's me buying ads, promoting their brand. I'm sure there's gonna be one or two guys who aren't smart and like oh, you, you know, whatever. But for the most part, people are not going to care. Okay. Um, awesome. James said, "Freaking brilliant strategy." Uh, all right. Cool. Very, very cool. Awesome. Okay. So that's kind of the, that's kind of the concept, you guys. And that's kind of how this, this promotional stuff works. Okay. So I'm going to Dream 100, trying to get them to promote. Then I'm trying to go and target their fans on Facebook and get in front of them. Okay. Guess how Liz right now is driving all of her traffic to her, to her webinar. She's targeting my fans and your fans and everybody's fans. That's how she's getting people to join and register for her webinar. Because that's how you do it. And then what's cool about it is after you've, you know, a lot of times it's hard to go the email route first. In fact, Liz had that issue where she went and she asked a bunch of people to promote. And everyone's like, well, have you done the webinar yet? She's like, no. Like, is it proven? No. But I think it's going to be good. Okay, it's kind of a hard pitch. So now she's proven it by buying ads and getting people to go through this process. Now she can go back to these Dream 100 and be like, hey, this webinar made me 35 grand last month. I did it all off Facebook with no list. How would I try out your list? I made you make 35, 50 grand. And, you know, here's kind of my stats and my numbers. And now you've got some proof. You can go back and show your Dream 100. And those guys now, a lot of them will look at that and say, okay, now this is a proven offer. Now I'm willing to take it out to my list. Okay. So email, go after their fans. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do it, you guys. Uh, I'm trying to figure out ways how to tap into this Dream 100 and get them to promote my stuff. Okay, and that's really the, the concept, you guys. This is the, this is the way <clears throat> to, to really grow your expert business fast. Now, is there more stuff you can do? Yeah, there is. There's a lot of stuff. 
Okay, um, there's tons of other ways to drive traffic. We've got solo ads, we've got banner ads, we've got Google, we've got, there's, there's a million other ways to do it, but I don't wanna get as bogged down on that. I wanna get you down, I wanna look at like, if I was to start over from scratch, what would be the path I would do? And this is it, okay? I would create a really cool six module course that I would try to sell from 500 to 1,000 bucks. I would use a perfect webinar and write a perfect script to sell it. I would go get a go to webinar account and a ClickFunnels account. I'd set up that integration. I'd make some really cool pages. I would start by targeting fans of my Dream 100. And as soon as I got some stats, then I'd start calling my Dream 100 and start showing them this is working. Your audience is already buying and I'm already promoting it to these guys. Now you need to be part of it. And that's how I would start growing. And that business right there, you guys, that like realistically, just, just those tools, adding in any other traffic sources or anything, that, that's a business that can make you anywhere from a million to $5 million or beyond uh, just, just through that process. And then to come back and start adding in solo ads and media buying, some of these other things, you can scale it even more beyond that. But this is the, this is the place to start. Start with your Dream 100, start with their fans, and then, and then try to go to their customer lists and their subscriber lists and kind of move on from there. Does that make sense, you guys? Very, very cool. All right. Uh, I, I love uh, Frank. So this is mad cool, not difficult, Sim super simple stuff, amazing. Awesome. Oh yeah. So, so Daryl just said you could target NFL football player ads and give away tickets and jerseys. Yeah. Like there's a ton of stuff. I, in fact, one of my friends, he just went to, um, to Dropbox and he got uh, a, a lifetime Dropbox account. I think he paid him like 2000 bucks a piece and he had like five of them and he did a big Facebook contest and, uh, where he gave away a lifetime Dropbox account. And by doing that, he get, he built a list of 250,000 people, <laughs> a quarter of a million people who wanted a free Dropbox account. <clears throat> excuse me, who now we can sell stuff to him for forever. Is that exciting? So like what kind of stuff can you give away? What kind of contest can you run to get people off of Facebook, joining your list, and then push them into your webinar? It, it's really exciting. The sky literally is the limit. Um, so you guys see kind of how we're using it um, and what we're going to be doing next week, which is Dave's product, which is the first one we're rolling out. And um, I honestly think we'll get thirty to 40,000 people to join that list. From there, if we can get you know 30% to join, um, to, to register for the webinar, and from that, we get 10% to buy. That, that's a million dollar campaign just right there. That's before we start adding in more people and kind of build that out deeper and deeper. So anyway, that's kind of <clears throat> some some ideas for you guys. And again, I didn't want to get into, um, uh, I didn't want to get super deep into all of the the technical part of that because those things, the, those, those things aren't that difficult. Well, again, we'll have some videos in, in the, the members area for you guys that will kind of go through some of those pieces. Um, but the reality is just go create a Facebook account and start playing with it. It's not that hard to kind of go through there. And there's a lot of good Facebook training products out there you can get deeper. And like I said, but um, for right now, I just want you guys to understand the the, the strategy behind it. Because who here thinks, who here is on this webinar thinks that I know how to run a Facebook ad? Okay. Um, the, the answer is I don't. I don't even know how to log into my Facebook ads. But I understand the strategy. Okay. I understand the strategy and I can hire people for very, very cheap. Just like we talk about Odesk and freelancer and things like that. I can, I can hire people for, for a lot cheaper to go and actually implement it. So I don't want you guys getting bogged down with like, I got to figure out how to run the ad manager and how to blah, 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 blah. Like that, that shouldn't be your role. Liz isn't doing that all day. Liz found someone and she's outsourcing it to them and they're going through and they're buying the ads for it. And she shows up on Thursday and sells. She shows up, does her webinar, boom, makes some money. Shows up on Thursday, does a webinar, boom, makes some money. And I think that's kind of what you guys want more. So am I right? Okay, that's the way it should be. So um, I'll give you guys some resources in the members area, people that we use, people you can hire out, some of these things as well um, after you've got your whole presentation in place. So pretty cool. Uh, James said, can you drop tracking codes and click funnels? Yep, you can drop one on every page really easily. <coughs> um, <laughs> Frank said, Dropbox, that's brilliant, freaking brilliant. Our heads are about to explode. Very cool, very cool. All right, guys, awesome. So hopefully that gives you guys some some uh, some help. I think it was kind of funny, Liz, when she's like, Russell had the thing on the wrong page this whole time and he's a multimillionaire. Like that's the key, guys. I, you can do this without knowing how to do all the technical parts. Your job as the entrepreneur and as the expert, <clears throat> there's a couple things you gotta be really good at, okay? One of them is you gotta create a killer product, okay? And all of you guys, you have that specialized knowledge in your head right now, okay? That's that's done. The second one is you gotta be able to to give a presentation and to sell. That's what the perfect uh, webinar script is. Okay, those are the two things you've got to be able to do. Okay, all the promotional stuff, we can outsource that. We can get people to do it. And if you want to learn how to do it, you can get your hands dirty and do it. But man, like I, I would rather focus more on like giving your presentation and, and calling my dream 100 and building relationships with them and sending them pizza in the mail and, and weird stuff like that. Because <clears throat> that's the fun part. Like most of us who are experts, like you're kind of, you're, I'm guessing you're a little more, um, 
extrovert, you like people, you like talking to people. So focus on that piece of it. Don't get so caught up in all the technical parts, okay? And those parts are easy to outsource, whereas the, the relationship building, the networking, all that stuff is the hard part. Okay, you think about it like, <clears throat> how do people grow businesses pre-internet, okay? Now, I didn't know this when I first got started online. I had no idea. <clears throat> and then uh, about three or four years into my business, somebody invited me to come to a networking meeting. I didn't even know what that meant. I'm like, yeah, I might, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I got nothing else going on. I might as well go to a networking meeting. That sounds like fun. So we show up to this networking meeting, and there's a whole bunch, like 50 people in here, and all of them got their own, all of them have their own businesses, and they're all networking, trying to figure out how they can do deals with each other. I was like, that's kind of cool. I'm like, this is kind of like how what I do with my Dream 100, like, except for I, I pick the the room of people I want to network with, and then I go out there and I and I start doing deals with them, and I, I try to figure out how we can work together. What can I what can I do to help you? And what can you do to help me? And that that's the fun part. That's the part that you as the expert should be doing is, is that networking because one relationship I've had, I've had probably four or five partners, each of which when I built that relationship have by themselves made me over a million dollars. Okay. So it's worth it for you to spend your time there because one good relationship can make you a million dollars versus you spending six months on Facebook trying to figure out how to buy an ad, not going to make you a million bucks. Promise you that. Okay. And so that's where you should be really spending your, your time and your energy and your focus is on building those relationships. Um, one kind of ninja strategy you guys can think about as well, um, that, uh, that I've done it twice now and it works really good. And depending how you do it, you, you probably can't do it with your whole dream 100. We did it once with our whole dream 100 and it, it worked really, really well. Um, is we actually invited them all out here to Boise to see our office and see our facilities. And, and we brought them all out. We did like this little, like, Two day event with with I think we ended up having about sixty or so that actually showed up, and it was really cool. We brought them all together and we and we just we built this relationship and shared ideas with them and, and kind of this mastermind thing. And then from there we had the product launch two weeks later and almost every one of that person in that room promoted it and we did over a million dollars from that from that product launch. Um, and so that's a good thing. Now most of you guys aren't going to want to bring sixty people in in, but what if what if you set up something where every month you invited um, five of your dream one hundred to come come to wherever you're at and hang out. And maybe maybe you say, well, I'm not that important. Why would someone want to come out and see me? That's not the point. The point is you got five people who all want to see each other. And you're the one facilitating that. You're facilitating the ability for them to meet together. She say, hey, we're doing this this meeting. It's going to be wherever. It's going to be in Vegas and it's going to be really fun and it's going to be a one day thing and we're going to do this and this and this is going to be fun. And here's the five other people I invited and just want you to come out and uh, and be part of this and just to get to know you and get to know everybody. You bring them out, you have a fun time with them and guess what? Now you got five friends, and again, like I said before, one of those friends can make you a million bucks. So it's worth the the energy and the investment to do that. We're starting a program here um, uh, at our company starting next year, where every single month, the very first, I think Monday and Tuesday of each month, we're going to fly out um, five or six people from our Dream 100, and we're going to basically show them our business, have them share the, our business, and try to just build relationships. No ulterior motives other than just building relationships with the Dream 100, digging my well before I need it. And I really think that's kind of the, the the core focus on it. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. That's what you should be focusing your time on, not on all the techie, the techie nerdy stuff. So um, all right, cool. <laughs> very, very cool. Awesome. Let me see. I think we're almost to the end. Yeah. So this is kind of where we started with. Actually, this is the wrong slide. Uh, we started with, let me come back because I want to show you guys kind of where we started man, how many hours ago now? Like five, five and a half hours ago. <laughs> Cause, uh, I want, I want to make sure you guys have kind of seen where you've come from. We've come a long way, right? All right. So here's what we started with. Um, basically come back to, this is you guys in the middle here, right? And you got to wrap your expertise, your information with, uh, with information products. Okay. And for most of you guys, what our focus is, is a six module training course going through your entire system. Um, and so then that, after you've got that, you're building, you're finding your dream 100 to really find out like where you fit in this ecosystem. That's the first thing, right? Then you come over here after you know, like, this is my niche. This is what I'm going to be doing. Then you come and you create your system. We showed you how to build a system outline. After your system outline is in place, then you go into click funnels and you build that system outline in there. And then you start creating the content and start filling in all the gaps until your entire system is built out there inside of your membership area. Okay. Now you've got the content. Now you've got the product you're gonna be selling. Now we come back and we craft the perfect webinar. Can okay, you guys have the script for that now? You go and craft your perfect webinar. Now you got all the pieces. Now we come back and we start focusing on promotion. Okay, we go back to our Dream 100. We target them on Facebook. Then we try to build relationships with them. We try to do joint ventures with them, and it all starts growing from there. Cool. All right. Now there's one other thing I want to share with you guys because I think it's important as well. Um, 
you guys as experts, one of the, the most important things you can do as an expert is you've got to get your, your advice and your ideas out there in the world. Um, and it, sometimes it's, it's kind of hard to know how to do that. And so um, the, the way you do that is through what we call inbound marketing. So outbound marketing is all the stuff I'm doing outbound, right? I'm buying ads and I'm doing joint ventures. I'm doing all this outbound stuff. And that stuff's important. But um, if, you, if, you do, if you pay your dues with inbound marketing, it, at first you're not going to see a huge return from it. But if you do it and you're consistent with it, then over a six-month period of time, a year, two years, five years, um, it, it'll literally make you more money than you can, you can even dream of. Um, you look at ClickFunnels right now. We did our big product launch. We kind of rolled it out. Now we're, I'm shifting my focus 100% to inbound marketing. You will see in the next two weeks um, th this entire strategy that we're doing to do inbound marketing. So what is inbound marketing? Okay, We talked about our value ladder before, right? Someone comes in here and they send up the value ladder. Up here they're giving us insane amounts of money. Okay, but somewhere along the line, you know, like what can I give people for free? What I'm gonna do a drop down the value ladder and give away free stuff to get people in. Okay, articles and videos and things like that I can put out there in the world that somebody gets it, they receive value from it, then boom, they naturally send up to wanting to buy my product. And they naturally send up and they go all the way up. Okay, and so um, I'm not a, I'm, I'm gonna confess my sins. I'm not a great inbound marketer yet. But starting next week, we're rolling out our whole entire inbound marketing campaign. I've been working on it for about six months behind the scene, and I'm so excited by it. And I will be, I believe, the biggest, the best inbound marketer in my market because I, uh, I believe in it so much. The the person I've been modeling this after, I want to show you a site. His name's Neil Patel. I've talked about him a couple of times. He's got a bunch of different software products, um, and uh, and he also has this thing called Quick Sprout. So Quick Sprout is kind of like his expert business, right? Where he's got his blog here, then he's got his uh, consulting here, he's got he's got university, which is like his um, his training, or that's his free stuff, upgrade, upgrade right here, this is his, uh, oh, I can't find it now, anyway, he's got his, his training system he sells in here as well, right, I think so, I've already bought it, that's probably why it's not showing up here, anyway, so <laughs> the majority of his traffic is all coming from this inbound marketing thing, for both this business right here, or this expert business, but then also for his software companies and things like that, okay? And so his, his expert, his, uh, the inbound marketing he's doing through his expert is what fuels everything, okay? And all of his companies are multi-million dollar a year companies. So this is kind of the, the process. I'm gonna try to map it out for you guys and, um, and we'll see if, if it makes sense. But basically what Neil does is he writes a blog post every single day. And his blog posts are awesome, okay? And that's kind of the key, guys. We talked about prolificness, being prolific. This is where it's important because if your blog posts suck, guess what? Nobody's gonna 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 pass them along. No one's gonna follow you. Like it, it'll just it kills all momentum, right? So do inbound marketing right. You've got to make amazing content posts. And so I come to Neil's blog. I love just going just for ideas. I come through here. Ten reasons why your list posts suck. Okay. Content marketers toolkit. Thirty five tools you can't blog without. Seven most popular content marketing myths you need to stop following. Who's more attractive on social media, men or women? Seven obsolete SEO tactics you're wasting your time on. Okay, and if you go through here, there's like, again, he does one a day every single day, like religiously, consistently perfect, right? So for you, you gotta look at, we, we talked about your, your system before, right? Let me see if I can pull this back over. We talked about your whole system you created here, right? Now what you gotta do is you basically, remember we talked about like, there will be a time in future trains where I'm gonna teach you guys how to, how to splinter this out and create a whole funnel and a product just selling like, like one piece of your module, right? Or one module. Because each of these can be a standalone product by itself. They maybe sell for $100 or $300 or something, right? But you also want to take this and splinter down even smaller into your inbound marketing, okay? So I might take this double your reading. Instead of doing a whole blog post on that, I got to find like one piece of that. So maybe I find like, here are the three unknown secrets to double your reading. Boom, now that is a good blog post. And notice most of his blog posts are very specific to a number. Seven reasons why your list posts suck. 35 tools you can use. Seven popular myths, okay? Because those are the kind of things people read. They love reading lists. They love kind of going through those process. They share lists, things like that. For whatever reason, people love that kind of stuff. So every day I'm going to look at my, at my system. I'm going to go through my, 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 uh, my system here and try to find one of my topics. And then what from there is a piece, a splinter of content that I can share with the world that can somehow break into three things or 10 things or seven things or 35 or whatever that is, some kind of number and make it exciting. Okay, so I'm gonna then take that and I break it out and I'm write a blog post on my blog. Okay, 10 reasons why your list posts suck. And then after it's done, 
So here's my here's his blog post. Then he takes that and he posts it on Facebook. And on Facebook, guess what he does? He drives ads to his Dream 100. People who, people who he knows, their fans would like this blog post, I send their Dream 100 to this, okay? So if I write a blog post, um, five ways to life hack your, your life faster, I'll post that on my blog, then I'll post it on Facebook, and then I'm gonna target Tony Robbins fans, and I can buy ads back to, um, <coughs> excuse me, I can buy ads back to my, my blog post, And pull back in. So I can post my blog post. I can buy ads so these 1.3 million people see my blog post right there in their thing. And if my content is good and it's prolific and it's exciting, they're going to read that blog post. Then they're going to like it. They're going to share it. And all of a sudden, this viral thing starts happening. Okay? Where my my message, my splinters of my, of my system get spread out there and people read them. And if it's good, they will share it and they will like it. And all of a sudden, I got all these things happening out there where traffic is coming back into my funnels. Okay? Now, this is the kind of strategy that's not like an overnight thing. Okay? A joint venture, overnight thing. Paid advertising on Facebook can be an overnight thing. This inbound strategy takes a little bit of time and you've got to be consistent with it. Okay? Neil's doing one a day. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to keep up with that. My goal is to do at least three times a week and then go to four times a week and then five and keep getting to the point where I can do it once a week or excuse me, once a day. But it's, it's not easy. Okay, If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. But I'm definitely going to try to spend 30 minutes every single morning um, or excuse me, every other morning trying to write um, a, a thousand word article uh, splintering off some of my content. Okay, And I'll talk about this whole concept and then from there I'll push them to my webinar registration page. Post on my blog, post on Facebook, buy ads, boom. Next day, Write the article, post it on my blog, post it on Facebook, buy some ads, and keep doing that process. Boom, boom, boom. And if you do that consistently and spend, you know, spend 10 bucks a day promoting your, your blog post to your Dream 100's followings, that's who start sucking these people off and bring them into your world. And soon what will happen, this is kind of cool, you guys. Neil launched this, this, uh, this blog and he launched a forum in here. When I first came, he had like 15 members. Check this out right now. 322,284 forum users. He did that by inbound marketing, by sharing articles every single day consistently. And this has only been live a little over a year. Imagine if you did this, you guys, consistently, and in a year from now, you had 332,000 people following you. Okay, that, that, that's, just put that in perspective. We average about a dollar per month for each person that's following us. So if, if this was my following, I'd be making about $322,000 a month off of this following, okay? Um, and so it's it's powerful, you guys. Would you be willing to write an article a day, a blog post a day, if you knew in a year from now you'd be making $322,000 a month from it? I, I'm sure most of you guys probably would. But that's that's kind of the, the long-term strategy, okay? Whenever I talk about stuff with people, there's there's kind of two paths. There's there's the fast, the fast path to cash, which is the Dream 100 and these kind of things. Boom, there's how you can get ramped up, scaled fast. And then the longer term is this inbound marketing where it takes a little longer. It's not a huge flash in the pans, but if you do it, you will build a following. Your expertise will grow, and people are going to love you. And that's the long-term scalability. Where in a year from now, you have to keep buying ads because you've got half a million people who, every time you post a new blog post, they're going to share it and tweet it and pass it around. I look at guys like Seth Godin. Look at guys like Neil Patel. I look at guys who are really good at this, and they post something out there now, and literally, it'll get shared thousands of times. And they're getting all this free publicity just because they're writing really cool stuff. But it comes to putting in your dues, okay? And that's my plan, you guys. Like I said, next week we're rolling out our, our entire content strategy. And my goal is to try to do it three times a week consistently and, uh, and stick with it for at least six months. And it'll be interesting to see at the end of that kind of what happens. Um, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to be awesome, okay? Okay, everyone. So we've been going now for about five and a half hours. And first off, I want to thank you so much for dedicating that time, that attention to, to be here and to focus on you and on your business and really in your small way trying to change the world. And uh, just really grateful for you for, for doing that and for stepping up and kind of taking that role. Um, you know, I honestly believe that the world needs more experts, more people who are willing to stand up and, uh, and use what they know and, and, and take their advice and their talents and their hobbies and use that to really change somebody's lives. And so I appreciate you guys for stepping up and for doing that. And I hope you enjoyed this entire experience. Now, I want to come back to where we began with on this training. As you remember, uh, this is a, a premium webinar. That's why it wasn't a quick 
you know, 60 minute webinar and I try to sell you something at the end, this is, uh, this is you know, a five and a half hour training where I try to pour my heart and my soul and give you guys as much value as I can in, in a very condensed period of time. And I'm sure that some of you guys probably feel overwhelmed right now and that's okay, that's kind of, you know, that's, that's, that's not something to, to be concerned about. That's kind of a good thing right now, right? You're gonna learn all this stuff in, in a very compressed period of time, but now tonight you'll be able to think about it and start kind of un, unraveling and think about your business, where this is all gonna fit in and what you wanna do and what your system's gonna be. And, and it should give you a lot of uh, a lot of excitement and some motivation for, for what you're gonna be doing. And, and like I said, you have a chance to go back and, and watch the replays of this. And so you can go and now that you kind of understand it, you can go as you're building it out and kind of go step by step by step. And so that's what I'm excited for. now. As we mentioned at the at the very beginning of it, we talked about how uh, this is a premium webinar and you have a chance to judge me. So right now, you got kind of a, an option to say, yes, Russell, this was awesome, I loved it, this was the greatest thing in the world. And if that's you, then don't do anything in the next 24 to 48 hours or so, then we'll bill your, your credit card for the agreed upon price. So that's kind of the, the one path you can go. And then the other path is that this wasn't for you and you're like, man, Russell, I, I don't think I wanna be an expert or Russell's training just wasn't that good for me or whatever, whatever reason that that uh, that you have any true reason of why this wasn't kind of the right thing for you, all you do is let us know and we're not gonna bill your, your credit card, okay? If it wasn't worth it for you, if, if you don't think this is gonna make you money, then I don't deserve your money. That's really how I feel. And so if this is not for you, all you do is go to our help desk, it's customerhelpdesk.org, submit a ticket and just let them know, say, hey, I was on Expert Secrets Training and, uh, and I don't think this is for me, so please don't bill my credit card and we won't. But if, like I said, if you loved it like most people, uh, then, then don't do anything at all and we'll bill your credit card sometime in the next 24 to 48 hours. Now, after we bill your credit card, we'll actually send you out access to a private members area that again is going to have the recording of this webinar, plus a whole bunch of all the other stuff that we talked about during the, the training, all the other tools and the resources and things you're going to need to really kind of take your, your business to the next level. So that's kind of the game plan, you guys. Now, one thing that um, every time we do this, this training, one of the questions we get from a lot of people afterwards is, Russell, is there more? Is there something else? Is there, you know, I, I want more hand holding in this. And so I'm curious from those of you guys who are on here right now, like who who could benefit from more hand-holding? Who is a little overwhelmed, they get it, they see the, the vision and they want that, but they, they know that they're gonna need a little more hand-holding to kind of get there, okay? All right, so a, a lot of you guys feel that way, which is, which is, which is, um, which is all right, there's no, there's no problem with that. Um, I look at all the aspects of my life that I'm successful in and I always have a coach, sometimes I have two or three coaches to help me to achieve what I want to achieve. And so what I want to do for you guys is, you know, you've obviously, you've, we talked about my value ladder, we talked about your value ladder, and I have a value ladder as well. And, and, uh, and one of the, the, the best ways that I can serve you guys at the highest level is through a program we have called Dotcom Secrets Ignite. And uh, right now, we are looking for more, uh, more dream clients to put into that program. And so just the fact that you've gone through this training kind of pre-qualified you. I think that um, you guys could be a great fit for this program. Here's a, a picture we can sign, kind of see um, our most recent group of people who came through our Ignite program. And, uh, and this is kind of how it works. Um, it's a 12 month long program. So this isn't something that we try to get done in a weekend. And then, you know, and, and obviously my goal is to help you get through this process as quick as possible. But I, I don't want to just, you know, get things up and running and then leave you kind of where you are. Um, I like to be able to have a chance to uh, to look at your business and, and take it and, and keep tweaking and changing it throughout the year. And and doing this process is kind of what what uh, we talked about with Liz. Liz got involved with this. And, um, and you know, I've, I've worked with her for now four, four and a half months or so, and we got her webinar working, and now we're focusing on how to scale, and then we're focusing on new traffic streams, and new funnels, and, and she's got an entire year to work with me, and that's kind of what I want to invite you guys to do if you think it's something that'll, that'll be a good fit for you, okay? Now, if you do, what basically will happen is, um, We'll have a chance in sometime in the next week to two weeks to get on the phone and uh, and what will happen is anyone who's in this program, usually we, we try to take not too many people. Every week or so, we will add three or four people to this uh, to this group because, again, there's so much personal attention for me and for my team. And uh, what will happen is you'll get on a webinar with me and the other people we bring in uh, during that time. And for an entire day, I'm going to go through each of your businesses live. And I'm going to spend uh, up to an hour or so looking at, at kind of what it is you want to create. And um, you know, right now, obviously, I've given you kind of a high level view of how this whole thing works, but it's going to be different for every market and every individual and every person. And so I'm going to have a chance to kind of look at you and say, look, based on what you're doing and the market you want to choose, this is how I would do it. Here's how other people are successful. And we'll spend an entire hour uh, building out a game plan and a blueprint of exactly what it is that, that you need to be doing in your situation. 
And then for the next 12 months, we're going to work on implementing that that uh, that plan, getting it working, getting it launched, uh, scaling it, you know, tweaking it, testing it, and just keep working on it. So it all begins though with that that initial um, consult where you and I will build out your specific individual br- blueprint. And uh, it it's a it's a process that you guys I, I promise you after you go through it, you have so much clarity and you're going to know exactly what you need to do, how you need to do it, and you're going to love it. And then after that, like I said, I'm going to give you a blueprint of what you need to do, and you have a chance to go start running and going and doing it. Okay. Each week we have call in hours with someone on my team. If, so if you get stuck, you can call in and, and uh, so one of my, my partners will talk to you on the phone and say, hey, we'll try this, move this, change this, and you'll, you'll be able to kind of move through that process. Um, when we do our initial intake call, we'll have one of my uh, techie guys on the phone and they will help you to, to log in. They'll go into your ClickFunnels account and help set up this entire thing. Everything we just kind of showed you, the, the techie nerdy stuff that you may not love doing, uh, someone on my team will go in there and help set up this funnel for you, set up the integrations and the payment system so that when it's done, you've got to, You've got a really good funnel. Okay, now you'll still be responsible for writing your own copy and, and videos and stuff like that, but we're going to help you get all the technical pieces in, in place so you've got a, a good working uh, funnel so you got your automated webinar done and all those kind of things. Okay, um, and then what else is cool, and this is probably, this is most people's favorite part of the program, is you will be able to download a little app on your phone called Voxer, and I've got it on my phone here, and basically it's kind of like a walkie talkie, and this is my, um, my helpline. So the only people that have this are my wife. And then uh, the people that are in our Ignite program, and this is what Liz, she kind of mentioned this when we talked earlier, is that every few days she'll message me, hey Russell, I tried this, this is what worked, what do you think I should do now? And I'll, I'll tell her, and we go back and forth, and, and it's really cool so that you guys have a chance all throughout the week and throughout each month for the entire year to, to message me questions like that. If you get stuck on a strategy, or how do I price this, or where do I get more traffic, or Russell, can you introduce me to this person? Uh, we do that through this uh, through Voxer, through this really cool voice walkie-talkie system. And so those are some of the cool things about Ignite. You also have a chance to come to board easy three times throughout the year um, and uh, spend time with me and with my team and and really the goal is it's a year-long program to ignite your business and get you to the spot where you've got this thing rocking and rolling and so if that's something that is a good fit for you and is interesting to you um, what I recommend you do right now and I wouldn't wait till tomorrow but do it right now while it's still hot on your on your mind is go to ignite.comsecrets.com and when you go there, you're going to see some videos from some people who have gone through this process with me. Uh, one of the videos you'll see there is from a guy named uh, Drew, whose company was very successful from the outside. They had 1.3 million followers. Uh, they were making a bunch of money, but they weren't profitable. And Drew had me fly out to him and his entire team, and, and I took him through this Ignite process that I'm talking about with you. And from that, we, took, we looked at all the numbers and looked at everything, tweaked his business, got his funnel set up correctly, and, uh, and helped him to kind of get everything in place that he needed to be profitable. And they were like so close. They just needed a couple of tweaks. And you'll see a video of him kind of telling that story. You'll see other uh, people who have gone through this Ignite program and the, the life-changing experiences they've had as well. And that point, point you, can, you can apply. And if you do that, someone on my team will give you a call and just kind of see if you're a good fit, see if, uh, if we have any opening and, and if we have room. And if so, and if you uh, are someone who's a go-getter and we do think would be a good fit, um, we, can look, we can talk to you about joining the Ignite program. Now, I specifically don't just put an order link on this, on this page for a couple of reasons. One of them, and probably the most important, is we don't accept everyone. Um, I'm going to be working personally with you, and I want to make sure that we're going to be a good fit. And so some of the guys on my team will, will talk to you and just kind of see if, it, if it's something that, that I think that, and that they think we can go and we can help you scale up really quickly. And if so, then we'll have a chance to work with, uh, with you, just like I've been working with Liz, just like I'm working with Brandon, just like I've been working with a lot of other people as well. So if you're interested, again, go apply to ignite.comsecrets.com, but no pressure. If not, uh, again, it's not going to be a good fit for everyone, but for some of you guys, it's going to be the thing that you need to, to hold you accountable, to get you where you want to need and really get you to the next level. Okay. So that's about it, you guys. Again, I appreciate you so much for being part of this training. Um, and uh, like I said, after you you uh, you get billed for the training, we'll send you access to a private members area that'll have the re- the recording of this as well, uh, on, as well as all the other resources and tools and everything else that we talked about during this training. So again, I appreciate you guys. And again, if you're interested in our Ignite program and want to work with me one-on-one, go to ignite.comsecrets.com. And that's about it, you guys. We appreciate you. And I will talk to you all again soon. Thanks, everyone.